you're not near. Ah, it's fun. Running around doing them grocery shopping. Oof, it was hot out there too. Yeah. Waiting for Tarkov to update. Oh, there we go. That was a small update. That's concerning. Or maybe they did the update right. Maybe maybe they did it to where it only updated the necessary files. Because I was doing that shit back when I was running my game server. I only updated the necessary files. The changes that I did were the updated files. That's it. No reason to update the whole client. Like, why? You know? Why would you update the whole client? Man, I remember back in the day, the client was like two gigabyte and like to update the whole client at two gigabyte on slow ass internet back in the day. Woof, man, that shit was rough. I always used to uh, keep the uh, fresh client so that I could play like on other servers. I'd play on other game servers with the same files. And then... So it was like modding, you know what I mean? Like how modding is kind of big today. It was a modded, basically a modded server. We called them private servers back then. Tarkov, what you got for me, Tarkov? Let me check the generator. All right, fuel's doing all right. I still need level three mechanic. All right. Workbench is done. ECB. Um, I'm wondering how I'm doing on ammo. I might need ammo. See if matches are cheap real quick. Oh, they're not too bad. Which it was around 17. Oh, I can make some wire. Let's just make some wire for now. And then I'll look at my ammo. See, see what my ammo storage is doing at the moment. Let's see. Um, damn. As long as I don't use a lot of ammo or die or something, I should be fine on ammo. But I need to get back on it. I need to sell this stuff. Inventory is getting crowded again, man. Oh, I gotta think about what I need to need to do to make this better. My fucking all these fucking helmets. I need to start using these helmets, but now I've got like a stockpile as well. Plus 438. Let's, uh, let's put on this. Uh, put on this one. Um. Uh, what is it? Advanced tactical mount? I think that's the whole mount. Yep, there we go. I can use this one soon because it's low, low durability. I 
Actually, I should use that one right now. That's what I should. Damn it. Use that one right now. Since it's garbage. So. Sell, sell, sell. What? There's no. Really? Okay. Well, you can. You can't sell it. What? Really? Why not? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to sell it then. The Peacekeeper, because... What? I can't sell it to Peacekeeper? What? what? Okay. Yes. Take it. Um... What do I need? Well, this ain't even running right now. Okay. Uh, that's expensive, man. Need a, I need another armor though, so. I don't know, okay. Um. We'll make space. I got lots of shit to sell. How did that not go in there? Oh, I used uh, the fucking fabric. Okay, got that. That's the uh, AKM stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put it in here because I'm not gonna use this for a minute. I guess it clears up some space for now. I don't want to put it in any of my magazine cases. Um. Okay. EP for what? Oh, 762. Okay. I'm so fucking full of shit, dude. Oh.
Um, actually, uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, where did it go? Oh. Um, this is an adapter. Does it go on a helmet? Yeah. All that. I don't know where it is, but we can put it. No. Put it there. Um, da, 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 um, um, I don't know if I can put it in here. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, incompatible. All right. Well, I can throw shit in there though, right? There you go. Got a little bit more space in there now, I guess. Yeah, I keep I keep using shit, but I keep fucking bringing shit out. Fucking insane. Um. I'm about to just sell this stuff. I don't even use this shit, dude. Um. I don't know if it's going to sell or not, but maybe I know I like that one right there, I, um, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. Whoa, I almost made a giant mistake there. Shit. right yeah yeah gamer i'm on early yeah it's on my schedule uh well actually it's not because it's thursday and i wasn't supposed to have today off this was supposed to be my monday schedule 6 p.m to 4 a.m i was saying yesterday that i was going to be on early because my my gm messed up on my schedule and made me work monday and i had thursday off that's all so, I mean, technically, I'm not on early, but I am for today because my schedule got messed up. What are you up to? Yeah, I need to sell that fucking thing. I just cleared some space. Oh, uh, let's see here. I gotta put this stuff away. Clear up some more space. Um, that money ain't a big deal. I can put this. Okay, I'll put it on there. Um, get my money. Uh, just this one. Um, I can move these down. See, cleared up some nice bit of space.
Might as well. Uh, no, I shouldn't be. Wait, let's check this. Oh, yeah, that can be sold. And then I'll move that money again. Um, actually, I don't know if this one sells. Um, I'm going to sell that one too. There. Now, now the, well, actually, I don't know about these neither. It's a Zenit lot. What do I use on my gun? Oh, that's right. I don't use, I don't use the lock anymore. Uh, see if these go. Damn. Damn. Okay. I can, I can sell them both actually. So this one at 10 K I'll sell that Senate. Uh, for way, way cheaper, like 30, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I'll decide when I go to sell it. Oh, it's just a stash. Yeah, it's just a stash. Yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> it's just a stash. It's not that important. I mean, my stash is, I guess the stash in Tarkov is important. I guess. Hold on. Let me, let me fix it. It's, uh, it was on Phasmophobia. I forgot. This one is fine, but I still want to fix it because it says Faz and it's, it's not Faz. There we go. Yeah, but Stash is getting, getting better, I, I guess. I guess I need to do uh, a day of uh, Chad-like behavior to lose some of my Stash, huh? I just been selling stuff. That's all. Just selling my my extra stuff. Ooh, damn! That bitch sells for a lot. Holy shit! Oh, this is garbage. Damn, I thought that sold for good. Oh, okay. Apparently not. Oops. Ah. <sighs> All right, uh, we're gonna get rid of this rip stop because it is a bit expensive at the moment. So that is good. We will get rid of that. Oh, I gotta wait for something to sell, damn it. And it sell all this stuff in this box. I think that's what we're gonna do for a little bit. We're going to get rid of this because we have no space whatsoever.
I'm almost out of my vape. I'm about to be done with vaping. Yeah, I put that stuff up for cheap. I don't know why it's not selling pretty much right away. Um, you know, I guess I'm just going to, oh, wait, it said add offer. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, I could sell it. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, uh. It just doesn't say add offer when uh when you can actually add it, I guess. It grays out. Okay. Um 32, yeah. All right. Let's see what do we got in here? Get rid of Lots of lots of tools, but I know that soon I'm gonna need stuff for the hideout because I'm about to hit level 30. Uh, I mean, not really. Shit, I got 65,000 to go. Holy shit! I got three more on there. That's 10k. That's only five. Um. I mean, I could go do some runs on custom for armor and weapon repair kits. I don't know if I'm ever going to fucking see fuel conditioners for real. Is that only 5k experience? Well, 6k, but still. Um, I don't fuck. That is a lot of experience, though. So. Oh, man, that would be nice to do that. I just don't want to go to Lighthouse. Uh, who is this? Uh, Peacekeeper? I don't know if I have any of them stimulant or whatever's. Oh, damn. Um... I mean, the location ones with like markers and stuff are pretty, pretty easy. I just don't know where any of the stuff is, so I'd have to like look it up and then try to go and get it done. And... Oh, that's annoying. Especially if I die, I won't, I won't be happy. Please. Police are down. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's up a little bit. I hate that I can't check like my inventory because I can't add an offer. But I can't like open my inventory without being able to add an offer. It's retarded. Yeah. Pizza? Oh, I didn't need all. I figured. Well, I don't know. I guess that's enough for you guys with the other one. So, really, yeah. I don't know, but okay. I guess if you guys want an extra piece or something, let me know, I guess. Thank you. Love you. Okay. Uh, Uh, creeping, creeping off the desk there. Let me fix that. Rock my mat. I don't like it. Uh, actually, I can put it behind the camera. There we go. Oh, that'll work. There we go. Now it's out of the way. Ooh, shampoo's up. Yeah, let's go. 
We'll do 46,000. Oh, it's selling quick. Uh, we don't want to sell blue or green. Try to sell these USBs. No, we can't. We don't have the offer. Ability to add an offer yet. Man, I'm going to have so much money. Oh, my. I got insurance stuff, too, to claim. Oh, shit. I got to claim that soon, huh? <laughs> Fucking damn it. I got my whole gun back. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oy. Uh, what is it? Uh, sorting table. Oh, I forgot. I have a bigger bag now. I forgot I had a bigger bag. Oh, I shouldn't have shot this one. There we go. I got a whole nother gun. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Oh, I'm just missing my suppressor and my tactical device and my scope. Ah, oh, that's kind of sad. I mean, I didn't add. I didn't add too much to it, so that's not too bad. Uh, I definitely got more stuff to claim before it disappears, though. And. Well, I think I'm going to need another wallet. Uh, <clears throat> See, she has it, right? No. I need some lions. Get a dock's case for barter. Get a dog tag case too, but I don't want to pay 344. It's insane. What is this 100, 160 dog tags? Fuck, oh, man, that's crazy. Uh, who's got the fucking wallet? Is it Ragman? Who's got the wallet? Who the fuck has the wallet? Was it Therapist and I just missed it? No. Oh, it's gear. Who the hell has it? I know it ain't the mechanic, is it? No, right? Peacekeeper? No. Fence? Oh, who the hell has the wallet? They're just gonna buy it on the flea market? Okay. Oh, yeah, apparently I have to buy it on the flea market. Okay. That's weird. Whatever. Cause I'm gonna need it in one second here. Dang it, I hate when I do that. All right. Um. Oh shit! Quest reward. I was expecting more money, honestly. Sad. That's really sad. I was expecting more. Damn. 
Yep, I was expecting more. Oh well. Wow. That's a, a lot of a lot of ruble right there. Found in raid or given by quest. Yo yo, Bandito, what's up man? How you doing, man? Oh shit, I have more. I didn't even see that stuff. The hell? All right. There we go. Who needs that gazelle? Uh, it's probably Ragman, right? Yep. Uh, I need I need the other one though. You've been playing Tarkov today, Bandito, and seen all the updates? What do you think about it? Anything I need to know? I haven't even played yet. I've been sitting here selling shit and whatnot, trying to sort the, uh, the, uh, inventory. The stash was a looking, it was looking pretty, pretty bad. And I shouldn't receive this stuff, but I don't want to miss it. The stuff from proper, I got not long before... He gets mad. Fuck it. Oh, his fucking armor and... Ooh, 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 that big boy gone. Ooh. Uh... Of course I can't fucking fit it. Of course I can't. Shit. stuff to get it in there oh damn it I got lost on what I have fucking open. Shit. Alright, this is the one that needs to go up here. And it can get put here. Now we got this tri zip. Uh, see if we can fit. Uh, I don't think I can fit it in here. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I can. Cool. All right, so the tricep can go in there. Okay, okay. Sweet. All right, there we go. Nice. Oh, you haven't fucked with it yet? Okay, I sold a lot of my cases, like three lucky scab cases, three mad cases, a thick weapon case, and like nine med cases, along with keys I don't really use. My stash looks sad. Oh, damn, okay. Okay.
That's that's a that's a little crazy to hear you say your stash is looking sad. I mean, if you don't use it, you don't really need it. Like I got way too many guns. I got way too many keys. I have way too many armors at the same time. You know what I mean? Like I need to stop. But see, like if I have a whole bunch of oh, an item case too. If I if I if I don't make these armors and then I have like let's say six bad raids in a row, then now I have no armor and I have to fucking pay double the price for it, which sucks. I close that tight. Shit. And I just like completely fucking packed my inventory now. It's actually really bad. Trying to, to fix it. At least it's good stuff, though, and not just garbage. Oh, yeah, right, because you're running into labs. Yeah, yeah. Shit. I mean, if you got the money to lose shit and recop it, you know, and then you don't have, like, multiple bad raids in a row, then it really ain't that big of a deal to, to run labs and lose gear. It's just when you're losing gear and you ain't got no money, that's when it's bad. Cause then you can't recop any gear because you're broke. But yeah, if you got money, then yeah, it's like whatever. You know what I mean? Me, I just started like getting money. I just like started like actually having a stockpile of gear, stockpile of money, stockpile of food. Like, I have, my shit that I had in my stash before was trash. Like, you guys know, like, when I was lower level and still learning how to play the game, man, I was keeping shit that I didn't need to keep. At least all this stuff that I got right now is stuff I use, besides the keys up top. Like, these keys up top, like, I'm just not big into the key stuff. I just don't use the keys, because I'm thinking about, like going in and like normal normal looting i guess oh, why did i move that i don't want to move these whoa hold, hold on. okay oh yeah it's it's just overflowing it's just overflowing i just i'm just overflowing i don't buy any food or water anymore and the reason why I have stuff on the outside of these these thermals is because uh, we've been going to streets a lot lately. So, like, I'm packed full. I could stick it in here, but, like, this is my... And I don't... You know what? Actually, I should stick it in there because I don't even make food anymore. I used to make food, but now I don't even do that now. So, actually, I should put it in here. That's actually... You know what? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do, because that sounds like a great plan. Now that I don't actually sell food anymore. I was selling the slickers and uh, the, uh, I mean, I could still sell this, this milk. Like, I can sell that shit right now. Um, and I don't even have to wait for the flea market, because what's her name? Therapist, right? She buys it for pretty decent. Why am I looking over in her stash? And then sell, bam, 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 bam. 
because I don't use that shit. I don't barter it. I don't craft with it. I don't. I don't do any of that with that stuff. So yeah, that that's good. And then I can just put all that food in there. Nice. We just made a hell of a lot more space. Hell yeah. Sweet. Thank you for the suggestion. And it made me think of an idea. Great. Um, put all this in there. As much as I can fit. Um, and then let's see. Put that in there. Put that in there. Uh, I guess the sugar... Um, actually, no, let me pull that sugar out because it's been used. Um, I can sell them slickers as well. Let's put the hot rod in there. So I think that's the good one, right? Uh, I mean. Yeah. Besides the rat cola, but like I'm I'm not impressed by the rat cola. I like the hot rod. Um I like the peas. Iskra for sure. Sausage is good. Now we'll go max energy. Oh, we're full. Alright. Damn, hell yeah, we just cleared a fucking shit ton of space. Nice. Hell yeah, that was awesome. Let's see if we can get that other armor down here. We'll use that one uh shortly here. As soon as we lose this this uh Quran, uh we'll probably use that. This water is going to be used for a craft soon. So that'll be gone soon. Oh, yeah, that was a lot of extra space. Nice. Fuck yeah. I mean, I still have these fucking guns in the way Fuck. but that was still nice though shit uh let's see yep in here go nice looking looking a lot a lot better definitely more space and what I, and see fucking what i'm thinking about now is fucking going and trying to get another armor repair kit already it'd be nice to sell another one how much are they right now I was about to say, damn, what the hell happened? But I forgot. You got to look at 100%. Oh, shit. Yeah. Two two mil right now. Shit. They went up another 200,000. Holy shit. I can't believe people are buying it for that. I mean, you would be better off still buying it at two mil, though. That's crazy. That's real crazy. I was, should I check all these keys and see what they, they're going for right now? Like, see, that's garbage. I can just sell that. I don't know if I'm going to go to these places. These keys, are, these are the keys that I couldn't sell. Because, like, you can tell it won't sell with the red timers. When you see red timers, like, all over the market, you know it's it's not a popular key. 
So realistic, realistically, just they're they're in my inventory for no reason at this point because I don't go to any of these places. I don't go to dorms because it's hot as hell and I don't like getting fucking killed. Yeah. And these are all my duplicates too. These are not even like ones that I don't have. There may be like one or two in here that I don't have like this uh, W321 uh, key. I don't have this key, but look, it hardly even sells. I should just sell them all. Sell them all to therapists. Get rid of them. Like I said, they're either duplicates or keys that I don't use. I'm not even really big into using keys right now. Look at all this is garbage. Okay. Fuck it. What the fuck do I need it for? There we go. 16.5 almost. Nice. Look at the space. Ooh. Nice. Alright, let's go do my scav run. Go to customs and try for this armor repair kit. And I've been going at night too. It's just straight at night. For real. Um, oh, oh. Um before I do that though, I wanna I wanna test something here. Hold on. Um So let's see. Yeah, I don't have my lurk command set up right now, but thank you for the lurk bandito. I appreciate it, man. I need to set that back up. I keep forgetting about it. I'm working on so much stuff right now, it's crazy. All right, I'm going to uh, set up this nighttime raid visual thing here. So let me go to Discord. Oh, I'm going to eat and I'll be on just selling stuff right now. Yeah, I was just selling stuff too. All right, um, oh, hogs on ice. Okay, oh, that's bright. Um, so this is them settings, so let's go. Discord, or not Discord. Uh, oh, that's blocking my view. Dang it. Well, I didn't want it there. Okay. Um, uh, properties. No, that's not what I want. Uh, filter, filter. Uh, color correction. Um, okay. Um, let's, I don't know how this is going to affect everything, but we, we will see here. I can't do it like that. Why is that annoying? Um, I have to change each individual number on fucking, uh, OBS. Why? So annoying. And oof, that shit just fucking kills it, dude. Wow. Um, sixty two. I'll probably have to adjust this for sure. 
I don't know. Why, why would you adjust the hue tint, though? That's weird to me. To take away color or something? Yeah, see, that is... That is crazy. That makes everything look so crazy. And now I see what I really need though is a hotkey though, because I can't I can't have that like that the whole time. So let's see. Um I'm going to have to do a whole nother game capture is what I'm going to have to do. That's all taken. That's taken. Um, I can use those. I guess. Um, okay, so. Um, let's cancel that. Let's, um. Um, paste is it? Re it's reference, right? Because then I can change it. Okay, so lock, rename, uh, night. Yeah, see, it changes the same name though. Wait, what? Okay, let's let's just remove it. I will create a brand new one. Uh, rename one two three. Oops, five a. Um, and then create a new game capture. Uh, game capture. Night. Okay. Tarkov. What are the properties on this one? I just want to make sure. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, Um, go back up to this one, bring it down, property, uh, oh, that's why. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay, Let's check these. Uh, okay, let's fix that. Um, okay. Okay. Lock it. Okay. Daytime. Filters. Remove. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now that one's fixed. Now let's do it in the other OBS. Um, so we need to make a new um Why is that on display capture and not game capture? Oh, that's why. Okay, okay. I know why now. Okay, display capture. Um, game night. Okay. 
capture method. Um, why? Why is it? Um, what? Weird. Okay, hold on. Properties. Ten. Um. Shit. Okay. Oops. I didn't. Uh, that was the wrong thing. I wanted window capture, not display capture. Oops. Um. Game. Night. That's why it didn't give me all the options that I wanted. Uh. Tarkov. Uh, Windows 10. Force SDR. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to bring it down here so you can see all the overlay stuff. Oops. Um, game. Rename. J. Oops. J. Okay, so now properties. Yeah, that's good. Transform, center, horizontally. There we go. Lock it into place. Filters, plus. Color correction, yes. All right, let's add these numbers again. 120. One. One. To add each individual one so annoying god one nine five brightness four one saturation minus Minus sixty-two, two, uh, forty, minus. I reset that, but whatever. Fifty-seven. Seven hundred close. Ooh, that's just insane. All right, so we're gonna do uh, hot keys for this, and we're gonna see how it looks in game. Cause like right now, I don't, I, don't, I have no, no idea even what it looks like. So, um. We will check that out. We'll do a night raid. We'll run a raid with it and we'll see how it looks. All right, so we need to make the hockeys. Oh, wait, what? What happened? Oh, I didn't fucking add the filter over here. I had it, but I deleted it. Damn it. All right, hold on. Forgot I deleted it because it was the wrong capture type. Okay. Or no, I copied it as a reference. That's right. That's right. Okay. So let's fix it. Then we'll make the hotkey. One. Two. Four. One, five, five, fourteen, saturation, sixty-two, minus, this is forty, Minus 
Di seven. Okay, so now hotkeys. Settings. Hotkeys. And the gaming scene. Um, all right, so it's the new one. Um, night. We're going to do um, show hide. And then, where is it? Uh, um shit shit how do i do two hotkeys oh cool 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 sweet news all right so i can add two hotkeys okay so it needs to be uh so high right next so high all right cool bam Alright, so regular nighttime. Come on, work. There you go. Okay, now other OBS. Go back to my server really quick. Uh back to Tarkov because that's fucking bright. Okay, now so the hotkeys for this OBS. In there um that game I so day show night hi okay so now night time it's gonna be show and then hi okay down hi So now when I'm in the menus, I ain't got to have it like that. And it's not fucking annoying. So then when we get out of raid, I can quickly switch over. All right. So let's go test it out. Oh, yeah. It's deep into nighttime now. Okay. Ready? Let's go test it. Man, I still got this fucking pizza. Damn. I didn't eat my pizza because I was working on the stream. Damn. Damn it, damn it. I could be I could be listening to the podcast too. I'm not even doing that. What the hell is going on with me right now? I'm all out of it, man. Fucking X went and came and grabbed her fucking the rest of her shit. I guess it discombobulated me. Videos. It was so funny, dude. It was so funny. And then when I did finally die, I was like, I, he thinks I threw that just for the like I didn't throw it, but like he thinks. And at the I same time, you were a little bit relieved that you. <laughs> This is the life that we live, it's dude. It's so funny. Dude, you're not the, the PS de resistance, dude. We were talking, somebody in chat mentioned, like, somebody was like, I mean, doesn't it kind of make sense that streamers are most likely the people that play the game and an exorbitant amount of time more than the average person? So wouldn't it be fair to say that most of them are probably better and would perform better? That's not entirely true. It makes sense that we have the most to gain from it. Yeah. No, well, I was telling you, I was like, I was like, we have the most knowledge in game because this was a separate person. This was like a guy who was like trying to disprove the guy who thought I was a cheater. And, uh, and he said that. And I was like, no, pause, so here's the thing. pause. So it's like, what, what's happening is like, I heard this quote, man. podcast, pause. Fuck. I don't know why my media key didn't work. Okay. So nighttime. Dude, whoa, dude, what the fuck? 
Why? That's so bright, though. Like, ungodly. Bronze sausage, stanky, man. I, I hope I have a great stream, too. I think this is way too bright, though. I need to change it, because, wow, that's insanely bright. I guess I should have went into a practice match, huh? Shit. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. Um, it was settings from someone else. I'm fixing it. Hold on. Yeah, I was trying to... Because I'm in a night raid right now. But fuck, this is insane. Wow. I... Uh, zero give give me one second guys one one second here i'm cutting i'm cutting the values because they are insane give me one moment uh we need this to be seven that needs to be zero and I'm, I'm cutting the values right now because they are insane and i'm sorry it was supposed to be a, a test really quick it was not supposed to blind people it's blinding me too i i, I struggle with uh stuff so is that uh we want to do uh 65 um Chat is in the middle of the screen and it's and it's a white out. Chat's not in the middle of the screen. <laughs> what? On YouTube? Yeah, it needs I need to fix it on YouTube. It's not supposed to stay up on YouTube. I don't know why it's staying up on YouTube. It's supposed to disappear. But I'm gonna move it right now because yeah that's fucking obnoxious we're fixing it we're fixing it hold on That's fixed. I'm about to fix YouTube. I'm fixing Twitch and Kick right now. I still think it's a little, a little bright. So let's uh, let's reduce this down to four. Yeah, that's that's better. Okay, maybe we should go to three. Okay, I, I like that a little bit better. Uh, let's uh, put that down. Okay, this down. There we go. How's that on Twitch and Kid? Yeah, no, the monitors are going to be different. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I was uh, I was accounting for. Like, I, I, that's why I jumped into the test straight away and was like, all right, we're just going to we're going to sort it out as we get there. Right, right. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. So we're good there now. Now we just got to fix uh, YouTube. YouTube is still blown out right now. So let me fix YouTube. Got zero, uh, fifty five, uh, zero there, and sixty five. And then this one is going to be zero, three. We didn't change anything else. So that should be that should be good right there. YouTube should look good now as well. Um seems good. 
that's better on youtube yep i fixed it yeah how's the white out on on youtube Yeah, I fixed the chat. I moved it over. I don't know why I had it in the middle of the screen. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking I, and when I put it there. But let's see. Tarkov now. Looks good. Okay, good, good. And then look, like hotkey, bam. So the difference between the two. And then back to increasing it in terms of brightness for, for nighttime raid. Where, where are we? Storage units? In between storage units and Big Red? Is it better than seeing this in the dark time? Because in the dark time, this is what you get. And it definitely looks way darker, like for you guys, because my monitor settings are different, right? But my monitor settings are turned to the dark as it can get, but I'm playing in HDR. Right, that's too dark, right. Right, okay. So that's what I was aiming for is that you guys will see it better because I, like I said, I have the HDR monitor. So I have my my backlight and the brightness on this monitor turned all the way down. And what you guys see is a little brighter, a, a little brighter, not by much, but it's, you guys definitely have it brighter than I do. And I think the colors, the colors are stripped too. So you don't really get to see the colors. It's kind of like a, like a thermal kind of night vision. So that's kind of cool too. I think it, it makes everything look, you know, pretty good. Like, see, this is red. And doesn't it look like yellow or brown? Like this is green. This is blue. <laughs> Um, I should go this way. Try to get that loot spawn by the car up front with the weapon box and the jacket. I've gotten some pretty good stuff out of that stuff, so definitely hit that up. But yeah, that was uh, that was uh, Brup's idea to make sure that everyone could see, and I, I'm definitely thankful that he he brought that up because now everyone can see. Um, I didn't have it adjusted um, for the last couple of days, but I definitely wanted to address it. So I'm glad that I got to it because I've been playing a lot more night raids recently. So definitely want people to be able to see what I'm doing instead of not being able to see because that don't help. All right, 762. I'll take it. Don't care about that. Um, I think that sells for a decent price, if I'm not mistaken. All right, well, that wasn't really good loot that time around. All right, let's go into here and look for the other repair spawn. Da, da, da. So back at that storage unit with the blue car in front of it with the uh, door open, that's where the uh, repair kit spawns on the table. And the repair kit in here spawns right here. So right here. All right, we're going to make our way over to um, across the water. There's four spawns for the repair kit in a line when we get across the water from the very this way like if we go up this way um oh i don't have my map up um so we're gonna go all the way south and if you travel your way all the way up um to our uaf uh checkpoint um, there's four spawns along that way. You kind of got to go into the, the fence line, though, for um, construction for that spawn. 
but i mean realistically they're all like right there in a row so you hit them four and then you have one more uh repair kit spawn uh in depot or you can call it storage uh storage building or containers building i know every everybody in tarkov calls stuff so many different things it's to me it's a little a little weird and i guess it could be annoying like if i don't know what it's called and i'm like looking at a map and the map's telling me one thing and they're calling it something else then i get like well, what are you talking about because i have no idea what you're talking about being that this is my first white you know i'm still learning everything i get confused when someone's like over there at the tower and i'm like tower what to what tower the the smokestack tower the fucking you know lookout tower like what do you mean you know so it's like you know i just gotta figure it all out i'm i'm excited for my next wipe so that's gonna be fun oh oh here's 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 the one i should check the truck first before i continue on i should i mean i could check construction too but i'm not gonna i'm gonna check the truck first nope it spawns in the back right here then you got down here at sniper roadblock is the uh the next spawn so this is the run that i do on my scab every time i come into customs Okay, it spawns right here on the table. Not there. So now we'll go inside the fence line here to the left of that truck we just checked. We'll go into the fence line and we'll go up top that, that building that looks like it's being built. It's called construction. We'll, uh, we'll go up on the second floor there you can see the, the the bricks there on the edge. I, it's, I, I would say red bricks, but you don't have any color at the moment with the current night vision set up. So right there. Then bricks. It spawns on top of them bricks. The pallet of bricks. So we'll go up there. We'll take a look. And that's a no. Now we'll go to RUAF checkpoint. And right, we'll check that spawn. And after we check this spawn, well, we're going to check uh, Dead Scav here in the bushes too. Because I've, I've got some pretty good stuff off of him too. Um, but we're, we're going to backtrack uh, towards construction. But not, we're going to go through the fence line to backtrack. We're going to check this dead scab. Oop, he's in the next bush. Yeah, I've got a Bitcoin off this guy. He always has the unknown key. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. A PP-19. I don't really care for that. I'll sell that when we get back to the stash. So the next repair kit spawns on this pallet with this gas can. So right there um all right now we're gonna make our way through the fence and i used to go to the right towards crack house but now i like going towards dang it uh going towards construction just because i try to stay away from fort like fort there's a bag here by the way um i don't want to go near fort because Man, it did way, way too much action going on over there. So you can go that way, or you can go this way, and I go this way. Realistically, what I should start doing now that I go this way, I should skip construction, go to RUAF first, and then backtrack to construction, and then follow my way over here through second construction, I guess. I don't, I don't know what this is called. 
the map that I use does not say that it has a name. And then we go right here. If you if you wanted, there is a stash underneath here as well. Um, is it this car? I think it's this car right here. It's right here underneath the, the actual platform. I think it's right here. It's down a little bit further. Yeah, I think it's down one more. Dang it. But you'll see a stash and a barrel. So here it is. Let me look at it. What are you doing? Okay. About to say, dang, let me have it. Uh, maybe. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Armored glasses. Yes. Let me off of it. And you got to go this way anyways to get where we want to go. So it's like you're trying to bypass Fort right there because fuck that place, dude. Going near there or old gas just gets me killed. I don't know why there's always people like camping over there, but they always are for some reason. And it's annoying to go trying to get to over here from there and getting you know, sniped or getting ratted on by someone. So I try to avoid it now. Then we come this way. I thought that was a person. You come out from old gas right here. Um, But like to come this way, you got to go past fort and on the outside of old gas and people, like I said, like to camp there and shit. And it's just annoying. We got across these tracks right here. This is depot or st or storage or containers. Some people say it's med bus or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, they said there's a quest in here, so they call it like the quest task, I guess. This is the only armor repair kit that I haven't seen spawn yet. So I don't know exactly where it spawns, but it's somewhere in this corner. Somewhere over here. I just don't know where yet because I've never seen it spawn yet. Then, because we started over there, ooh, a motor. I mean, I usually don't pick up motors, but I think I have the space and I'm not too heavy yet. So I'll, I'll pick it up just because of that. But I don't want to carry it throughout the whole raid. And since I'm going to leave now, it's like, okay, you know, it's still money. So fuck it, I'll grab it. But other than that, we want to go all the way down this road until... The fence dead ends, and then there'll be there'll be a break on the left-hand side. And that left-hand side is where you want to go out. Like, you don't want to go out on this first opening, because then you got to crawl through this barbed wire. It's not this one. I think it's the next opening. Yeah, it's the next opening. If you go through the next opening, you have to crawl through the barbed wire, and that can get you killed. So, like, to keep your mobility and to not go through that barbed wire right there, you're just going to keep on running down. If you really want to be safe, I'd say to like stay in between like the buildings and stuff and run along them, not along the fence line like I'm doing. But I usually don't find no action over here, so it's not. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you want to be safe, go by the buildings. But other than that, just run along the fence. And then here's the extraction right here. Bam! Nice little run, you know. Didn't really see any action. You know, nighttime, you know, no big deal. And try to get some armor repair kits that are selling for two million right now. Two million. That's crazy that armor repairs are selling for two million. And then usually what I do is I just drop the bags in there because they're big. I guess you could drop the guns first, but I usually like drop the little little stuff first and then the big stuff 
There we go. And now I can take off the nighttime effect. And now Tarkov's normal. Nice. <laughs> and I got some some fully stuffed DiGiorno double pepperoni or oh, it's a little cold but peace are fine cold making the least likely possible scenario statistically and because it's so unlikely he's convinced that that is, is what it has to be so like right so like you if you scroll if you close your eyes and scroll and you click on a tarkov streamer you might click on me it's not a zero percent chance i'm cheating like to you you're like you're like there's a there's a chance this guy's um and you're like, oh, he's got 10,000 hours on his account, and you start to piece together. You're like, statistically, I'm selling it for cheaper because it's damaged. He's cheating, but it's like, like I don't know a sealable bag that personally, right? Like, could he be cheating? It's not zero. And then they take all of those kind of. Oh, oops. And that's how they answer every question and everything. Every uh, we'll sell it for seven. I swear to God, Veritas. Hopefully, it sells. His chat message is because he was in a separate conversation with other people in chat and they were talking about how like he was like, well, man, I just like once I got it confirmed that ev I, every single raid I was in had a cheater. Then I really I tried to break the price for this lower end gear because, you know, Timmy's ain't got that much money, man. He goes, so I try to cut the price down, you know, a significant amount. Plus, it sells it quick for me, so I don't have to worry about it. That when I avoid high tier loot areas or other spawns early in the raid, I survive more. And I was like. Now, see, lots of players use this for leg meta. So I'm going to put this like his, his, not much cheaper. And it's 100% durability. And it'll sell for 17 with no problem. And making it his answer and and then he tells his chat he says when i avoid pvp spots and high tier loot i survive more raids i was like dude could there be another explanation no so this is a, it's it's how he arrives there dude. It, it's it, it makes perfect sense it makes perfect sense because it is the antithesis of the skeptical scientific yeah. mindset which yeah. is to say, you might have a hypothesis, but you're, you don't know the answer, and effectively you're, you are trying to gather as many observations as you can that will lead you to the truth. Yeah. It's not a guarantee, it's a process, right? Yeah. What these people do, the opposite of that is the conspiratorial mindset, which yeah. is, I have the answer. Yeah. And then everything you look at, That's you can fit. Huh. That's a good way to put it. So if someone's cheating, why is it that I survive? Well, because if they're cheating, well, then whatever his logic was, I don't yeah, even know. They're going what the to the high tier you loot spot. So if I avoid those places, I'm not running into the cheaters. I survive more. Everyone must. So it cheating. never crossed his mind. He never asked, why are people going there? Yeah. That was pretty good. That's the first time I had fully loaded yeah. right because he's starting with the conclusion yeah. pizza that's pretty good so like so, it, so it, none of the all of the stuff is logically consistent and, and yeah. coherent it's just it, it just doesn't comport yeah. with reality yeah yeah it's yeah. internally it's its own internal thing where if if ev there's cheaters in every raid then yeah. what he's saying makes sense if every streamer is cheating, what he's saying makes yeah. sense. It, you just the logic is consistent to the reference point. The reference point is just happens to be the universe. We have hot dogs for fingers, not real life. Yep. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah. That's the sky's a, the sky's a volleyball in that universe. Yeah, not a basketball, not, right? Not a basketball. Which it is definitely here a basketball. So, dude, it. I was so. I was so happy that i that i had the conversation with the guy right like that i didn't just like insta ban him because it was just man it was like you got to see the ape in the zoo behind the cage 
And the weird thing where like this is so fucking fascinating dude, to me. I, dude, it was like Man, it was just crazy. It was just crazy. And the dude and like somebody gifted him a sub, you know what I mean, just like for the memes. Uh, <laughs> he, ended up saying, he ended up saying like uh I will tell you what though, I'll always give props to a streamer who's chill and you earned a follow. And then he just kinda like like left. Like it wasn't we he didn't get banned. Like he wasn't disrespectful to anybody, even when he was arguing with them. And I was like, dude, I was like, homie, you're welcome here anytime, brother. Like, you like. I just lost respect for him because if if he really believes you're cheating, then fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, then right, right, exactly, right. Like, you know, if you're really cheating, then right, like, fuck you. Moral, right? Like, God even if they're crazy morals. That was crazy. That's good. That's good. I like that. sure of either he's sure of it or he's not i'm actually yeah. pissed right all now. right let's see if the second piece is just as good hypocrite. jesus christ dude oh my god, god. Yep. yep so and, and that's where you start to like really doubt you know how sometimes you get food and like if you, if you one piece one piece is really good but then you have another piece and you're just like uh you know it wasn't really that good that time you know like when you get food at a restaurant and then like half of the plate is good but then like the other let's say you you got pasta and then like the other side of the pasta because you didn't actually like make sure it was like kind of like consistent all the way through the pasta you get like all the chicken on the left side you eat all the pasta on the left side with the chicken and you're like oh man that was great and then you start eating the right side and there's no fucking chicken it's disappointing right pizza's pretty good and i like the corner pieces you know i like i do like crust so it's good why are you why when you like met her in person were you like kind of respectful I would have tried to rip off the wig and see the slit tongue. You know what I mean? Like yep. you don't actually believe the shit that you seemingly act and live your life as if you believe. Yeah. Yeah. Drives me fucking up a wall, dude. That people just flip switches in their brains. Yep. And I hate it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I still, I still don't know if he, like, you know what I mean? Like, I still think that there's a very real possibility. Possibility. <laughs> He doesn't. I dropped a little piece of pepperoni. Yeah. Either way, it ended up being hilarious. Um, dude, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it was, it was epic. It was just epic and and weird and surreal and fascinating and hilarious and like, and the timing was just like so perfect with some of the stuff. So yeah, I, I uh, you know, I say. The next, and this applies to all of life. The next time we got five minutes for this, for this uh, scav run. <laughs> About something crazy at the beginning. Already done with that pizza though. I lost my appetite already. In this, in this time and in this moment, is there mind? Wow. Because if it's not, it opens you up to some fun conversations. Like you're free. No, you, 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 and you want to know free. something? You want to know something? What? The answer to that question being, is their mind changeable? Being yes, even if there's a small percentage. That is arguably like me asking that question and answering yes, I think, even if it's a small chance, is like a large part of my like mental health downward spiral was trying yeah what time is it to it's eight o'clock wow trying to help yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and 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 that ends up in a in a fucking black hole downward spiral corkscrew yeah. all right i did not start to question whether they're all right let's do this i'm gonna go grab a drink but i want to check this real quick um yeah you have to then defend them um getting on your nerves to the other people that are calling them disingenuous trolls when they're just maybe wrong or confused yeah i have to see if it worked right <laughs> no with great power comes great responsibility be careful because i didn't work right um yeah and let's humor them and then 
Okay. Where they go to bed like kind of in tears that night because they feel like they just got mocked in front of a bunch yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were serious and they realized they were a little. Let me check my hockey. What the hell? Now, like embarrassed that yeah. you know the person. Yeah, five. That's A. B. They were trolling and wasting yeah. time the whole time. Yeah. And That's what I thought. Everybody in chat was right. Five. They were just doing it to fuck with you, but it Why was is it broken? Really just wasting your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. So the case in the matter here is it shows my screen and I've got it set that I have to have YouTube open. There we go. Yeah. See Jesse and Veritas. Ironic and clever, and there was some like twist at the end. Nice. Okay. Just acting like an idiot and having yeah. everybody call you an idiot isn't trolling. You're just being an idiot. Yeah. All right. Bam. So then there's you're having your time wasted. There we go. All right. I'm just gonna go grab my drink real quick. I was just wanting to mess with the be right back screen. I want to start getting in the habit of doing these things so that people are not and i will get better at my transition swapping and stuff like that so it is should look really good every time i do something so i'll be right back and it's like a futile thing or you can just say i don't give a fuck i'm just gonna keep memeing and playing the game and that's why so many streamers who are just don't really it don't really engage in the the kind of debate discussion changing minds education learning thing yeah how all the people that just make fart jokes and meme all day long and have fun not that there's anything wrong with it they're having a good time yep and people like me are fucking miserable trying to work through this shit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a fascinating conversation. Oh, all right, I am back. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys like the podcast, like me. I, I think it very, very interesting conversations. Even though they talk about, you know, Diablo Four that I don't care about. I said you're brain dead. I didn't really care for their last podcast about drama and mental health. I'm not saying that I don't like care about people's mental health. I just think that some people that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. say some weird stuff about mental health. And sometimes I think some people are too dramatic. I'm not saying that their mental health is not important or anything like that. But Sometimes I feel like people are crying just for attention. And I hope that the people that really do need help get help. But the ones that cry and they don't really need help, I think it takes away from the people that actually do need help. So it really bothers me when they don't need help and then they cry help. It, 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 it it's not fair to the people that actually do need help. Oh, the chat is in the middle of the screen on this. Whoa. Why is it all in the middle of the screen? Some Something happened with the settings on YouTube with the chat. That's what happened. I don't know why it changed and what changed, but that's annoying i'm glad it changed and i get to fix it that was weird there we go there so see going through the different the different uh screens and transitions and all that stuff is definitely helping me get stuff in order so four that's the b-rate back screen that one looks good all right go back to the chatting screen that looks good that looks good all right that's that maybe i should move it over on this one so it's kind of in the middle of the screen and i don't i don't really ah uh, i see why it's right there but we can move it over more 
let's do that. Um, yep, that's good. All right, back to YouTube. And it's where I want it. There, here we go. His chat message is because he was in a separate conversation with other people in chat. And All right, I might do another scav run. It should be ready now. Yep. All right, let's do this scav run, and then we'll figure out, like, what task we're going to do. And dark time. So now we can go back into checking out the nighttime filter again, even though we've already checked it out. It should be fine. But we are going to do it again. Ooh, I just got a portable defibrillator. They sell for at least 180 or 200,000 or something like that. Spawns early in the raid, I survived more. Oh. Starbucks Frappuccino is good, man. Really good stuff. I wish I didn't dislike the company for their their wanting to like make decisions in the world like they have a decision to make. Like just make coffee, that's what you do. Stay in your business lane. That's it. That's it. Focus on that. Don't tell people what they can and cannot do. You're just a coffee company. I survived more raids. I was like, dude. Talk about coffee. You want to make some comments on coffee? And even if you wanted to have an opinion on coffee and be like, oh, Brazilian roast is the best. Well, cool. Awesome. That's your opinion. But if you want to make an opinion like, oh, we like red more than blue and everyone should too. Which yeah. is to say, you might have... Uh, really? You're Stay on coffee. That's that's your job. I don't like people like that. You are trying like, if you're a professional at one thing, that means you're a professional at that thing and that thing alone, unless you have multiple talents, of course. But that's what you're a professional at. Not anything else. You can comment on that thing and no nothing else. Unless you're educated on it, you shouldn't be making a comment. I know everyone has an opinion, but they shouldn't. Everything you look at, you can fix. That's a good way to put it. So if someone's cheating, why is it that I survive? Well, it's because if they're cheating, well, then whatever his logic was, I don't yeah, even they're know. They're going what the to the fucking... high tier you loot spots, so if I avoid those places, I'm not running into the cheaters. I survive more. Everyone must. So it cheating. never crossed his mind. He never asked, why are people going there? Oh. I skipped back on the YouTube when I put it back on YouTube browser, like on my browser, and then popped it back out. It went back in time on the podcast. Ugh. Now I don't know what I missed and where I skipped to. If anybody, and I don't know if I, if I, there's like potential for maybe investing some money, I, I, but I don't know. Like, it, I just want to work with a really simple proof of concept that has to do with what I really want. Imagine being able to take a, a body, a 3D body. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll just simplify it. Imagine being able to take a 3D body, like a skydiver flying through the air, and being able to do procedural-esque animations in between different orientations, like doing a flip or, or whatever, okay. flying on your belly, flying on your back, right? With some basic controls... Because what I want to work with, what I want to make, if there's one thing I've learned from speedrunning, from Tarkov, mm. from games like Diablo, from all of these things, is how critical and core movement is in video yeah. games. So what I need to do oh. in order to figure out if the idea... I don't know why my media control is not working. That's annoying. Did I really start in dorms? Oh my god. Um, let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Wow. I have not started in dorms in forever. Uh, uh, here's someone. Let me get the fuck up out of here. I hope no one's following me. I don't like dorms. Oh, I ran the wrong way. 
I went north instead of east. No. I'm gonna go to uh, sniper roadblock to check the uh, the repair spawn. I got a double barrel, man. Come on. Actually, you know what? I didn't even check my inventory because I started in dorms. Ooh, gas welder. Let's go. I love the gas welders. I mean, I like them over the the armored glasses. You know what I mean? Like, but I like that the the armored glasses have armor. You know what I mean? So like, I'll I'll take the armored glasses over my my gas welders. Aw, no repair kit. We gotta make our way over to big red and stuff too. It kind of sucks that we started here in the middle instead of on one of the edges. Oh, whoa, why'd the light go out? Nothing. And you guys can see good, right? Like me, you can see all of the stuff that I'm doing, right? You can see like even the details, like you can see when I looked in the back of that truck that there was no repair kit. Oh, oh, bro, okay. Yeah, 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 I'm just a scab, buddy. Just a scab. Just a scab. Ooh, armor repair kit, let's go. I gotta get out. Oh, I almost fell off the building. Ah, oh, I spun around too much. There's a flashlight on the bridge, too. Get the fuck on. That's two mil. That's two mil. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Where's my extractions? Uh, old gas. Ah, oh, man. Military base? By dorms? Really? It just come from there. Like, how is that a, a, a extra an extraction for me? That's weird. Dude, search. Dude, search of shit. Unknown key. Boom. Mayo, uh, I'll take the foam for now, but like I'm probably not going to keep it. Let's check this other spawn. Maybe we'll find a weapon repair kit too. That'd be sick. Something's there. Dude, no way. Bro, no. No way. Dude, oh my god. What the hell is going on? Dude, I need to get out. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, factory far corner. Um, shit, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got four mil on me right now. Holy shit. Oh, I'm a slow bastard. Oh shit. We don't have. Drop that. Uh, fuck. Uh, drop. Drop. Um, drop. Drop. To scav. We need to get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh my god. I got four mil on me. What the fuck is going on? I'm not gaining gaining stamina. This is gonna be rough. Military far corner. Or I mean military base. Um old gas is the closest thing, dude. All right, that's where I'm going. I'm going old gas, but I'm taking the the the, the scenic route because I don't tr trust uh fort. Shit, dude. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna have to bush hop. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck, dude? This is insane.
Oh, I'm a slow motherfucker, dude. Um, shit, wrong way. What am I doing? I'm all messed up in my head right now. Oh my god. I am, I am, I am not, I am not thinking clearly because of, wow, I got four, the fuck. And all I got is a double barrel shotgun to protect myself. This is ridiculous. I'm just going to walk it. I'm just going to walk it. And if I start getting into action, I'll have the stam to run, I guess. Dude, I am so fucking slow. Holy shit. Wow. Just a scab. He made me nervous with that flashlight though. I mean, he's causing way too much attention in the way that I'm going. I don't like that. He may think I'm heavy or something. I don't trust him. ran just so that he knows I could run hoping he didn't notice I was a heavy fucker Shit. I don't like going to old gas but I'm gonna have to risk it because it is close and I am way too slow and I want to get the hell out of here right now I'm gonna crawl underneath the train because I'll get my stand back for when I get to the other side. And I'm in cover. It's bad kind of being like prone, but I'm hoping that this 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 cover and no one seeing me and gaining my stand back is a good thing for right now. I wish I had ears. I can't hear shit but wind. I don't like being so close to Fort, man. Shit makes me nervous. Especially being this fucking slow, man. It's just making me nervous. I do not like it. Not even for a moment. This is crazy. I can't believe I found two at the same time, man. What the fuck? Oh, 
Aw, oh, come on. I was supposed to run first. Dude. Oh my god, are you serious, dude? Oh, why did I not run? Fuck, oh, man. Oh my god, I'm too heavy. Oh my god, what the fuck? Dude, lay down. Please lay the fuck down. Oh my god, this is insane. I can't. Oh, come on, dude. What is going on? I, okay. I can't. I, fuck. Oh, how heavy am I? Jesus Christ. This is ridiculous. Dude, okay. I just cannot jump that high. That's the issue. Okay. Shit. Okay. Let me crawl. We're going to crawl to the other side of old gas opening. I hate taking the side of old gas. I like going underneath the bridge. I feel a hell of a lot safer. This is insane. Can't believe I can't jump over that wall. I don't see anything. Fuck, I just hate fucking being on this side of old gas, dude. The sky looks kind of like yellowish brown gold or whatever, but yeah, I see it and it's like orange, reddish pink. Yeah, I dropped my, I'm already this far already now, bro. It don't matter now. I wasn't even thinking about dropping my bag because it's got my fucking money in it. someone run by and snatch my bag and be like snatches <laughs> and pop a mule and a fucking sj6 i'd be so sad the fuck is that a person right there i couldn't tell Quick Wits is not in my wallet. Not, not right now, dude. I got fucking lots of money on me right now, and my brain is just not functioning because of it. And old gas is open. That means PMCs could be coming this way to extract. I need to get the fuck out. That was not a person. All right, let's go. Let's go. Get the fuck on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Jesus. <sighs> Ay, ay, ay. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Bro, that's four million. Let's get it. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Bro, yes, and some gas welders. Let's go. Oh, dude, I'm so glad I went to another scav run. I was going to go do a PMC. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because there's like five different ways I can think about controlling it, and this is gonna be a really unique game. Think like Quop, but. What are you up to, gamers? Oh man, that was sick. It's like literally the worst elevator pitch on planet Earth. Like, I could, there couldn't be a worse <laughs> elevator pitch on planet Earth. Man, that was cool. Everybody that was like interested before was like, oh, yeah. never mind. I'm not interested. Yeah. But, but, but it's what I'm talking about is like it's not just W A S D movement. It's not like mouse movement. It's something a little bit more unique and a little. Ouch. That I need to be able to. I guess I'll start more wires then. But what I want. Not paying an extra freaking five, six thousand for them fucking matches, man. People are on fucking crack with that shit. 
shirt for prototyping purposes. I need somebody to help me. Yeah. And what I don't want is That's some good money for that defibrillator. What are these? Ooh. Oh, there's only one on the market? Wow, I need more. Shit. Like their money's their time's valuable. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I so I, I need someone to help me because it's something that I bet there's people who are really fucking good could probably do it in an afternoon. Yeah. And I just don't have the time to go through the weeks of reading documentation exactly. when I've yeah. got like videos I'm working on and all yeah. kinds of other shit. Um. Okay. So, so reach out to me Pog on Nation. Discord or on on twitter my twitter dms are open hit me up if you are a competent professional level expertise with unreal some amount of expertise with procedural animations whether it's like ik or i think i don't think i'm speaking lingo here but i don't think ik is actually what i want in this case just reach out Okay. Because I need to throw some shit against the wall and see what sticks, and I need to talk to some people about it because All I have right. what I'm picturing in my head would be one of the fucking sickest games. Is is Veritas really trying to create a game? <laughs> I've had the same thing like oh yeah this is gonna be a sick game oh my god it's such a bad it's such a bad pitch now it needs to be a part of the official the silence was the loudest part it was just like flop without AIDS and I was just like waiting for you to like and and you were like no that's it <laughs> That's okay. That's not. Uh, let no, me clarify. That that's not what the game no, is. No, no. That's the testing environment you need in order to figure out if your idea will work is co-op, mm -hmm. but not AIDS. That, so I, I got it. It was just so. That was so epic. <laughs> oh my god. That was like so genuinely hilarious. Um. Did you see uh the cycle frontier? Did you hear the? Did you hear any news about that? Cycle Frontier shutting down. Uh, a bunch of people like tweeting and retweeting shit about the Cycle Frontier, yeah. and usually when I see that, I just keep scrolling. They're shutting but... it down. Yeah. They're taking the game down. Done. Yep. We're done. Excuse me. Yeah. They, yeah. They were like, uh, they were like September twelfth. Servers are going down. Yep. Whatever. Yep. On ride, everything's ninety five percent off. Yep. Anybody that's bought the game in the past. However much time when you get refunds. It depends. Whoa. It has to be more recent that you get a refund. Dead game. Unironically dead game. Yeah. You know yep. what's crazy though? Yep. It's like, listen, I, I haven't would have guessed. I haven't played the cycle in a really long time. And and so I definitely don't have like a leg to stand on when I'm talking about like the game itself. A lot of people came out with like totally saw this coming, like this game saw what? whatever. You saw it coming. Get out of here. Much better takes. They were like sad to see it go. There were clear issues, but like we you know we want more games, not less. But but a lot of other people were talking. A lot of the content creators were really good about it. But like, man, the game. So like, I'll say this: the game never really grabbed me. I think there were some things fundamentally that made it so I didn't really want to get addicted to the game. Uh, there was a real bad cheating problem in the beginning, but they apparently squashed that. But it did some pretty unrepairable damage. And then, secondly, they apparently, from people in the cycle community, they, they got... Two mil? Oh my god, I'm about to get four mil, bro! I'm about to hit 20 mil! Let's go! That's what we talk about all the time, you and me. Uh. If you're going to have a game that doesn't wipe, there has to be emergent gameplay. The gameplay loop can't be reliant on the game. It has to be reliant on the players. If, if a game like that's not going to wipe, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, anyways... But I will say that to this day, I forgot about this. 07s, 07s. I forgot I still had that to collect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's go. Say, dude. Woo. What? The cycle front Look at that big boy, AK545. Let's go. Oh, that's a beautiful gun right there. Here. For what? All extraction shooters moving forward, 
in perpetuity should do with servers and matchmaking. It's still. I got some mags. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. People are infilling and exfilling all the time. They had a solution for loot generation. There was AI, there was PvP, PvE, quests, a hideout, similar to. It was all that, but you got into a goddamn raid in four seconds. Four seconds? Damn! You never knew where people were going to be. And so, like, th I, w I will say the one thing about that game is that, like, in my opinion, it set the standard for how all extraction shooters should um, have their servers. It, it feels like it, it feels like an iteration on the genre. I know it's funny. Everybody's like, you know, Tarkov killer, you know, dies, you know, whatever. But, like, in my opinion, like, that con – uh, contribution to this genre like i really 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 hope other games understand how good of an idea that was even if they didn't execute on it well enough to keep players engaged in the game that's wow that sucks like why don't they, why don't they just wipe the worst part about this i mean obviously why don't they just wipe and give everyone brand new yeah, probably goals all over again they do that before they shut down why would they wipe the game real quick all data for people to have to start over and be like we're gonna try this out and see if we get more of a player base that are constantly here or the beginning of wipe and when the game starts to die down we notice in two months three months that the game starts to die down we'll wipe again like me i i, I when i was running my game server i didn't wipe very often it was because i was doing lots of testing and balancing and everything for when i was coding in the very beginning but once i was set and i was done i stopped wiping the server but yeah then people were getting complacent and stuff yo mashi what's up what's up how you doing bro uh and uh oh oh and the, the reason i put battle bit on here was like so they've been doing drops so people have been talking about there's a tournament happening there's there's a bsg um like sanctioned they're not putting it on but the hunt is the organization they're putting on a tournament bsg keeps retweeting it i think bsg um uh is putting up some of the prize money and then irish helps anyways there's the, the, the point i'm trying to make is there's gonna be drops for this tournament there's a tournament on doing the good man doing good EU is the 15th and gonna be yeah yeah doing good gonna wipe because drops and not gonna wipe here because oh, there's gonna, people are gonna be drops and just enjoying tarkov and then we were talking about like what the drops have been like the first few times they did drops it was like crazy it was like docs cases and weapons cases and then like the past few times they've done drops they've done them like near a wipe so it's like a hard drive and like screws and use it for your hideout because everyone's like if, if we do if it's good stuff it will oh man why he just lost 240,000 like I was gonna lose 40,000 because like this is insane that the armor repair kit is now pushing past 2 million like I just sold one uh or actually I sold two for 1.5 and one for 1.6 and now I found one and I'm and I'm keeping it and now I'm putting two more on there for 2.1 mil so I'm getting 300 1.3 1.3 mil extra profit on top of me finding it and and selling it for 800,000. I'm getting an additional 1.3 million. Like that's insane. EFT is a battle royal type game, right? No, it's a it's a survival extraction. So instead of doing the battle royal, the problem I have with battle royals is is that you got the circle that closes, right? And when that circle is closing, you have to end up fighting most most likely the best player in the match. And that's what I find really annoying with Battle Royals is I wasn't on like the shooter, you know, PC, you know, grind, you know. Well, Phasmophobia helped me with that because it gave me the muscle memory, the AWSD, you know, movement that I needed to be good at first person shooters on PC because I always played on console. Well, because I played on console, 
I wasn't good on PC for shooters, so I needed to get better first. And Faz, Phasmophobia, helped me with my movement to get me there where I needed to be. Now I'm so ready to jump into first person shooters. This is my first shooter since 2002 on PC. Now I tried to play Apex, I tried to play Valorant. I've already, you know, played Rainbow Six on console, so I didn't want to jump back into that. I tried CSGO and I didn't like them. They're just aimers you know what i mean like they're just you aim and that's it and then not to mention fortnite is a battle royal uh apex is a battle royal i didn't want to fight off with the best person in that match most likely and, and die like there's no reward there you know what i mean and then like you don't progress in the game there's no leveling system no stats no no nothing it's just kd K, kd that's it kd that's it so who the hell cares? You know what I'm saying? Um, so when I when 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 I was done with Faz and I, I didn't know what to play, I was playing Diablo, and then I got bored of Diablo. I was about ready to eat my keyboard every single night, so I wasn't enjoying playing it. I was more so streaming it and talking with people, which is what kept me awake. Well, when Diablo three got to en to the end of season. Like everyone was like going to play something else. And now I had no one to play with and I was like literally falling asleep while playing. And I was like, fuck this man. So I quit Diablo three, Diablo four beta came out and the same thing happened. I was falling asleep on the keyboard and it's Diablo four beta, like brand new content. And I was falling asleep. I was like, man, I can't, I can't do this anymore. So I remembered that Solus said something about Tarkov. So I started watching videos on it. And I was like, oh my God, I really like that game. Cause dark and darker, really showed me what an extraction type game was and i loved it and i wanted to play that for me it was counter-strike and rainbow six siege on pc it does help you with movement mechanical aim right mouse right oh if you want to get good or get used to wasd and mouse aim dead by daylight might be good it's also fun now nah, i don't want to play dead by daylight i don't want to play with the hackers there's way too many hacker issues on dead by daylight so i'm i'm good with that i'll stick to faz now someone just recently said um what is it starts with a d uh delusion desolate no um we were just talking about that other game like phasmophobia uh demonologist is that it no not destiny i played destiny it sucked i didn't like it demonologist okay so it's demonologist demonologist i haven't watched any videos on it so i really do want to check it out um and see if it's good i know that they're low on maps which is fine but the issue is i'd have to pay for it um second issue is i don't know that game like i know phasmophobia so i can't just jump into it and play it and have fun like like last night when we were playing phasmophobia i had a blast i had a blast it was so much fun i i i i, I was like sitting there having so much fun because i knew like the majority of what phasmophobia is so it was easy to jump back into and just enjoy it and we fucked around so hard, it was great. I loved every fucking moment of last night. Yeah, Demonologist, apparently Phasmophobia devs had taken a break when Demonologist came out. I don't know if they gave up on the project or what, but whatever. Oh, fuck the cursed possessions. I don't want to fucking play with that shit, dude. There's too many trolls that come into random lobbies. Like if we didn't play a random lobby and we like played a private lobby, I wouldn't mind playing with the cursed possessions. Like, you know how my lobby was always full when I was like streaming phasmophobia every day. If I had a full lobby of people that I know, I would be okay with using the cursed possessions because then that would be fun, you know? But like to have a random fuck with me, I, that would be annoying. Yeah, always a random or two. Yeah, we would be trying to teach a random or a random um, person or two. Yeah, that was like we were teaching people phasmophobia. That was fun. I love doing that. I would love to get back into that. Um, so I played phasmophobia last night, and uh, man, it was it was fun, dude. I had a blast, a super good time.
So yeah, I'm I'm down to play Phasmophobia. Yeah, I seen I seen you, Mashi. I seen you. But I'm just saying I had a blast, dude. It was so much fun. And that uh Ah uh, yeah, I was I was. I was hitting on that woman. For sure I was. Hell yeah, I was. She she was she was right up my alley. Tattoos, piercings, you know, has been in the, the love scene and have been devastated by it. Um and she's got three kids. She's only a state away. Um she was super chill. She has streamed before. She was streaming Phasmophobia. She plays Tarkov. Uh, I, I don't know. She had a, a tattoo on her chest. I didn't really get a good look at it because obviously it was covered by her shirt. But uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping to see her again, honestly. You know, like play some more games with her. Uh, she, she, ex she expressed her, uh, only friends thing, you know, like just being friends. And I was like, that, that's cool. You know, I play video games to make friends. Like I, if, if it seemed like I was like really trying to like get with you, then, you know, like I was just fucking around, but like I would, you know, she seemed really chill. She seemed really cool. You know, she's, she, she's cute, you know, she's a mechanic. So that was awesome. You know, she she just went through a divorce, so I, I think that's why she's not, like, ready for a relationship, which is totally cool. But, you know, like, she seemed like she was, you know, stressed and she's going through some emotional stuff, which is fine. You know, like, I, I, I can be a friend. Like, that's okay with me, too. Like, I'm totally okay with that, you know? But, like, the the flirting and the banter and stuff, like, that's just me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to do that regardless you know what i'm saying so as long as she didn't like take that shit to heart and she was like enjoying it as much as i was like just fucking around having a good time then we could be friends for sure and just have a good time i'm like i said i'm not like i don't know but i'd like to get to know her she seems chill and cool as hell like i said she was she was cute for sure so like i hope she plays some more games she said that she doesn't really play video games anymore and i was like that 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 sucks you know like you should do what makes you happy you know i've been not doing things that make me happy for other people and all it did was make me miserable yeah we'll see if she pops in again yeah for sure yeah i i hope so and maybe maybe i can you know, just be a good friend, you know, and maybe she can see that, you know, people are not just out for one thing, you know, and, and most guys are just out for, for sex. I'm not interested in just sex. I was never just interested in just sex with anyone that I've, you know, been in a relationship with, but women always think the worst of, of people and men. And so, uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, we could play Faz. Well, you want to play Faz right now? I'll jump on Faz right now. Let me put, let, now that I just made four more million, I kind of want to do another scav run real quick. But other than that, if you, if you want to play, man, I'm, I'm down, dude, for sure. I have 21 million, let's go. You got to go to be soonish. What do you mean? Like you have to go soon? Oh, you got to go to bed soon? Oh, you want to play right now? Play a match or two? Or do you got to go to bed? Yeah, dude, whenever. Like right now or a different day. Like you see my schedule on the screen. That's that's my that's my schedule. So any any time dude when i'm on just come hit me up man for sure yeah we'll get some games in for sure man you already know man yeah, just let me know we'll get we'll get down dude for real uh i need to find a wallet <laughs> my shit is overflowing it's insane dude
I can't wait for fucking uh for fucking uh rackety to get on too. Ha ha ha. Oh, that boy is gonna see my shit. He's gonna be like, oh my god, what the fuck? I'm gonna be like, yeah boy, get on my level. Ah ha ha Oh, it's great. I'll watch some of your escape game now and we'll play another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. For sure. I'll still spend a decent chunk of time on World of Tanks. Oh, you still play World of Tanks? Nice. My stats have been going up. I'm actually Unicorn now. Okay, okay. Hell yeah, bro. Nice, bro. That's fucking awesome. Uh, you know what? Uh, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't play World of Tanks. I can't. I was going to say maybe I'll play World of Tanks with it, but I just can't. I just can't. I can't do it anymore, man. I don't remember enough about the game and I don't want to relearn all the tanks and all the weak spots and ah, I just don't want to do it. Just, just don't, don't want to do it. I need to get rid of this stuff, man. I'm starting to get way too much fucking money, man. Fuck. Oh yeah, you're, that's right. I get called a cheater so often. Yeah, I bet you do. If you're playing the game that much and you're getting good at it. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily that I got good enough to be called a cheater. But when I was first playing World of Tanks, people didn't understand how I was as good as I was and then like how fast I was growing. But I was spending money on that game. I was buying the premium tanks. I was using them first to get my, my fucking uh, credits and buying other tanks and you know progressing past with uh the gold experience i was leveling up tanks that sucked so i didn't have to play them like i was doing everything to propel myself to tier 10 as fast as i could so the people that i started playing with at like tier one and two they couldn't believe i was already tier five and six when they were still tier four and then when they were tier six and seven i was tier eight and nine and they were like what the fuck and i was like dude i'm i'm spending money i'm buying premium tanks and buying garage slots and buying crew slots or bar barrack slots and i was spending money so that's why i was progressing so fast in world of tanks and people were like man that, what the fuck and i was like dude do you not understand that i'm spending money Yeah, I got the uh, the IS-7 and the IS-4. Those are the only tier 10s I have unlocked. But I have a, a lot of the tier 8 premiums. I, ha I, I wouldn't say that I have half, but I'm pretty close to half of the tier 8 premiums. If they didn't add the new lines like French and, and British and all of that, then I would have had all of them. You know when we had the three f uh, factions at first? German, Russian, and U.S.? I, I was making waves on that shit, but when they added all them extra tanks, man, it just got way too much, man. Overwhelming, then the auto cannons and shit kind of ruined the game for me a little bit. The bat chat was a fucking asshole. So yeah, I mean, it started to get a little bit absurd. And then I kind of just fell off, you know? Considering the fact that, you know, I was also like fighting with the, the ex-wife, you know? Uh about how much I was playing and how much money I was spending on it. You know what I mean? So she was constantly complaining and I was like, dude, like it, it's my fucking money, man. Like I'm the one that goes to work. Like we're paying all of our bills. We're like, we still have money saved up. Like, why are you complaining about me spending money? And not to mention, I was running the game server at that time and we had extra income because I was getting money through PayPal to be able to spend that money. So I really just didn't understand why she was constantly complaining about what the hell I was doing when I was bringing in extra money. There's the same thing with my, 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 my ex-fiance re recently. Like fucking three years ago, I bought my bike for fucking 18,500 and she was like, oh, we could have done so much with that money. It's like, it's my motherfucking money. I'm the one busting my ass and you ain't even fucking paying your portion of the bills. And you want to tell me what I can spend my money on? It's my motherfucking money. I'll do whatever the fuck I want with my money. You want to meet me in the middle? Cool. Awesome. Oh, yeah. There was the Chinese tanks, but the Chinese tanks weren't, like, officially out yet at that point. But, yeah, the Polish, Italian, 
and um yeah yeah no yeah i know they added a shit ton of tanks man and i just can't i can't keep up with that shit that's just just way too much for me man but i did love the game though the the, the game was awesome i for sure loved it i just didn't want to keep playing it I probably won't sell the shotgun, but I'll sell it for super cheap and hope. Maybe someone wants to fuck around with it. Wow. These are... These are going for a pretty penny right now. What the fuck? Oops. Not that much. Oh. Why couldn't I sell this one? Oh, I have a key in it. Damn it. I thought it was not found in raid and I was going to have to keep it, but I had a freaking key in it. Damn it. No biggie. All right. What's in the hideout that's done? Oh, meds. Um, oh, I was going to make a hemo because I have a, a, a one hemo. Nice. I get to replenish that. Sweet. All right. Let's go do the scav run. Uh, don't try. Stick with what makes you happy now. Yeah, no, I agree, man. Like, I'm down on first-person shooters again. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, man. And Faz, I love that game still. Like, I, I just need to stay with these two games for a while, and I'll see where I go. Like, maybe, maybe Demonologist, I still need to look up the videos and check it out. But as of, like, right now, I just want to, like, do what I know and, and continue to do this. And then down the line, we'll see where, where it goes. But like, I got so much going on at work. I got so, so much going on in my personal life. And this is my streaming life, you know, and I blend in some of my work and my personal life. But yeah, uh, Nuke, yo, what's up, kid? How you doing today? I know you spawn, gather stuff, extract, sell. Is that the gameplay loop? Um, yeah. I know it has a free demo, but I don't want to play the demo until like I've watched some videos to kind of understand what's going on and what the real objective is. And then I'll probably play the demo, check it out, you know, post it as like I'm starting the stream. Like, you know, that's the title, like checking out Demonologist and then we're going to play some Faz and then we're going to check out, you know, what's going down in Tarkov, you know, like stuff like that. Chilling, chilling. Nice, nice. I'm just chilling too, man. Having a great day. Um... So yeah, for the most part, you yeah you spawn in, you can do scav, which is you get free loot, you know, it's random. And then you can, you jump in kind of like halfway through the match. So like you don't get first dibs on stuff, right? So it's really hard to get like that double armor repair kit I just got. That's rare. You know, usually the stuff's gone. Um, so you spawn in with a scav, get free gear. You loot some stuff up. And you get the fuck out. Yeah, then you sell it. Um, and with your PMC, it's a lot different. You start at the beginning of the match. You got to worry about other people spawning near you. You have to worry about the path you take. You have to worry about if what loot spots you're going to hit first. Because what if someone else wants that loot spot just like you? You might have to fight them. Then halfway through the match, you'll... Well, actually, five to ten minutes, depending on the match time, uh, you'll get uh scavs spawn in but they're npc scavs right then half then halfway through the match you'll get player spawns that spawn in because they've selected to jump into the the match with their spawn to then you know get free loot go get the you know the loot spots and hopefully get out and sell the stuff um but yeah so like yeah, it's pretty much that's the loop. But you got so many things, right? So you ain't got just one aspect, right? So you gotta, you have to manage your stash, right? And in the beginning, when you're level one, man, it is rough. It is so rough. Um, now my stash looks beautiful. You know, I could make it look better. I could break these guns down a little bit, make them less like um, bulky and space consuming. But other than that, like 
there ain't much I can do. You know what I mean? Like I can make them single slot and I could fit all of these guns probably in these first two uh, layers right here. I could probably fit them all right there. Um, but I don't know, I like them put together. I don't know why I like seeing them put together. So I would really love some weapon cases. That would be awesome. Um, I'd love to jump in blind to get shit on, have it be actually hoary. Yeah, but I don't really get scared. I wasn't even really scared about phasmophobia, though, even in the beginning when I didn't know nothing about the game and the ghost could for sure get me because I didn't know what the fuck to do. I still wasn't scared. It was just... The only reason I guess I played with other people, it, it, was, it was more so like I didn't want to die and I wanted to figure out how to play. So I was hoping playing with other people, like I would learn how to play. And once I like, I think it was like, what, my first week, maybe two that I was like, okay, fuck it, go in fucking solo, don't care. First time, I wouldn't say that I was scared. I was just worried that I was gonna lose my gear. So like the same thing in Tarkov, having gear fear, losing my money, not being able to go into the next match and spend money on gear was annoying. You pissed yourself multiple times. I won't forget that. I was laughing out loud. Yeah, but like you can go check out my, my clip on me doing my 24 times and the wraith getting me. I screamed. I ain't even gonna lie. That was the first time I was legitimately scared by phasmophobia. That was 24 times difficulty going for my gold trophy, the hardest trophy in the game on the, the scariest map on the game and solo because I could not play with no one because it's a solo challenge. That scared me i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna lie this scared the shit out of me but like in the very beginning i wasn't like really scared i just was worried about losing my money and not being able to buy gear that was annoying but i get it it was a part of the learning process you had to in my opinion it was for you to learn how to be better at the game so you don't lose your money and be able to play the game by yourself i tried that once i lost within a minute yeah no i i i could last pretty decent in the 24 times it's just when you get a bad ghost type it's it's all rng at that point so if if you're if you're going in and you get a, a wraith okay Man, I wish I could turn ads off. It's so annoying, I can't turn them off. I'm I'm hoping that Kick never forces us to 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 run ads. I hope that they give me the option and they're like, "No, if you want to run ads and you want to make some more money, go ahead." But I don't have to. I remember the the early Twitch days where I didn't have to run ads. I I actually turned the ads off. Now I run the ads on Twitch like I have to run them, but I've set it to where like I can skip the pre-roll ads. So like that's the best I can do. So when someone first comes into my channel, they don't get no ads, but I have to run three minutes worth of ads in every 30 minute time period to, to be able to disable the pre-rolls. But that's all I can do. I can't cut the ads off entirely, which is so annoying. Welcome back, Masha. Yeah, I was just talking about how I have the pre-rolls on Twitch set off. I can't disable the ads at all, so I put them to three minutes out of every 30-minute timeline to be able to turn the pre-roll ads off. I remember back in the early days of Twitch where I didn't have to have no ads at all, and I loved that way more to where I could just get subs or donate. Well, I couldn't get subs then. I could only get donates. But now I can get donates and subs, but I can't turn the ads off. But I made it to where I put it in the in the the parameters pri to be able to turn off pre-rolls. So I, I, I turned the pre-rolls off, but that's all I can do. I, I love that kick doesn't force me to run ads. I hope they never make it to where I have to run ads forcibly. If they make it to where I can run ads if I want for extra money, great. But making it to where I have to run ads, it's fucking annoying. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. But yeah, let me let me go jump into this uh, scav run again. 
because fuck it maybe i'll get another two million that would be awesome collect this money again so i'm above 2.1 million and apparently my meds are full um let's let's do this um bam 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 um bam bam uh bam da, 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 da. sell sell that one we'll sell that one that ibuprofen Ooh, i got ibuprofen oh boy that's some money right there we need to sell that that's a nice chunk of money right there uh we'll sell this no actually we don't want to because we can do that if we need to heal when we get back to hideout it's really good to to come back to hideout and heal because then you level your healing skill so that's that's important but let's sell this ibuprofen real quick because that's some nice money right there look at that one four nine 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 i don't know if that's actually cheap hold on i feel like that's not where it should be okay it it, it is uh it's supposed to be 160 so i'm gonna put it at 160 that's what i'm gonna do i don't care if it doesn't sell fast no no i i i, I switched to that because i was talking but we're gonna go in game now right now do the scav run on customs nighttime again and hopefully we'll get another armor repair kit or weapon repair i mean that's not two million it's only ten percent of that if i'm lucky but i'll take it over nothing Oh my god, look at that suppressor, man. That thing's fucking giant. Holy fuck. It's got a rail on it, too, for me to put a sight, but uh, they, they didn't give me one. But see, yeah, when you, go, when you go in as a scav, you get random stuff. I didn't get to select my gear at all. And your scav rep determines, like, how good of stuff you get. Um, like based off of class right so like you got like class one armor two three four five six then you have like i think i think it's up to class five helmet but i'm not sure because i don't really use helmets um then you have like lower end ammo um there's not a class for ammo but like you learn like the pen and the uh bear like the bullet velocity and the uh shit like that right so you got like uh damn i can't look at the ammo i have to unload it do i did they give me any here i'll unload one or two um so you got like uh the durability burn if like you're firing off your gun really fast and it's gonna uh cause heat and durability burn um failure to feed chance misfire chance cause can cause light bleeding or heavy bleeding and then like your bullet velocity like all of that stuff is important so like when you when you see like other ammo you can kind of like gauge it off of the numbers like that's what i've been doing to learn the ammo um but but yeah so 
there's lots of different ammo and ammo matters a lot um so we're here at the far side of the spawn so we'll go in here this is a good little spawn right here at this car and this little building so we'll get the jacket on the back side of the door we'll get the weapon the weapon crate here hopefully it's got some good stuff Ooh, packed full nice Ooh, what is that i don't know what that is seriously um this grip can sell for decent uh fuck that flare um a three times one that might be good this 45er might be good shots in the distance alien attack it's only a five five six that scab just fucking really made me nervous beer i use that beer for a craft you want to check underneath the car as well as inside what is that oh it's cleaner okay it's bleach nothing underneath the car all right we can go oh shit we gotta go to the repair spawn shit i almost forgot about it try to get there before this guy and this armor repair goes on the table here it's not here all right, now we go to Big Red. But you guys, you guys can, I like see decent with the with the uh the the filter modification to the stream, right? You guys are seeing pretty good. I, I looked at it and tested it. I just want to like make sure I like other other people's opinion as well. You know, decent. Yeah. Okay good good exactly what i was hoping for with the with the hdr monitor uh it is like the my brightness and my back backlight is completely turned down and i can still see in game it's crazy that it's turned down that much and i can still see All right, this next spawn is right here. It's not there. So now make our way over to the other side across across the bridge. And we will go to the four spawns north and south. There's four spawns going from the south to the north or north to the south, however you want to look at it. We'll hit them four spawns, and then if we don't get that, then we'll go to Depot and try to get that last spawn, and then there's no more spawns. Oh, what kind of backpack do I have? Okay, it's pretty decent. Okay, okay. Nice. There's supposed to be the same backpack that I have spawning here. I've never seen a spawn yet. Huh? Oh, I thought my my son was talking to me. He's yelling in the kitchen now. Dude, that bird. I hate that bird, dude. That bird right there, I fucking wish I could shoot it. And it would never come back again. It fucking scares me all the fucking time, dude. Because it flies over the rail on the bridge, and then I think it's some person, like their head, like peeking over the rail fucking startles me every time i get more scared in this game than i do phasmophobia what did you see that one uh scary game uh with the ghost that literally stands in the dark and watches you as you're in the light that shit's that shit i think would be fucking cool i think that one i would really like because the the like the ghost is like lurking on you you know what i mean like you can see him like waiting to get you and that's creepy that's creepy as hell that i find creepy but fucking faz is not scary to me not at all i love that game though i just love the game i wish it didn't have bugs you know but you know eh whatever it was a cheap ass game and i played the fuck out of it so i got my money's worth 
Yeah, I, I can't remember the name of the game now because it's been so long since I've seen that game. It was coming out. Uh, it was in beta testing when I was playing Phasmophobia, so it's been a long time ago since I've seen that game. But, uh, but yeah, it, man, it was cool, though. Like, the ghosts would, like, be lurking in the dark. Like, and if you, like, would go from one side of the room to the other, like, say the room was cut in half and there was light on one half that you were on, and then the other half didn't have light, if you walked to the one side of the room, the ghost would follow you and shit. Yeah, that's creepy, dude. That was creepy. I wanted to play that game, but I didn't want to play it by myself. Like, I didn't want to learn a brand new game by myself. And everyone that was playing Faz at the time with me, they weren't, like, really interested. I think Chucky, I think Chucky was interested, but our schedules just weren't matching up, so we didn't really get to play together. Ooh, armor repair, armor repair. Oh, shit, give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Woo, two million, let's go. Oh my God, hell yeah, hell yeah, man, man, I am making bank right now, I can't jump over the wall because I'm a fat motherfucker, let's go, man, dude, oh my God, dude, this is sick, I'm getting way better results at nighttime than I am during the day looking for these repair kits. There's someone over there. I don't know if they're a scab or not. Yeah, it should be a scab because they're running around. You usually when you hear someone running around at dark time, you don't you don't usually fucking run as well if you're not a scab. See, he's a scab. He's a scab. It's just a fucking scab fucking being fucking loud as hell. All right, let's go run past fucking our little path over here and make it to depot and see if uh, we find a weapon repair or another armor repair. We'll hit this bag. We're not too heavy yet, so it's not too bad. Oh, it's a three slot. Oops. I'll try to make space for this... Uh, next armor repair or weapon repair if we find one we're gaining stamina because we ain't too heavy which is great but we'll just keep moving Man, I hope I find another armor repair. And and if I find this armor repair or weapon repair kit over here, I'll know exactly where it spawns. This is the only spawn I haven't seen spawn yet. So I'm very, very curious to see where it spawns. So the cool part is, right, about me doing uh, this, uh, this loot run for the armor and weapon repair kits is that uh, I'm... I'm Figuring out like early wipe and late wipe the armor and weapon repair kits really sell for a lot and uh, I'll be able to do these runs at the beginning of wipe for the next wipe. So that would be really awesome and then I also have a um, a loot run for hideout stuff um, as well, so I'll be able to level up my hideout and make some good money by doing these armor and weapon repair kit runs i'll be able to make really good money in the beginning of wipe and upgrade my hideout and try to be very very competitive with the rest of the community which is going to be fucking epic so i've been learning the things that i needed to learn like the basics and things like that this wipe like questing and learning the, the, the weapons and the ammo and the armors and how to make money on the market and the loot runs and all that stuff I thought was very important. And like, I've had people like, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Like fight the boss, like this and that. And I'm like, dude, like I'm, I'm not worried about that. You know, I'm not worried about the end game stuff. I'm worried about being able to be efficient early wipe and you know, like 
be able to keep up with the rest of the players because people that have got like four, five, six plus wipes under their belt, I'm not even going to be able to compete with them guys. They've been playing this game way too long. I'm not going to be able to compete with them on a PvP level. I may be able to keep up with them, you know, and, and, and like be comparable in terms of like money that I have and, and loot that I can obtain, but I'm not going to be able to PvP as good as these guys, man. They know the maps way better than me. They know the gear way better than me. They, they know way too many things way better than me that there's just no way like I, I mean yeah okay can i be really competitive on factory sure sure i can because i know that map really good because i played a lot of it but that doesn't mean that i'm gonna be able to beat them every time so i have to use comparable gear and without having money without being able to keep making money without being able to make levels and level up the traders to where i can buy that better gear it's just not going to happen so i have to get the the early wipe down i have to make sure that i can be very competitive early wipe even if it's not even pvp and it's just pve as long as i can be competitive pve and gain as many levels as them and have as much money as them and run budget gear still and you know keep my money up to where i'm comparable i'll be just fine but if i just constantly try to pvp and try to compete with them guys i'm just gonna keep losing so what's the fucking point yeah i hear you bro but i don't even care about you i am dipping the fuck out i my exit is right here i do not have time for you or at least i hope i have this extraction i didn't look yeah good with my spawn i figured that this was my ex my extraction but there you go. That's another 200 mil. Right there. I just made another 200 mil. Okay. Awesome. That was awesome. Hell yeah. 200 mil. Oh, I mean, 2 mil, I mean. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Let's see. We got uh for sale uh for sale um i don't know if those are good yet um garbage 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 um yeah it's 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 full so i still gotta put some food out here i gotta do that craft with that water so i can get that water gone um let's see what else okay all right we're good My eyes are burning. Looking at the screen so intently. A sick man. That was you can only get that for drops. It affects literally nothing. People put their actual brain through a cheese grater to get the tracksuit exclusively so that they can flex cosmetics. It was just one of those things. It would have to be here's the thing though, it would have to be rare. If everybody had it, it's no longer fucking cool. So it almost... But but it doesn't have to be rare because it still serves the function of what drops are, which is just getting you there for that week. Yeah, like, sure. I don't, right. I don't no. care if after the drops event, nobody wears the cosmetic. What I'm saying is it still accomplishes the task without... Right. Like, I'm sad that I don't have my Easter globe my snow globe or easter globe or easter id card on phasmophobia i'm sad i missed that event because i was either not playing games uh i was playing diablo or or whatever you know and i missed that event and i'm really sad about it because that's something in the game that i don't have now yeah, to be able to motivate 
imagine if it was like one in every thousand was like a, a golden arm. Wait, what? Yeah. Everybody else, you know. Oh, it's gone. Why did my brain stop? Dude, someone just accidentally stole their armor repair kit for 200, less than 200,000. Oh my god, they gotta be fucking shitting their pants and hating themselves right now. Oh my god. They just sold it for 600 less than the average price, not even the fucking price hike right now. Oh my god, they gotta hate that. They gotta hate themselves right now. And I didn't buy it right away because I was like, wait, what? What? Oh my god, I should have bought it. Fuck. Already freaking the the ball sack map. Fuck. Cartoon character things and we are Oh my god. Rivals Paka and Did anyone see the name? Like we already have this. I got a message to be like, "Man, that sucks, man." It would be interesting if like instead of adding skins that you could That is sad. That's sad. So sad. I feel so sad for them. Oh man. Oh, to be to sell that and be like, oh my god, I just made so much money, and then to get two hundred thousand, bro. Oh my god. You don't have to create a system to apply skins. It's just wow. You know what I mean? So I was just I was just thinking. Wow, that is insane. I'm not selling mine because I want to sell it for more. <laughs> Oh my god. Equally as or more successful in the attempts to get people watching the game without. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Everyone's complaining because everyone's getting, like, you know what I mean? You want the cool drop, but if everyone's getting the cool drops and you complain because then the economy, everyone's getting beat. Everyone's getting this good gun, but I want it. But if it's just bolts, then that's lame and I don't want to watch. And it's like, man, why are we even messing with the economy? You know what I mean? Like I said, people go through insane. People spend 15 million rubles on cosplay. I spent 6 million rubles on pants. You know what I mean? People grind track suit, which is the most insane thing in the world. And they do it for cosmetics. It's like, man. There's imagine if it was, imagine if, if there was a chance to get like one free hideout upgrade. That would be crazy. All of the, like, so many people would be able to use it for like their tier three solar right yep. that's like a kajillion dollars yep. some new players who might be struggling with the bolts or whatever to get the, all the like you know that's one of those things that might not be interesting for veterans right yeah. but at the same time it's like not exactly yeah for god of zero carrying crying in the corner now yeah yeah i can guarantee that person is crying in a corner a corner guaranteed 100 percent crying in a corner can't believe they just did that told their buddies they just made a shit ton of money by finding an armor repair kit and then selling it for two hundred thousand. crying in a corner probably a little bit of a little bit of rope there you know fuck man that's fucked up dude dude i almost bought it too but i looked at the number and i was like Am I seeing that right? It is. Oh my god! And I went to go buy it. He's like, "Sorry, it's been sold." I'm like, "No, no! That was so much free money." Yes, I wouldn't be able to sell it back on the market because you can't do that. But I use the armor repair kit, so yeah, I would have been able to benefit from it. Man, I use the armor repair kit, and it's not like the weapon repair kit. The weapon repair kit, I've had it since like a month and a half since I've been playing, right? And I still got a shit ton of use on that armor or that weapon repair kit because I don't full, fully automatic my gun, so I don't burn my gun's durability up because I'm a single shot. You know, I, I like, you know, semi auto. I can't believe that though, dude. That dude has got to hate his fucking life right now. And you know what? It's really not that serious because it's just a video game. But like, the 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 devastation in that alone is is sad as hell. Black Mirror comes out like four episodes of this whole fucking season are all about like 
substantial bread. Yeah, yeah. It's becoming, it's becoming much, much. I thought that 45 rounder was gonna sell for pretty good, but apparently not. I can't believe I seen that for fucking less than 200,000, and I fucking just couldn't believe it, and I just skipped right over it, dude. You're off. All right, Mashi, man. You have a good one, man. I'll catch you next time whenever you're on, dude. We'll play some fast for sure, bro. For sure. For sure, man. Nice seeing you, dude. For real. Hope to see you soon. I choose to be with you. I need another coffee. That's why I loved it. You know what I mean? Because it was just like, it was one small, tiny step past everything is meaningless. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna close this out, this, uh, this browser, right? I'm gonna go back to the browser. Um, so you guys can watch it. I'm just gonna go grab my my drink real quick. It's not gonna take me nothing but a second, but I don't want you guys to be like bored or anything like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that really quick, right? Damn, I love my 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 hotkeys and stuff, man. They're really, really, really. I'm really happy with my hotkeys. They're nice, man. They're super nice. I don't know why my media controls are not working. It's bothering me. What does ha what is happening to my me my media? Oh, why is it off? My media keys are turned off. How did I do that? What's going on? I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, whatever. I will just hit the play button. All right, I'll be right back. Would be one of the fucking sickest games for like. Dude. I don't even. I can't even describe it because everybody, every game that everybody wants to make is the sickest game. You don't need to, bro. Co-op, <laughs> but not AIDS. It's all it's I'll a, ever need, oh, bro. God it's all I'll ever need. It's <laughs> such a bad, it's such a bad pitch, but the, now it needs to be a part of the official. The silence was the loudest part. It was just like co-op without AIDS, and I was just like waiting for you to like, and, and you were like, no, that's it. <laughs> it that's, okay, that's not, uh, let no, me clarify, that that's not what the game no, is. No, that's the testing environment you need in order to figure out if your idea will work is co-op, mm -hmm. but not AIDS. So I, I got it. It was just so that was so epic. Oh my god. That was like so All right, Mashi. Have a good night, man. Um, Hope you have a good day and we will see you next time. I I literally Oh, why did it go back into the time again on YouTube? It's so annoying. Much much more of a common That's why thing. I love everything everywhere all at once so much because it was like the only it was like one of the only pieces of media that i've seen that took it one step farther it was like nothing has meaning everything is meaningless oh terrifying nice and then it'll make footsteps and then it'll miss oh bro so okay so speaking of the ai i did a funny little experiment um uh not that not that we need any more ammunition to, to describe that the AI sucks in Tarkov, um, but I was on streets and I was like in a sniping. What I what I think right for for the the AI in Tarkov right I think that they have godlike aim right even the normal scavs right the normal NPCs have godlike aim now it's easier to deal with them because you can quickly you know like you know avoid them um they're really stupid so you can you can easily manipulate like how they're gonna act kind of in a way um if you utilize cover they suck really bad they're really dumb right but they still have that godlike aim so you could be dropped by them and i think that godlike aim needs to be fixed they should be able to see you through a bush um they they should have to have line of sight on you i think they should have the same thing we have to where when we're trying to shoot we got you know like that you know movement you know where we're not just like able to just keep a straight lock on them like we're we're holding our breath or whatever um so I think they should have the same issues that we have with fighting, that they, they should have all them same issues. Um, now, 
when it comes to the bosses and the different factions, right? Like, so the, the, the Raiders, the Bloodhounds, the Cultists, and, and everything like that, I think their aim and their ability to drop you is insane. Like, if you are out in the open against a boss, you just consider yourself dead. Like, you, you, you have no choice but to set up, get good cover, peek correctly, take some quick shots, and get back in cover. If you don't, you're, you're dead. You're dead. Like, you have to be good to kill them. And, and, and another thing, too, is, like, you, you can meta them, like, leg meta them and stuff. Like, that's another thing that you kind of have to do to some of the bosses because they just have godlike gear. So not to mention that they're they're aggressive, they're, they got godlike gear, they got godlike aim, and you can't just... You can't just manipulate them in any way because, like I said, they're aggressive. So most of the time, they just fucking rush you. And, and, and it's really fucked because, like, if you're a brand new player, dude, you get so overwhelmed so quick because of the way that they are. Again, being so aggressive, you just get screwed. And I got hit, I think, three times in a row by a scav. That he's just like, you know, he just like, I ADS'd on him and he turned around and he started shooting at me and I killed him. And somebody just mentioned something as a meme. They mentioned like uh, MOA. And I was like, wait a minute. Yo, yo, Pastor, what's up? What's up? Good, good. Chat's going good. We're having lots of activity in here. We're having fun. I, I've made I've made a lot of money in, in a very short amount of time. Um I'm I pushed past 20 million. So from 12 yesterday, I mean, I was selling a lot of stuff yesterday that I didn't claim the, the money, but uh, it was it was only, you know, two mil or whatever. But now I'm pushing past uh, 20 mil. I think I'm like 23 or something. I'd have to look. But yeah, I just found three armor repair kits and sold each one of them for two million at least. I, I think I sold the two, the first two for 2.1 and I just sold another for two mil. So the night raids on custom are going great. I'm just finishing the podcast, which it just reset the time on it again. That's, can, you, wait, can you look in the camera when you say that? I choose to be with you. <laughs> That's why I loved it. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's one small, tiny step past everything is meaningless. How are you doing today? The sky is not only basketball, but the earth is a basketball. What? all just hot air <laughs> hot air okay okay i was like what i could not think of i need to like me veritas is just over there like lost i didn't know what i was saying i just read that comment and i was just going with it i just been putting up the hell the podcast has been excited but uh you know we're happy to talk about just like whatever um you guys are the best thanks for being here uh this will be posted on a monday morning on all the places and all the places <laughs> uh now what am i gonna do i watched the whole podcast i'm up to date on the podcast i don't know what i'm gonna do now what am i gonna watch or listen to Dang. Yeah, 21, 21 mil. Woo! Just woke up after spending the day with my boyfriend since he came home from the road as a truck driver. Oh, yeah, I know a lot of truck drivers, man. I just woke up eating pizza and found out I was affiliate. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Yeah, I just ate some pizza as well. We had some DiGiorno, um, and it was fully stuffed. So basically the whole bottom of the uh the crust was filled with cheese and then more crust on top of that and then the pizza so it's like there's an extra layer of cheese and crust at the bottom i love the corner pieces so oh my god it was good i lost my appetite though so that was kind of sad i i i i lose my appetite eating a lot so i i ha i have to eat a lot of small portions a lot because 
of that and sometimes i only eat once a day because that's all i could tolerate oh six cheese wisconsin pizza okay okay no i can i i like cheese so six different types oh yeah me i'm more of the meat lovers kind you know but like i i, I definitely like the four or five or six cheese for sure yeah i just can't i i lose my appetite and i like i i ate two pieces and i was like oh okay not feeling it i got nauseous and i just didn't if i would have kept eating i would have just ended up puking and i don't know why i have that issue i have ibs it's just a lifelong struggle so that kind of sucks but eh, it, it is what it is i guess as long as i'm eating and i'm you know, not starving, then I, I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I don't usually feel like I'm starving. I didn't even eat last night because I just didn't feel like it. Oh, the beef. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm lactose intolerant too. I should not be eating it, but I do because I love dairy. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I used to take meds, but uh it was for a very short period of time in my life it was like uh i would say like four or five years ago i took it for probably ab about three months and then i just got annoyed by taking it like i just wanted to eat my food and if i feel like crap then i deal with it but but yeah so um i've cut out uh dairy and coffee i, I am drinking a starbucks vanilla which i'm sure it's got dairy in here somewhere my room is completely dark it may not seem like it is to everyone that's watching but my room is completely in darkness the only light that i do have is obviously the 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 ambient lighting and the the ducati so i got my monitor backlight i have the computer which i have the lights really turned down there i have the um the fireplace mantle lights for my little pop figurines and then of course the ducati with its lights but other than that I, the 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 second monitor here there's a, a big giant 65 inch secondary monitor for the map and the the stream chat and everything behind there and then i have the super ultra wide here um you should see that a little oh i touched it no uh the light from the super ultra wide there and then that all of the screens are turned down the brightness is all the way down and it seems like my room is very bright but it's not it's just a really decent camera almond milk yeah almond milk's okay it's okay i mean oh this the starbies drink yeah the pink drink drink with the cold cream yeah 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 i i i think it's good it's good i try not to to, to buy the girly stuff um i try not to um but my favorite actually is the uh uh the sobe pink drink oh my god that's what the uh the starby's drink uh reminds me of i love the sobe pink drink it is so good I'll never go off the pink drink. All right, all right, nice. <laughs> my my favorite is uh the uh Starbucks uh macchiato. Oh, I love that coffee. It's so good. I could drink that all day. I'm definitely a coffee fanatic. I love coffee. But see, the crazy part is when you hear someone say that they're a coffee fanatic, they're like oh you know i only like you know good coffee i'm a coffee snob i didn't say i was a coffee snob i'm a coffee fanatic i just love coffee so black you know just cream just sugar you know fully doctored up with some you know some some creamer you know pre-mixed creamer like you know french vanilla or hazelnut i usually mix french vanilla and hazelnut together um then i've used the macchiato creamer and the you know the holiday creamers the pumpkin spice and all of that stuff. i love it all i love it all it doesn't matter just coffee just give me coffee it doesn't matter how um the bailey's uh liquor stuff oh that stuff's good too and i'm not really a big drinker anymore but man i could i could drink the hell out of that stuff
there's a bar here in my city that has an alcoholic version of the Starbucks paint drink. Oh, and it's a little dangerous because you cannot even taste or smell alcohol. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about the, uh, the, uh, I just said it, the fucking, uh, all right, hell. Damn it. Damn it. Bailey's. God. I just don't know why. I couldn't remember it for a second. Yeah, I'm not down with that coffee snob stuff. Like, I just give me coffee. Just just give me coffee and I'll be happy. I could care less. I, and same thing with Monster, too. I love Monster, but Monster is expensive, so I try to stay away from it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just too expensive for me, man. I don't... I try to keep my budget low, so I've actually uh, recently been back to, you know, single income. Um, I, I have reduced every single thing that I could possibly do to save money. I'm putting it up for... Oh, come on. I, I, it'll sell. It'll sell. No big deal. No big deal. It'll sell. Here, you can't see it. Now you can. It'll sell. I just I just looked at the market and I was like, okay, I'm only losing nine thousand. You know, I yell at people with these high value items that if they're dropping down like this, losing ninety thousand for mine, and this other guy is losing three hundred thousand, like that's just ridiculous. Like, come on, what are you doing? You're fucking the market by dropping the price that low. Give me French vanilla black and I'm happy. You're right, right. Not picky on coffee, just the creamer or almond milk I put in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could drink coffee black, but I, I, I would prefer coffee black warm so that I can just take a good drink of it. Like, I don't want to sip on it. Like, my, my Starbucks vanilla here, I, I like sipping on it because of the taste is so good. So I don't want to drink it all. So I, I want to sip it. Um, but if it's black coffee, like let's say this was full, I'd probably one drink, I'd drink half of it, and then my second drink, I'd drink the rest, and then I'd go grab more coffee. But that's if I brew it at home. Especially since now I don't, I, I don't buy creamer because I'm trying to cut back on the dairy, not to mention that dairy is expensive. So buying, you know, six, you know, uh, six quarts of, of creamer is pretty expensive. So I'm just trying to cut back on all my bills being single, single income again. But yeah, I, I, I told the kids I didn't, I didn't eat last night, you know, because this last two weeks, you know, I've been worried. So for the last month, for, for two weeks after I was single income again, I couldn't buy any food. So we were like eating, you know, all of our dry goods, right? So we were eating like our Velveeta macaroni, um we were eating our ramen we were we were trying to be as cheap as we could because i told them i was like look we need to we need to make it two weeks i like i need to pay bills with the money that we do have so to make sure that we're okay on bills you know because i you know sh stole my fucking savings um I, I didn't have no money so i'm like i gotta i gotta get money back up i gotta start saving again so we need to like be completely budget friendly and uh, I was like, I'm not buying any food. Like, we got to eat what we have. Like, all of this extra stuff that we've had forever and we haven't been using and haven't been eating. Like, let's get that gone. And we will make it through these two weeks and we'll be just fine. And we were. I was eating at work instead of at home so that I wouldn't eat anything in the house so that they would be okay. And then... Um, even this last two weeks, I was the same way. We went and we bought, we bought groceries and we really reduced our cost by a significant amount. So we did really, really good on grocery shopping. I told my, my middle son, he planned it all. He got with, you know, my oldest son and my daughter and he worked out a meal plan and everything. And he was looking on the internet, trying to find cheap meals and all that stuff. So he figured it all out. And uh, these are the life lessons that I love my kids learning. I, I make them learn how to take care of themselves and what's important, how to save money. You know, you know, all them things are really, really important that I want them to learn. So they're learning all these things. Like my middle son knows how to cook. My oldest knows how to cook. My oldest son, when I got my divorce, was really helpful with my daughter when she was two years old. So I am molding these kids to be great adults and parents. And uh, we we saved we saved on our grocery bill probably I would say one hundred and fifty dollars 
And I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad that we saved that money. We really, really, really needed to save that money. But I was still concerned with we didn't have enough food. So for the last two weeks, I've been eating at work. And last night, um, was it last night? Yeah, last night. I didn't make food at work. I didn't eat food from work. So I was like, fuck, like, I don't want to eat anything for the kids, even though I knew today that we were going grocery shopping. It just, it makes me worried because I don't want them to want something, even not even the point that they need it, but they want something. So I'm like, man, I don't want to eat their, their, their one snack, their ice cream, their bedtime snack that I make sure that they always get. I didn't even want to eat that. I was like, man, I'm just not going to fucking eat nothing, you know, and I'll, I'll wake up in the morning. We'll go to the grocery store and we'll get something and I'll, and I'll be just fine. Save money on mac and cheese at the dollar store and easy crock pot meals in ramen and rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spending a lot of money at Target or Walmart. I mean, I go to Walmart, uh, but I just, you know, buy money conscious food. And actually, it's really bad to eat a lot of uh, ramen um, because of the high sodium. So I also look into the health stuff of food as well, because I think it's very important that people are healthy. Like, like I was saying, like last night, I'm shallow. It's not because I'm 100% shallow. Like I like good looking people because good look, good looking people are, you know, good to look at. You know, they're they're attractive and it's and it's hot sexy you know and you know when someone's cute like i'm not saying that if you're overweight that you're not attractive it's just that when i see someone overweight i'm just like wow you don't take care of yourself wow you're eating unhealthy wow what happens when you're 90 and and you've given up because you're overweight and you got to live cheaply and now you're taking really bad care of yourself and and what happens if we're we're together and at 90 i'm still moving around very good and i've taken care of myself and i'm healthy and i'm i'm still you know got at least 10 years to go and you're you're now 90 with me but you're falling apart so now i get to watch my partner be miserable most likely struggle health health wise and and, and mentally emotionally you know fucked up i'm sure they would be if they if their life is difficult like i get to watch my partner suffer and i just i, I don't want to do that i don't and i've tried to tell my 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 ex-fiance this like dude you're not taking care of yourself and i have to live with that Like i have to watch you hurt yourself and i don't i don't like that i mean all together i spent about 200 dollars on groceries instead of the 400 that would be at Walmart. Right, right. And and my 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 kids, I, I let them buy, you know, their own individual snack instead of our normal bedtime snack, which is super cheap. You know, it's like just a vanilla ice cream bar or a fudge sickle. You know, that's that's all I get for them because it's like, you know, not even two dollars a box. You know, and we gotta buy four of them boxes. So I'm like, look, we got we gotta be cheap, you know. And I was like, look, you know, we did really great on groceries last week. I'm really happy with what we did. Go ahead and get whatever snack you want. You know, so they got these like uh, little, you know, bakery, little cheesecake. Uh, one got like a chocolate cake of some sort. Um, I think the other got a cheesecake thing too. Um, but I was like, no, go ahead and get, get what you want, you know? And then like we bought some more expensive pizza. Instead of $4 pizza, we bought $10 pizza, you know? And we and we, we bought, you know, for today and one one day next week as well we, we we spent ten dollars and we we upgraded on the pizza because they wanted it and i was like you know we did great on groceries go ahead but that was the only things we went extra on nothing else we didn't go extra on nothing else we didn't get stuff we didn't need we didn't get stuff that they wanted we got the individual snacks for tonight and that upgraded pizza that's it everything else we stuck to the list i don't i don't even know how much it costs i have no idea and we overbought water last week. We overbought cream cheese last week. Like we overbought stuff. So now it was easy this week. We 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 just, you know, spent a little bit of extra on the pizza and the individual snack tonight, but we bought one case of water instead of six. We bought one thing of cream cheese instead of three. Like we're now we're gonna balance our, our groceries and we're gonna be just fine. My boyfriend and I had talked about working on our health and fitness since he was on the road. 
and I'm here at home streaming, thinking of ways that would help since I'm stuck on the third floor of our apartment complex. Soda will be so hard to let go. Look, I, I thought the same thing. Do you like water? A lot of people that I know that have been stuck on pop and soda and, and you know, different kind of drinks, monster and coffee and juice and all of that stuff, they have a problem with drinking water. But if you can fix that, if you can start drinking water and there's a good alternative is the flavored water, like the little package you pour in it and everything, it's not, it's not, those are not really typically good for you either, but you can get the, the, the little, uh, uh packets right that are like zero sugar or like they're you know they're low in all of the the bad stuff for you in in them little uh packets for flavor you you can get those ones and that will help too so if you do flavored water to get your body off of the soda and and all of that bad stuff for you your body will stop wanting it and then and then what you do is you can cut the cost on the flavor packets by only drinking regular water. So you can totally do it. You can. It, it takes three months. That's what I did. I told myself that I wanted to get rid of the monster. I wanted to get rid of the coffee. I didn't want to drink the juice no more. All of that stuff. I did a three-month cleanse on just drinking water, and, I, and, and I'm no longer addicted to them things can i drink my coffee and enjoy it yes am i addicted to it no not at all not even a little bit i can i love a monster i would love to have a monster even right this moment but i don't need it i don't and i know that and i won't buy it like my coffee that's different i i i, I like my coffee and it's the only thing i do for myself is is buy coffee and this is this is uh, this is either once a week or uh, once every two weeks. I buy three of them. That's it. I don't buy anything else. I get coffee from work, so so it's not a big deal for me to buy them three. I I didn't buy anything for me at the grocery store. I'm still planning on eating at work, and that's it's probably bad because at work that food is not necessarily good for me because it's fast food, you know what I mean? So that right there in itself is probably really bad, but I only eat that once per day. And if you really think about working out and stuff like that, like you just need protein. I need to get back into like eating my lean protein, but chicken is really expensive right now. And that's what I would do. I would buy chicken, I'd boil it and I'd freeze it right away. So it retains the, the, um, the moisture you know, from the water freezing inside of it. And then when you microwave it, which you probably shouldn't, I do have an air fryer, so I can start doing that now. I got a really nice air fryer now. Um, I could start putting in the air fryer just to warm it up because it just needs to be warm. It doesn't need to be hot. I don't need seasoning on it, nothing. I can eat a uh, boneless breast chicken. Like it's a chicken finger, you know what I mean? And I love it. I love that it's so bland. It doesn't make my stomach turn. I, I'm, I'm obviously got a problem with germs, so I'm a germaphobe. If I feel like something is just like not right, I just, I lose my appetite instantly. Love it, I have a 64 ounce juice I have to drink daily per the doc, but the last couple days I've been slacking because of the soda that boyfriend got with the pizza. Yeah, you need to get, you get off, get off. And especially, especially because the doctor said so, you need to get off the, the soda. You, you need to just do it. You, you have to, it's, in very, it's very important to your health. You should be taking care of yourself. So, so yeah, for real, like seriously, like keep coming in here. I'll keep telling you to drink water, get off the damn soda. All it's gonna do is hurt you. You're gonna be miserable later in life. Your body's gonna be craving it and you're not gonna be able to drink it. It's just gonna hurt you. You're gonna think you want it and you're gonna drink it and all it's gonna do is make you feel worse. Like I realized that with alcohol, right? Like I am I am not a drinker anymore. I know it has a lot to do with my dad was a drunk and my my ex-wife was, you know, a drunk that was putting her hands on me. So that was like a big big deterrent for me. So I really like hate alcohol, but I can I can drink like I'll have a beer 
you know if i'm at my brother's or something i'll have a beer with him like three weeks ago i had three beers for my brother and I, I i didn't have no urge to drink the beer but it was hot and i've drank beer before you know working outside you know in my yard or whatever and beer is just really really thirst quenching so i was over there i had nothing to drink and you know he had water and beer and you know it was like you want a beer and i was like sure sure i'll take a beer like i'll be here for at least five hours you know and then i stayed for six and i had three beers you know at the very beginning of the visit and then after that i just stopped drinking you know i had no problem with stopping drinking i just wanted it for it to be a thirst quencher you know i wasn't planning to get drunk or anything so that that's that's what you got to do you got to figure out the balance between um what you should do and what you shouldn't do and then what's healthy for you so if you can find and maintain that then you can drink whatever you want and you'll also only drink it sparingly because you know it's bad for you so you'll feel a lot better when you accomplish it every single time that you decide water over a monster or monster or water over juice or water over a really dairy saturated coffee you know you'll feel good about yourself because you were like wow i drank that water i chose water i am proud of myself and that's another great thing about it too is that you can feel proud about what you did because you made an effort to make yourself better that's another thing people don't realize is when you you start making an effort to making yourself better you feel so much better in the end so much better and people just don't realize that like when i did that three months cleanse with water i was highly proud of myself i was like oh my god i've been drinking pop and juice and kool-aid and all this sugary stuff my entire life and then i was like no i need a change i want to take care of myself that's when i quit smoking cigarettes too now i only vape i'm not saying vaping is the best thing in the world but it is definitely way better than cigarettes but I gave that up and for myself, for my health, for, for my children, so that I could live longer to see them longer. So that I could be a part of their life because my 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 parents are not really a part of my life. My my dad is now in Minnesota. We don't talk anymore. Um because I called him when um when I first broke up with my fiance and he just didn't even care. Like he didn't want to pick up my phone because he thought I was calling him for money. I wasn't calling him for money. I was calling to talk to my dad. And I just can't do it anymore, man. I can't give people that don't give a damn about me the opportunity to enjoy how great of a person I am and, and, and not show me the same love in return. It's not fair. I shouldn't be treated like crap because, so, oh, he's going to ask me for money. I don't want your money. So that was just really, really annoying to me that I got treated like that for no reason. But he'll regret it just like he did the last time. I'm miserable now from the one month I did chewing tobacco. Oh, at Job Corp because I could not afford cigs. Worst mistake of my life. I'm losing teeth. Oh, no. Oh, damn after a dental surgery i'm damn damn it sucks because of an infection from chew left in my gums over time from not getting it from brushing my teeth daily oh man i don't smoke much anymore because of my dental issues and i only vape when i'm desperate for stress relief but that is expensive uh my boyfriend had stopped smoking entirely on the road and is trying to help me stop smoking too awesome he's amazing um by the way i don't know if you know but it's n-o-v-o and this lasts me about seven days i i am a heavy vapor um i i vape whenever i'm not at work almost constantly um this lasts me about seven days and it cost me 13 bucks and this is in most like smoke shops not like wild bills but like the the low end smoke shops like you know the, the 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 brick and mortar style well no i can't even say that neither because the 
I don't know. So like, just like the not really nice, you know, smoke shops, you'll find these N-O-V-O and they, they, they don't have a lot of flavors, but it's called Novo Bar and it cost me $13. And like I said, it lasts me seven days. I'm done after this one and it's dying. Look, you'll see the red light. It's dying. It will probably last me for the rest of the night and I can't afford to go buy any more because it's more important for me to take care of the children. So I, I have to quit, I have no choice. Yum, was it your bedtime? Um, it's almost, but Dom's doing something good. What, what do you mean almost, it's 10 o'clock, that's your bedtime. Oh, yeah, I'll get ready. Okay, I'll be there in a moment. Okay, well, when that's done, you need to get to bed. I'll be there in a minute. Um, 28, 29, and feel 60 because of my teeth when it comes to the dental infection hit me. It was horrible, and on top of that, all four of my wisdom teeth are coming in sideways. Ah, okay, here, let me, let me, let me, let me help you, okay? I just want to tell you, okay? So, most, mo okay, ah, okay, so some people care about teeth, but some people don't. Like me, like, I would prefer you not to have, like, I guess, really bad, really bad, bad teeth, right? But, like, if your teeth are stained because you've been drinking coffee and smoking, like, I'm not going to judge you for that, right? But, like, if you're losing teeth and you're missing a whole bunch, like, that's pretty bad. But, but, hear me out. You can just get all your teeth removed. I I know multiple people that have had all their teeth removed. My my ex fiance, she just had her teeth removed, and I tried to support her through that. I actually, you know, because her teeth were bad, I preferred that she got them removed. I talked her into that is a good idea. You won't have any more dental issues like pain in your teeth, and you don't have to worry about people judging you because of your teeth. You get dentures, and, you know, then you can take your teeth out. No problems. They don't get in the way no more. So that was interesting. So your boyfriend will like that. If he can't see the bright side and the fact that they won't get in the way for him no more, I don't know what's wrong with him. But I really enjoyed that. Yeah, so you're going to love it. You're going to love it. And if your boyfriend is supportive and he's interested in them not getting in the way, it's not going to be an issue. Um, I know that my my ex fiance had uh, state insurance, so they took care of all of her stuff for free, which is very, very nice. I, I don't know if you have that option, but if you could potentially get state state dental insurance momentarily as an emergency thing, they would definitely pay for it all. And it should take about a month, a month to a month and a half for you to get your replacements your dental, your uh, dentures, it's not that big of a deal. And and if you, if you, you can get like instant uh, dentures as well. They're just, they won't fit as well. So if you're not worried about the teeth at all, like you don't care, like you in like COVID has, was just here. So what my ex fiance did a lot was just wear a mask, like as if she's worried about COVID and no one looks at her funny. Um, she'll go into stores all the time without her teeth and just put a mask on. And I thought that was cool too, because like you could get away with that. I would say to be patient about the the, the dentures because um, they will they'll fit a lot better. You will have really sore gums after that procedure and you don't want to stick anything in your mouth. And when your gums are swollen and you're using them, uh, them, uh, them first like Insta dentures, they don't fit good, they hurt, they make your fucking mouth sore, like, it's not good. I, I, I had to deal with her having them issues, and she was miserable. And you have one or two options like that in Missouri available? Awesome, awesome. So, so look, don't let people put you down about that. Like, you made a mistake, you're changing your life, you're being healthier, you're, you're, you're dealing with it, 
and and you're gonna you're you're gonna like that they're 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 yeah i wouldn't say you you're gonna be ecstatic that your teeth are gone because you're gonna have some issues with eating some things uh, unlike having teeth but but you're going to love that you don't have pain, that your teeth are not making you feel self-conscious. All of them things are going to go away. Boyfriend want me to stop being in pain before we talk about dentures. My aunt had all her teeth pulled and had insta dentures and said, never get insta. Yes, exactly. Don't, don't get them. I, if I get all my teeth pulled, I do still have dental issues because you know, being a kid, you know, my parents didn't tell me to brush my teeth and I was a smoker and all of that stuff. Like my teeth, they're okay. Like I still have like, I have like, te uh, I would say like uh, temporary pain here and there. Um, I have a tooth that's got a root completely exposed and it doesn't hurt anymore. The root's dead. I've been taking such good care of it with it being cracked, like the center of it and the uh the back side of it so inside like near my tongue is completely cracked in half and gone it's gone it that little sliver on the back side is gone and then the center is completely exposed the roots dead i don't feel anything in there i'd have to stab myself with a toothpick in there for it to hurt and I, because i've been now taking very good care of my teeth it it doesn't bother me anymore but like, yeah, if your if your teeth are bad and you and you know that they're bad and like you stop brushing your teeth, you're gonna start to get that pain again. But like, I used to use Sensodyne. I don't even use Sensodyne no more. Sensodyne is like to numb it out. I don't know if you know the toothpaste, but it like numbs out your mouth and helps with your sensitive gums and all that stuff. And I don't even have to use it anymore. And now I'm trying to whiten my teeth by using uh, that charcoal infused toothpaste. And that stuff works wonders. I'm not, it, it takes, a, it's a long process because it's like sanding the top of your teeth, but in like a safe way. So like, you're not completely u losing the enamel and everything like that. So it's a long process, but if you're determined, you can fix your teeth. But I wish that they would just pull all my teeth. They won't. They, they said, you have too many teeth that have potential to stay healthy. We're not going to pull all your teeth. You're too young for that. And I'm like, bullshit, I want them gone. Take them the fuck away. They, they only fucking irritate me. I'd rather not fucking brush them. I'd rather fucking put my fucking teeth in a fucking cup and fucking break all the bullshit that I've accumulated over the day on them off with that fucking sense... Uh forgot what that stuff's called sensa um i can't remember it starts with an s but you stick your dentures in that fucking cup with that fucking little tablet that dissolves into the water it breaks all the stuff down when you wake up in the morning before you put your teeth in your mouth you give them a nice little light brush and there you're done that's it they stay it they they stay exactly like they were the day that you got them i just had a piece of tooth fall out just now eating but it didn't hurt because of me brushing what teeth i have left in my gums and using really good mouth wash they only hurt if my wisdom teeth push on the nerves when they move yeah yeah that's what i'm saying it's like you can you can make it you can make it better you just got to be determined and it's like me like i've been like unmotivated and miserable and now i'm looking i'm looking up again in life you know after the separation um and i'm i'm getting back motivated and i'm feeling better and i'm i'm at peace and i'm happy and every single time she talks to me because she's still talking to me all she does is upset me like she she starts a fight with me she's got an attitude she's accusing me of talking to someone and all of this stuff and it's like i don't even want to talk to anyone like, like last night was the first time I talked to someone and it was in a video game. I wasn't expecting anything out of that. I was just enjoying myself, having a good time, you know? And then when I heard like what she was going, going through too, I was just like, I wanted to be there for someone and be like, I'll, I'll be your friend. Like, I'm, I, I mean, if, if there is something more, m maybe, cause I don't even know if I would want that right now. Cause like, I'm still going through shit, but like, I'm still me. I'm still me. I still flirt. I still banter with all my friends. I still have a good time. So like, that's not going to change. But like for, for my, for my ex to constantly tell me that I'm talking to someone and, you know, being deceitful and 
uh cheater and and all this stuff it's like no you're the one that did that you were the one that was fucking mean you were the one that was manipulative you were the one that was fucking willing to fucking cheat on me you're the one that dips off in the fucking middle of the night i didn't do all these things man you're always accusing me you're a narcissist and every single time she talks to me all she does is make me feel fucking worse sleep stream schedule and my diet i can work on my exercising as i go yeah i mean e eating eating well is a big part of it so if you can start drinking water right drop out the sugar and the sodium and all of that stuff that's bad for you start eating healthy and drinking healthy taking care of your teeth get get the the rest that you know you need so me i need at least five hours more than five hours just makes me all drowsy and fucking lazy so i get five hours and i have to exhaust myself to the point to where i crash so that i actually go to sleep because if i go to sleep early and i know i'm gonna get too much sleep i will literally lay in bed and stare at my ceiling that's what i'll end up doing and it's crazy like i i, I know i need sleep i try to go to sleep and I just stare at the ceiling. So I'm like, okay, nope, I gotta fill my day out. So I schedule my day to where I fill my whole day out and I exhaust myself. But yeah, I, I've got my stream schedule. It's keeping me busy. I'm, I'm working more at work. That keeps me busy. I spend little time with my children, but I'm sitting here, you know, available to them as much as possible. So as you see, my daughter comes running up and she's waiting to be tucked in. So let me do that real quick. I'm gonna find something quickly on YouTube, probably Stank Rat, cause he's hilarious. Okay, baby, I'll be there in one second working if being if you're if you're really interested and you if you don't work and you want to be a full-time streamer you need to really stick to your schedule because you're eventually going to tell people that you don't work right and they're going to be like well damn how are you so inconsistent with your schedule and having a routine is better for your body and your mental state so you really need to get your schedule in stone and stick to it be on it and then plan time make sure you plan time for the back end stuff for the stream too you want to plan that on your schedule too and also stick to that that was my ex i am so glad that i never have to deal with that with my boyfriend now he cares and even though he is on the road he tries to call when he can yeah yeah no i i agree man i i my my ex and my ex-wife and, and lots of my exes just didn't give a fuck about me and i realize that now it wasn't about me it was never about me it was that i adored them and they used that against me that's what they did i adore people and i fall in love with people and i don't know how but to adore them and treat them right and then i get treated like shit and it's okay to ruin my mental state it's okay but not not if i do that to them it's okay to hurt me and make me feel like shit. And, 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 it, and like, seriously, like getting teary eyed now that people can hurt me when I have such a good heart. I just want to be loved too. I don't see why I keep getting hurt. Working on a book, nice. That's when my chores are done and the PC maintenance is done and things for the stream is done. Right, right. Yeah, you just got to make a schedule and stick to it. Work hard. Well, I, I can tell you this. I've worked my ass off my whole life, mainly in manual labor. This is the first time that I've worked in food. And in three months, I'm already uh, a manager in training. And I busted my ass there. And hard work is the only thing that has propelled me in life always hard work every single time that i sit still i lose but the moment that i get up and i have this this motivation of 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 just champions then that's when i see my life change and that's that's what everyone i would tell everyone to do bust your ass until you feel like you got everything you need and you want and then you can chill it's not to say 
you know, have no motivation or give up or anything. It's just, you can chill then. You'll be at peace. So when you bust your ass, it won't be so bad. You will just be like, ha, ah, man, look at that, man. I can go to this concert because I feel like it. I can go do this because I feel like it. I can buy this because I feel like it. And you only do it when you want to. It's not something that you're gonna be doing on a regular. It's just because at that moment, impulsively you're so happy that you just want to treat yourself for the hard work that you've done where's stank rat at there he is all right here i'll be right back So, so, so what's holding you back from being, um, a streamer full time? Yeah, no, your your boy your boyfriend sounds awesome. I wish that I had a partner that was there with me, for me, and wants me. Oh, your PC, okay. Well, what's what's going on with your PC? What's uh what what's the what what's the issue with that? Does does your boyfriend know uh, about computers? Do you know about computers? Do you need someone that knows about computers? I build computers. I built three custom computers for my kids. They have uh, I wouldn't say they have really expensive computers, but they were you know seven hundred and fifty dollars built. You know, um, I think what a year ago, I think now that I built them and that doesn't include include the keyboard mouse or TV that's just the tower itself and of course I I didn't pay full price for for windows neither so so I mean I can I can help you with the PC thing if, if money's not the issue now if money's the issue obviously that would have to be sorted but I mean I mean having a streaming pc and a gaming pc wrapped up in one it's going to be a, a bit expensive i would say probably around the 1500 dollar mark at least um but i could definitely help you in that situation that that's that's easy stuff to me and it's supposed to, and back on to the you know the the your boyfriend deal is like the team effort thing like yes like that's that's what it's supposed to be i thought that that was how my 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 ex fiance i thought that we were supposed to be a team but i always felt like i was the one putting in a hundred percent while she was putting in 10. when her when she needed a car i spent 700 dollars to get a car and she's like that's my car blah 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 well you let your car die in three fucking years because you didn't put no fucking money into it and you couldn't even pay your portion of the bills i fixed the car whenever it needed to be fixed because i can fix cars i made her life so cheap because i could do everything I could do anything and everything. Everything we needed done here at the house, I would do. In in, in regards to the cars, I would do it. I, I could do everything. And I just don't understand why someone didn't look at me and be like, oh my God, 
I'm so blessed. I need to put in as much effort as him. What am I doing? And all she did was use me. It's all she did was use me. And then she keeps contacting me after she fucking robs me and acts like I'm supposed to bend over backwards to, like, please her. No, you should be bending over backwards to please me. You have ruined someone good and hurt someone good that loved you unconditionally and would have been with you for the rest of his life. And you gave up on that. Okay. Um okay, so I um your computer is probably out of out of date. I don't know your specs, so I can't really tell, but from what it sounds like is he's more of a console gamer. He doesn't really know about PCs and neither do you. Um you're you can find solid state hard drives for pretty cheap nowadays. They're not really that expensive. My kids, they have $50 one terabyte ssds my my streaming pc has a uh a uh one terabyte uh 50 or 60 dollar ssd in it it's not that expensive so you could fix that bottleneck very very cheap under a hundred dollars not only did she give up on it i don't think she knew how to handle the unconditional love and put in the effort to commit yeah no i never felt like she committed now, I would say that, you know, we've had partners together and I've had a side chick, you know, I was poly. I was never poly before because I was like stuck in the normal life thing. And I felt like I had to be mono in a marriage with kids and I wanted to be a family man, but I was told that I can't love no one else. I love all people so I can have multiple relationships and it doesn't affect me because I love people unconditionally. So I didn't find that to be a problem. Now, of course, she agreed to it and then had a problem with it. It's like, you can't agree to something and then let me have a side chick, you know, because I want to have sex all the time and she didn't. And then like make that a big problem. We even had a girlfriend together for seven months. And when I wanted to evolve our relationship with our girlfriend, she didn't want me to be alone with her. Well, how are we going to evolve our relationship if I'm only with you both at the same time? I don't get to know her in private. You don't get to know her in private. You agree to this lifestyle. I'm not saying I need to have that lifestyle if I'm getting a love, the, the, the love that I deserve and need from my partner. But the way I look at it is I know it's a different kind of love, but I love all my children, not just one of them. I can love more than one girlfriend. I can love more than one brother. I can love more than one sister. I can love more than one parent. But she was the one that I had my first threesome with. So it was like, okay, so this is a, the lifestyle I could live. You agreed to it. We discussed it. I thought you were okay. Then you're always insecure and, and fighting with me about it. I told you you could go have your, your additional partner. I don't know what the big deal was. Why did you agree to something that you really didn't agree with? Like all, all it did was put something that tarnished our relationship on top of it. Um, oh yeah, that's it. I don't have a SSD card for my PC, nor the RAM or hard drive space. Well, the SSD is your hard drive. Um, I have eight gigs for RAM. Ooh, yeah, that's low. You need at least 16 for gaming. And if you're going to be streaming and gaming, you need at least 32. And a hard drive, I think my graphics card is light, but it's probably fried now. But I think I, it need a new one. Well, so your biggest... I would have to have your computer specs to know where I can upgrade things and what needs to be addressed. But for sure, your hard drive is, is your solid state drive, right? That's where data goes in terms of video games. RAM, RAM is memory, virtual memory, right? In a sense, right? Um, it's RAM, but like people try to explain it as virtual memory because it's what your computer 
caches information that it's processing before it gets moved from hard drive or solid state drive to the CPU and back and forth, right? So you need that RAM to be able to move data around. So you need 32 when you're streaming. You just, you, you need it. My uh, new gaming computer has 64 gigabytes and it, uh, it streams to YouTube at a very, very high data bandwidth rate. And there's a streaming computer streams to Twitch and Kick all by itself. It doesn't play a game. All it does is do it streams directly to Twitch and Kick at the same time that I'm playing games on the gaming computer and streaming to YouTube off the gaming computer. Um, so I just need to know your specs on your computer. Do you know how to get the specs on your computer? Hell, there is one ex-girlfriend I have that I will always love, but I can never be with her because she couldn't commit to me. She had an issue with the drugs and a serial cheater and refused to refuse the help given or rehab. So I had to let her go. I have the, uh, I had an, uh, a, a long time childhood friend that I, that I hooked up with after my divorce and she was cheating on her boyfriend and she couldn't commit to me she wouldn't leave him she was stuck on drugs he was the one feeding her drugs he was putting his hands on her she turned into a drunk addict all over again after she got better you know from our from our childhood she was a drunk addict and she then had a daughter you know changed her life and then got with this asshole guy and i was trying to help her get away from him i was like you know i i, I had a major crush on you when we were kids and then she like you know, gave the pass on me and I was like, okay, fuck it. Like, I don't care. Like, you know, you told me your boyfriend's a piece of shit. You're trying to get away from him. You know, you guys are not in a good spot right now. She was telling me that she wasn't sleeping with him. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh no, you're doing all them things. You're just cheating on him. But because I make you feel good, it's okay. That's not okay. You're hurting me. So I had to let her go. But yeah, if you could if you could get your PC specs, I could probably take a look and see what I can do. I, I, I just don't like right now without PC specs, I don't know where to even start with your computer because it's four years old. It could have a billion different PC parts in it. I can hunt down the specs in my PC. Are they in settings? Okay, so hold on. Hold on a second. Uh, let me let me get these hideout things in Tarkov going really quick. There is some things you can get from your PC, right? So, um, let's give me one moment here. Um, let me see how much these matches are. Hopefully I can, ooh, ow, that was expensive. Yeah, I'll just do some more wires then. Jesus. Um, okay, so go to my computer so you can see my screen. Okay. So now I need to go to uh, files. God, that's bright. Okay, so you're gonna right click on PC, right? This will tell me some stuff about the PC, right? So I'll see like the processor, I'll see installed RAM. Those are only two of the things that I can get, right? And then your addition of Windows, right? So that's three things that help me but it doesn't tell me everything right so we can find some more but it won't give me like um specific information now the processor it'll give me specific information because that's just the way it reads off the cpu is it's going to tell you exactly what it is um your addition of windows it should tell me exactly what it is your ram it's only going to tell me how much ram is installed it won't tell me the speed of it it won't tell me if it's ddr3 or ddr4 or ddr5 i highly doubt it's ddr5 because that's brand new tech and i just bought that stuff and put it in the brand new gaming computer and it was really expensive and it's brand new stuff from like this year type type of tech so you probably have ddr4 if if it's a four-year-old computer i would think it's ddr4 so you said it's eight gigabyte which we could definitely upgrade that and ram is not really expensive being that it's ddr4 
because because it's it's newer i'm thinking that it, or i mean ddr4 is not that expensive because ddr5 is out and that's newer so ddr4 is kind of getting phased out so you can get it for kind of cheap same thing with uh, the solid state hard drive is they're getting so much better that if you get a a budget style ssd it's not that expensive now if you get a really highly rated ssd then it is expensive all right so now that we got that information there right you can go down here over here right so like i have this amd software adrenaline edition right i know it's really hard to see down there but um it will tell me if you have a an amd graphics card or a nvidia graphics card right so down there there will either be an icon for amd or an icon for nvidia you're you're most likely not going to have both because most people if they do even have two graphics cards they usually have the similar brand right or they have identical graphics cards for other reasons but sli um and whatever amd's ability to kind of use two graphics cards is being phased out it's not a thing that gets used on a common anymore um so that will tell you what kind of graphics card brand you have but then to see your graphics card um i go into my amd software and it should tell me what i have because it has to install the drivers for that graphics card then you can find out what your graphics card actually is Is it going to start to software? Okay, it didn't start to software for some reason. So, um, let me see. Um, performance. I know it says my graphics card. So here, so my GPU, it says AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. This, this is the best gpu on the amd side it's the second best graphics card in in, in in the consumer market right now the only one that's better than this right now is the 4090 nvidia card which is uh like double the price of mine <laughs> so yeah i stuck with this one because i you know still gotta fucking you know be cheap somewhere um so now, like I said, I have, I've done found the CPU, I found the Windows version, I found the, the RAM amount that is installed, and I found the GPU type. Now, you're, you already said you have a hard drive. So that already needs to go. I don't even need to know what that is. We would wanna upgrade that to a solid state drive right away. Now, the second issue though, is that i need to know what motherboard you have because the motherboard determines what kind of tech you can put in the compete the pc and what you could upgrade to so i need to know i think it's nvidia but i can't seem to pull that up that program you have this is amd if you have nvidia like i said it's down it's down here in this bottom corner right underneath my camera so way underneath my camera, down at the very bottom left, you'll see this arrow. It says, show hidden icons, right? So this pops up. This is my AMD software, this little red icon. I know it's really small, but that's the one. Or wait, can you see that? You probably can't even see that. Hold on. Because of the way that my uh, Twitch is set up. You can't even see that because of the way my Twitch is set up. Shit. Hold on uh my twitch and kit don't show that um hold on Okay, so right here, 
this is AMD right there. You have to look for the little green one that looks like the NVIDIA logo. Uh, logo. You click on that and it's your NVIDIA control panel. You can also find it in your start menu. Now on that program somewhere, it's gonna tell you what your graphics card is. I could look at the streaming PC and figure that out, like how to navigate in that, that program if you can't find it. But yeah, that would that would be the information that I need. I need to know your your motherboard. So uh so like I would have to go to my motherboard software, which I have an Asus motherboard, which I know that. So I would have to go to my Asus, my Asus motherboard uh program, and it will tell me my motherboard. I don't know what type of motherboard you have. It may be an AS Rock. It might be a Gigabyte, it may be an MSI, it might be an ASUS, it may be um, an F FXX, um, what are some other brands? Um, I know I have another brand in the house. I can't see it right now, so I don't, I don't, I don't know what the other brand is. But there's a lot of brands of motherboards. You just have to find your brand, open that software, right, and it'll tell you what your motherboard is. Because that's honestly the real information I need is what motherboard you have. That's what's really, really going to help me in figuring out what I need to help you with. Okay, I see, I seen that. Okay, okay. Okay, Ryzen 5 3500. That's not that's not too bad. Um 64 bit, okay, Windows Home 11. So you have some pretty decent tech if you're able to get windows 11 um you you can't have like the old old stuff to be able to run windows 11 but i think at this point you're you're like on the very bottom end you're barely able to run windows 11. um ryzen 5 is not bad the kids actually have a ryzen 5 3600 six core so you're not far behind them, but you're trying to stream and game at the same time. You see what I'm saying? So that's your issue. You're not going to be able to stream and game at the same time on that. It, it, you know what? It may sound like you just need to make a whole brand new computer. So like, let me, let me show you this here. Hold on. Uh, So this is the website that I use to build computers. It even tells you if the parts are compatible and things like that. I need to game and stream. I have a PC in mind, but I need 3.5K for that specific PC. No, you don't. I spent $1,500 without a graphics card included to run my gaming, my old gaming PC, which is now the streaming PC. I used to game and stream off of that just fine. Now I could only stream to one place and I had to put all my settings on low because I had a budget graphics card. But if you spent 1500 on just the computer, not including the keyboard, not including the mouse, and not including the graphics card, 1500, you will have a solid PC that will run fine and stream fine. Now your graphics settings, okay, is determined based off of the graphics card. 
nine times out of ten it's going to be based off of your graphics card for the quality that you can see the game in game right so my quality settings on my games are now to the max because i have one of the best graphics cards but before i would put everything on low and then i would stream off the cpu so you stream off the cpu and game off the graphics card right that's how you game and stream at the same time but you have to have a good cpu for that so you don't need 3500 to do that your graphics card is what you play the game on and you stream off you stream off the cpu so you don't you don't need 3500 1500 at max to be able to stream and then whatever you want to spend on that graphics card to be able to game at whatever quality you want to game off of and to help you be able to game without bogging out your graphics card don't use a 65 inch like me i use a i used to use on my uh, my old gaming pc which again is a streaming pc now i used to play on a 65 inch qled samsung 4k smart tv and that wasn't easy for the graphics card to do so if you're using like a 32 inch monitor and it's in 1080p or 720p and that's how you're playing you don't really need a strong graphics card it just determines on it, it it's all based off of your setup you just need to know how your setup needs to be to be able to run efficiently that's it you just need that knowledge you don't need to spend 3500 that is ridiculous that that's ridiculous i spent 4200 on my brand, brand new computer because i went above and beyond because I had the money. I had the money to spend. Not, not, you know, I wasn't on a budget. You see what I'm saying? Like I wasn't on a budget. The only thing I couldn't justify doing was spending $2,400 on a graphics card. So I spent half that and felt better and then spent, spent $1,200 on my amazing monitor. I felt like that was beneficial. And I love this monitor. This monitor is amazing. So you go to PC part picker, right? And this is where I have my stuff at. So this is my kids' computers right here. This is my oldest son. He's got a Ryzen 5 3600. And I overclocked the, the CPU to 4 gigahertz instead of 3.6, but it's still a 6-core, just like you. Um, it's got an MSI B450 Bazooka Max Wi-Fi am4 which means it's a you know an am4 i now the new computer has an am5 motherboard in it i can't seem to find the graphics card info but i think i need a new one because pc crashes when i play fortnite on pc instead of console i'm thinking you just need a new computer all together that's what i'm thinking later down the line what you can do is you can take that pc right and you can turn it into a streaming pc you can upgrade it a little bit and then you can make it a streaming PC. And then you'll have a dual PC setup. I, it's, it's complicated, but if you keep talking to me, I'll help you along the way, and it will it will become your streaming PC. And that the, the CPU that is in that, that computer, it won't need a graphics card. It will only need the CPU to stream. It won't need the graphics card. So ignore that. If, if it doesn't run and keeps crashing because of because of the graphics card, you may need to update the graphics card because there might be something wrong with the graphics card. And just a budget graphics card will get you by. I use a 1650 Super in the streaming PC. That is old, outdated. It's only four gigabytes of fucking uh, graphic power on that thing. That thing's a piece of poop. But every single one of the other computers besides my gaming computer, my new one, has that graphics card in it and when you turn the settings all down to low you can game on it just fine with no problems it runs just fine they get 60 frames they they have smaller monitors right they either run in 720p or 1080p and they're small monitors so it doesn't bog out the graphics card and they run video games just fine they are no issues at all so you don't have to go super expensive on that you can leave that computer the way it is upgrade that computer from eight gigabyte to 16 and you can stream off it just fine this the c the cpu is fine upgrade the ram get a solid state hard drive on that 
maybe you might have to replace the graphics card because it's just de dead. After that, you're done. You're done. That's a fucking decent streaming PC. It will run one stream to Twitch or Kick just fine. <clears throat> and you can be streaming at 936p uh, uh, on uh, on Twitch. You can only do 720p on Kick right now unless you have the viewers. Once you get the viewers, then they'll let you do 1080p, but you still don't want to stream at 1080p. You want to stream at 936p because it reduces the uh the 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 pixel count required and then you have that higher bandwidth that you're limited by which is 8000 on kick and twitch so so realistically you don't want to stream at 1080p because streaming at 1080p with only 8000 gig uh megabytes of bandwidth is not good anyways it makes your your image corrupt and 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 blocky and stuff and you don't want that anyways All my settings are low as also as long as I my settings are low it should put along until I can get the parts I need to update my PC. I'm 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 I don't know. I, I honestly I don't know if if updating the PC is is going to be good cuz I like I said I need to know the motherboard. I it's like very important because I can't just pick parts without knowing every part. I, I need to know the motherboard to give you suggestions. Um, like I said, your CPU is fine, but it's not necessarily fine for gaming and streaming. You see what I'm saying? Unless you get a really, really decent graphics card and then maybe, maybe you'd be all right. Um, you you need you need that uh that uh motherboard software um can can you stream right now without playing a video game and show me your screen and show me your start menu like just go through your start menu so i can look at all the different programs that are installed on the computer because that may help me to find your motherboard brand Because typically you should have motherboard software so that you can adjust your motherboard. And if not, do you know how to get into your BIOS? Because your BIOS would tell you your motherboard, but you have to get into your BIOS, which is before you even get into Windows, you gotta press the delete or the F1 key or possibly the F2 key. It depends on the motherboard. And when you're starting, when you're starting the PC, all you do is just keep pressing F1, F2, and delete until it goes into the BIOS, and then it'll show you what motherboard it is. Typically, it should tell you what motherboard you have. You just have to look around in there. The only problem with that is you can't stream while you're looking through the BIOS because you're not in Windows. You need to be in Windows to be able to use OBS to then be able to stream. But yeah, look, this is my, my oldest son's uh pc and i built it uh when does it say i built this does it tell me when i built it it doesn't tell me when i built it but i built it for 730 dollars that's how much i built it for like a year ago and his computer he can stream on it but he can't stream in good quality he can't stream for long periods of time he can't play a really demanding game and stream at the same time he can only you know stream on the lowest settings for the game and the lowest setting for for a stream and he has to be very careful because his computer starts to overheat like you don't want to put that overheating stress on your computer like if you look at my computer look at my my, my results here my computer is running at uh hold on i want to make sure tarkov is still running okay so tarkov is running right now i'm on tarkov and I'm also streaming to YouTube at a very high bandwidth. So I'm doing a lot. And my computer's sitting at 60 degrees. The CPU load is at 12%. My CPU clock is overclocked. My GPU is running at 34 degrees. GPU, GPU load is running at a, a, a steti 50-ish uh, percent. 
uh the gpu clock is overclocked but it fluctuates a lot my fan on the gpu is constantly running i don't like it to go idle i make sure that it's always running really really good i'm using my full uh 24 gigabytes of, of ram load on my gpu right now and it's it's running great but this is a really really good computer like this is my computer right here this is what my computer right now is worth but this is including my my samsung qled 65 inch this is including my samsung odyssey g9 super ultra wide 49 inch monitor and every single one of my peripherals so my keyboard my mouse my mic my my camera my everything it includes everything is on this list so it is this computer's worth 70 7500 dollars but that's how i want this computer to run i want it to run nice and smooth and all of that because the moment that it's not running nice and smooth is when you deteriorate your hardware and then you have a graphic graphics card that overheated and then it destroyed the graphics card because you let it overheat but like yeah like this is my middle son's 720 dollars this is my daughter's computer 665 dollars because she's got um a a old um solid state drive that i just didn't put the price on there for so it's probably worth the same amount around 720 to 750 dollars um this is the streaming pc that is over there right right now um and nope that was that was the first build for the streaming pc before my daughter got it um so that one doesn't count but this is the new streaming pc and look it's sitting at fourteen hundred dollars that's all that computer's worth and that that also includes the the graphics card because it got um different parts in it so the price got changed because of the 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 different parts that i kind of swapped around from pc to pc so it should be a seventeen hundred dollar computer but i moved parts around to make things the way i wanted it so that everyone's computer in the house ran good so this computer actually got a downgrade and i pulled parts to the the new computer and put older parts into the streaming pc and stuff like that so i mean you just got to know what you're doing and what you're looking for and things like that uh let me know when you're streaming oh i went to fucking twitch i didn't mean to go to twitch kick or show your screen on discord that might even be easier for your computer and not so demanding i think discord might be better you also also we could talk on discord if you want to do that it'd be more direct instead of you typing yeah yeah hold on uh let me do you do you have a, a server or do you want to do a video screen sharing call how do you how do you want to do it and I'll turn my screen off so no one can see my Discord, so it doesn't get it, give any of your information or anything or that away. I don't want to do any of that. That that would uh... okay, yeah. And just come into my general channel. I'm I'm always sitting in there when I'm online. I, sometimes I might be in someone else's server if I'm playing with them or whatever. But typically, I'm I'm in my Discord. So yeah, just accept the rules and all of that, and then move down into the general chat, voice chat channel, and then screen share, and I will I will take a look and, and help you out for sure. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I, did, I wanted to make sure that I muted the site and not the actual stream, so my view would still count. <sighs> right, right. I appreciate the support. 
Okay. So if I were to share my screen. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Right, so, right. Uh, you've already sent me this. So what I need you. Uh, so that, I think that might help. That might help. Go to um, display adapters. Display adapters. Yep, it's near the top, right there. You got it's. It's on that that window. Click on display dra adapters. Uh, right next to it, there's a little arrow. Click on it so it opens it. Nope, on the screen you were on, the window you were on. Yep, in there, where your hardware is. Yep, display adapters. Display adapter. Yep, hit the little arrow next to it. Nvidia GeForce GTX sixteen fifty. You have a you have a sixteen fifty just like me and all my other computers. That should that should be fine to stream with, and and your your CPU is not bad. You could get away with it, but you would have to like fine tune your computer. What's my KD right now, bag milk? I don't know. Hold on, let me check real quick. My KD is one point eight nine. So so you have an okay graphics card. Um, but like you said, you think it, it's burnt out and it needs to be replaced. Um, Possibly. Um, and a minute ago, I had where my motherboard was, but it showed up. It literally popped up six times for a motherboard, so I got confused. So, so, so go to your start menu. I'm going to show you where to find your eight, your uh, your motherboard software, so you know what it is. Um, so, yep, just scroll down nice and slow, so I can read everything. I'll just keep going. Oh, way too fast. Way too fast. Go back up. <laughs> okay. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Oh, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. This is the bottom of okay that's mm, um usually you have uh motherboard software so that's really weird um yeah, is this really weird. is this a pre-built computer free build uh actually i bought it from aaron's so i it's don't a, think it, 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 well pre it, it is it's a hp pavilion gaming desktop TG01. Oh, I could probably look that up and find your motherboard type. Hold on. Yeah, um, it's already pre-built. Yeah, pre-built are garbage. Uh, I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's my first computer. I paid it off. I feel proud of myself. It's just slightly annoying that I have to deal, oh my goodness, with the hiccups that come with it. So first of all, I'm going to see if you got the wrong settings for OBS as well. So go and open uh obs tg01 tg01 um five th uh, there's multiple different ones um and your ryzen 5 3500 was it's your cpu processor. i'm pretty sure that my pc is not being utilized properly because I don't have an SSD card installed because uh, one of my other friends uh, looked at my PC and he said that um, in my settings, this is this is it. Processor, nothing's being uh, sorted properly. This is this is it right here. Okay, I see your whole your whole get up here. Okay, um, you don't even have a sixteen fifty super. Your 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 CPU is not the best but it's not bad neither you have the eight gigabyte of memory it's supposed to have an ssd in it. it's supposed to have a 512 gigabyte ssd in it it's supposed um to supposed to yeah. <laughs> um let me see here um it doesn't say the actual specs right here maybe um it all it says is varies by model mother fuck that doesn't help me <laughs> well it was varies by model i've given you the model what do you mean probably not a good idea to look at uh 
Amazon, but it gave me the most information right, right away. I had the same CPU as me or her. She has the Ryzen 5 3500. I have uh, the Ryzen 5 3600 in all of the additional computers besides my streaming PC and my gaming PC. As her, okay, okay. I mean, if you're only gaming, that's fine. But now she's got, uh, did you open OBS? Oh, here it is. Six motherboards, resources, and I don't understand that. Yeah, it's not gonna tell you the uh, the motherboard type in there at all. No. Go ahead go ahead and close device manager, close uh, to your settings. Uh, just uh, OBS, okay, now go to settings. I'm gonna know right away if you got the wrong settings. Go to uh, output. Oh no, it, it, it is it is using it is using your CPU. So that is right. Your video bit rate is definitely way, way low. Um, it should definitely be at least six thousand. At least. Mm. Six thousand. Yeah, so do you know your upload and your download speed for your internet? Uh, we can speed test speed test <laughs> yep speed test.net i know bag milk she's just having setting issues and i'm trying to go over it she also thinks that maybe her graphics card is dying so she doesn't know for sure i was just trying to make sure that all of her settings are right all of her stuff is configured the way it needs to be because she has to stream off her CPU while she games off of her GPU. Her GPU is not that great for, for gaming, so she's got to turn all of her settings to the lowest possible. She has to limit her frames. She can't just leave her frames unlocked. She needs to, like I said, stream off of her CPU and not streaming at more than 6,000. We may be able to reduce it a little bit by putting her at 720p instead. And that may be okay, but she definitely needs to like really dial in her settings to where they're they're not um, they're not fluctuating. She needs her computer to stay completely stable at all times, or she's going to have major issues. Yeah, Fortnite crashes on PC, but it has no problem on PlayStation. And BS said that he was going to get the graphics card or the card that i need for the playstation so i can stream for my computer while i play fortnite on the console and he's hoping to get hogwarts legacy so i can stream it from console as well because hogwarts legacy will eat my computer. i i i heard <laughs> i heard that on console it's trash now i have it on the streaming pc that's what the x was playing when she was here here recently, she was playing that on the streaming PC while I still streamed on YouTube on my gaming PC. So I basically forfeited my ability to stream on Twitch and kick for her. And just to see, it's just like things like that. Like I sacrificed and ne she never sacrificed for me. Okay, so your upload, you could definitely handle six or even the max on Twitch or kick, which is 8,000. Actually, kick is, kick I think is 80. 500 but you don't want to you don't want to push it anyways because your computer is just not strong enough so i would say we would probably want to set you up for 720p let's go back to obs uh go to video just go to video real quick we'll, we'll sort that in a second oh oh okay so you um well, no. So the only thing is I don't like using downscaling because downscaling adds an additional to the computer. So even though you're, you're, stre you're streaming at like the output is 720, you're still, you're still pulling video at, at 1080 and encoding it to 720. So you're still using extra resources there. I would prefer that, like if I was on your computer, that I would want the base canvas to be 720 and the output to be exactly the same. So you don't have to use a downscaler at all. No, 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 Ch change the base canvas resolution to 720. Not, oh, okay. the, not the output. You want to leave the output at 720. Now, there you go. Now you're again limited. So you want to stay at 30 frames. So now go to audio. Oh, sorry, let me go back. Yeah. I wanted to save those settings. 
you're gonna have to reset all of your scenes which really sucks but you're you just you have to so go to audio now you're sitting there good okay good there um go to uh, output now okay now let me look up real quick um just the uh the good amount for 720p and with and with um calculator i just need a number um let's see bandwidth uh nope Let's do bandwidth and we'll do Twitch as the most recognizable. So someone will have a number. Bitrate should be 3000. That requires an upload speed of at least five. You have 18. I think you'll be fine. And this is saying 720p video at 60 frames per second would be 4500. So what I would say is at least 4500 at 720p. 4500, okay. Yeah, you want a lot of extra overhead. Now put the audio bit rate to 320 because you audio is very, very, very important. It's actually more important than video. And people don't understand that. If you have bad audio, no one's gonna wanna hear it. And your fucking noise ass fucking room and your fucking AC and your fucking fan. And they don't wanna hear that stuff. So you wanna make that audio perfect. Now, this is saying your video encoder says software. Just click that. I wanna see your options because Okay, so where you see where it says hardware, that's meaning your graphics card, okay? Now, you're gonna be you're gonna be gaming off your graphics card, so you don't want that. You need the X264 because that means your CPU. Okay. So now, I would say to like, look, look at the uh, encoder preset. So take a look at that and just, I'm gonna explain this. So the ultra fast is not good um now if you're limited and it's having issues then i would i would say go to ultra fast now your your cpu is just not offering you anything other than fast faster very fast because it's just not good enough okay my my cpu gives me the whole range it's just the slowest slow slower you know all of that i got them extra additionals because my cpu is capable but yours is just not so i would say we can start it very fast because you already started there and you had higher settings and you were just overworking the cpu so we'll try that first and we'll see where it goes now um actually you you're going to change this you're going to take your output mode and change it to advanced you don't want simple up at the very top Okay, advance. So now this is what's important because what's gonna happen now, you may have them slow settings now, I don't know because of just OBS giving you them options. On simple, you're not gonna get that stuff. Now you wanna take your video encoder now is sitting there saying, you know, your CPU, cause that's X264, okay? So you're good there. Now you want that rate control to be controlled bit rate. What's gonna happen is it's gonna, it's not gonna let that change. You need to, to, that don't, you don't want that to fluctuate. When it fluctuates, it puts a lot of strain on the CPU because it's gonna drop down to like 2000, then it's gonna raise up to eight and it's not gonna be able to, to like give you that that controlled rate which makes the computer stable now if you click on cbr which is controlled bit rate you'll see many different things there's variable bit rate there's controlled rate something i can't remember because it's stupid and i don't use it i've never even seen abr i have no idea what that is um but like i said you want cbr for control bit rate now what did i tell you to set it to for your bit rate 4,500. 4,500. So now your keyframes are very important. You need to have them at two. You don't want it to be auto. This is gonna force the computer to stay at every two keyframe intervals. It's gonna update your, your video. Um, profile, click on that real quick. It should be um, high or main. Um, Main is more for quality, where high is more for performance. So you're probably gonna wanna be on high, um, go to your tune, and you want that to be zero latency because you wanna have no latency when you're talking to your chat. Exactly. So now you should go to advanced. Let me take a look around there real quick. You're not gonna be doing no um, recording, correct? 
because you probably don't want to do that while you're streaming it's a lot more extra on the cpu so you're probably not going to be able to do that so i would stay away from that go to your audio real quick now that you're on advanced change some settings there maybe no nope, back in that uh that other screen yep go to audio tab no 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 audio tab yep yep now change all of those to 320 because remember we want better audio you're not going to use all of them tracks you're only going to use one but if you ever eventually use additional like you can export your settings for obs into like say a new computer if you take that export file put it on a new computer you can just import your settings um and this will give you a good baseline so you don't have to reset up every last thing all right so now so now go to advanced and we're going to take a look around in there uh, the advanced on the left side on the left side yep um processing priority put it above normal this is going to give a little bit more priority over the operating system not necessarily the game um so you're going to be running an sdr you don't run an hdr you want the colors range to be limited you don't want to change anything really you want to leave everything exactly where it is this is a normal sdr settings nothing needs to be changed um stream delay you're not going to do that remember we want to be right on top of chat communicating with everyone auto re auto re reconnect is great so you're good there all right so go ahead and close settings now like I said, you're gonna have to fix all of your scenes. So what you can do, now listen, what you can do is go to your to your scene actual ob object, right? So starting web uh, M, right click that. Nope, 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 nope. Over on the right side in sources, over in sources. Right click that. Now go to transformation and click bit to screen. You have a, you have a very basic setup, so you're fixing your scenes is going to be very simple. Bam. Okay. So just everything that is your main backdrop, you just want to look for that and then fit it to screen. Everything else you're going to have to move around and kind of get back into the focus of your, of your scene. But other than that, your main things are going to be very simple. Just fit to screen, bam, it's fixed. Then move everything to where you had it positioned before, resize it if you need to, and you're going to be good to go. Okay. Yeah, that's my model. <laughs> uh, so my other games and DVD scenes are going to take longer to move around because they were objects on a back on a backdrop over the game capture yeah so <laughs> but but you know how to do all that stuff so i don't need to walk you through that so now you understand what's going on you're like oh my god okay my settings were just bad maybe your settings were the big problem here and maybe it's all good now and you're not going to crash your computer constantly i'm not saying that we fixed it all i'm just saying that now you're on the right path to see if you really do need to upgrade your computer now very very important you could do nvidia settings on your computer that limits every single game that you play to the same thing that no matter what you're not going to push that game too far and it's going to have global settings for every single game which i don't know if you want to do that or you want to just address every single game that you play or what you want to do but this is a very good starting point for you awesome yes thank you so much Oh yeah, no problem. I, like like I said, if if you if I ever said it, I don't know if I did while you were watching. I've been streaming for ten plus years, and my wow. and my setup is very complicated. Oh yeah. Like I stream, I stream my webcams to my network. I stream my game footage to my network, and then I pull all of that footage to OBS. My audio is also the same way. My audio is ran through a mixer and I can literally set, I have every single bit of my audio is separated individually. So when I watch YouTube, that's its own little channel. When someone's talking to me on Discord, that's its own channel. My game, it's on its own channel. My system sounds for like Windows when it sends an error or I open a program or whatever, it's its own sound. Everything is on its own channel so that I can manipulate it how I need to. So I can change the audio level, I can use auto ducking, which when I'm talking, everything that 
is not me talking, it automatically gets lowered so my viewers can hear me over everything else. Yeah. So any, anyways, I'm gonna let you have fun with this because you got a lot of <laughs> setting, you got a lot of setup to do now. Definitely. And um, then, <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. And then, and then I, I don't know if you'll get it all set up tonight or 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 what, but go ahead and if I'm I'm going to be on till 4 a.m. So that's another uh, almost five hours. If you get this all going and you are going to stream and you want me to take a look at it and you know if we're having issues still maybe i can help you along through them issues we'll go from there and maybe i can get you all going again tonight and you might not even need to upgrade your computer awesome thank you yeah i will let you know when i go live tonight i i'm just gonna spend most of my night fixing it <laughs> okay okay well I, I i wish you the best of luck i hope it works out for you i i'm i'm so glad that it may have just been settings me too. Thank you so much. I will let you know when I go live so we can take a look at everything. Alrighty, sounds good. And I'm sorry for kind of taking over your stream. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm here to enjoy myself and hang out with people. The, my my gaming is all about making friends and having fun. This is this is not about money in any way. I've been streaming for so long that it's never been about money and it will never be about money. It, it It's just, I like connecting with people. Like, and I, I, it's funny too, because I just watched um that podcast that I was watching earlier. They were talking on their last podcast about how people, mental health issues, and like they feel like they're an object that people are just using them because of their fame as a streamer and things like that. And they like get all depressed and feel disconnected from the world. I have never ever in my entire life felt like that while I've been streaming for 10 years plus. I mean, I was streaming like, if you look at the Twitch category, just chatting, that's what Justin TV was, which is what Twitch is now. That was Justin TV back in the day. It was just chat rooms with someone on a video talking to people in their chat room. That's all it was. And, and I was doing that way before Twitch and gaming and all of that. And then also as well, I was streaming my video directly to my own personal website while I was running a game server. So like basically like a modded game that's socially and you know, acceptable in the world nowadays whereas back in the day modding a server and running it would get you a cease and desist order so i was modding a game and running my own game server and we called it private servers back then and i i was streaming my video my webcam video right to my website so that my community could hear my updates from my own mouth right so i've been doing this forever so so again, like I said, no problem. I enjoyed helping. When I play Phasmophobia, I was constantly teaching people. My 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 next wipe here on Tarkov, I am expecting to teach people how to actually play this game, not just run around and lose their shit because that's typically what happens to new players. They have no idea what's going on. They run into the game, they fucking die. They quit the game because it's really fucking hard. And it really, it, it is hard. I'm not gonna lie, the game is hard. And that's why I like it. But the game can be easier. You just have to understand what needs to be done. And if there's someone actually telling you what needs to be done the right way in the beginning, you'll be far better off. Exactly. So your your issue, even with OBS, was you didn't know what to do. You had no you had no starting base and you just needed to know what to start from and then we can build from there. Exactly. So I don't need an update to a thirty five hundred dollar computer. Uh I would that would be a like a dream goal to upgrade to it later. It's not a necessity now. <laughs> Yeah, and like I said, my my streaming PC right now, I just I just showed you the prices for PC part picker. It's under fifteen hundred, and it streams to Twitch and it's stream it's streaming to Twitch and Kick right now, right now. You know that. I'm like yeah. I was I was watching your stream and my all three of my streams are running great still. They're running great. I'm 
I do everything. I game, I talk on Discord, I have websites open, I watch YouTube. I'm fucking doing everything. I'm streaming constant fucking massive data to my network right now. Like if I look at the streaming PC right now, now before I made my, uh, my setup very efficient, I was uh, streaming to my network 60 gigabytes worth of data. I'm only streaming about 20 megabytes of data to my network now. Oh, wow. So I, I, my goal is to always make stuff more efficient. The more efficient that you are, the less energy is needed. It's like, it's like the saying, work smarter, not harder. And I think that's what was happening. I was working harder than I was working smarter, especially with OBS settings. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm going to let you get to it and and just let me know when you need when you need me to check it out and so hopefully it's all working good of course thank you so much you enjoy the rest of your stream i'll still be lurking i'm just gonna yep yep you're good <laughs> have a good one yeah you too awesome that's great see man that's what makes me feel good helping someone that's what I'm here for. That's what I love. That's the stuff that makes me happy. All right, are we gonna watch? We gonna? I think we're gonna watch uh, Stank Rat in the pop out window while we're messing around. Look, what are you doing? Oh, it's because I wasn't playing the video. I was like, what is it doing? Okay, there we go. All right, back to Tarkov. Um, I'm gonna do another scav run because it is ready and maybe I can find another armor repair kit. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, I hope it works great. Oh, Pastel, I hope it works for you. I'm so excited for you. I love it. Cannot wait. All right, let's get into a scav raid here. Ooh, what's done in the hideout? Oh, just some cheese. Ha, <laughs> some cheese is done and I'm watching Stank Rack. What do you know? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's buy one of these. Hey, what? I'll turn that. Okay. Get some uh, IFAX going real quick. All right, let's get into the scav raid. Oh, I missed it. What happened? You were the bad scav. Oh, he missed. Oh, he got that one though. Nice. <laughs> he's sniping right now. Or because he's a rat, you know. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, night time. Let's go. Get one tapped. <laughs> Should I wait for another scav or something? Or because no PMCs are coming through Ruoff. Uh, maybe I think the goons might be on the map actually. Because everybody died over by Stronghold. They had to. Because that's where all the fighting was at. This one going on YouTube? Yeah, this one's going on YouTube for sure. I marked it like 10 times. <laughs> this one's going on YouTube. <laughs> Doesn't he put all of his raids on YouTube since he's a rat? Uh, well, no, because he f he does fuck around shit, too, and he puts that shit on YouTube, too. What is he talking about? He should be putting everything on YouTube. I can't wait till I'm to that point to where everyone watches every bit of every single thing I do because I just constantly fucking run my mouth while I'm streaming. <laughs> the shit that comes out of my mouth during I'm not playing is just as good as the shit I say while I'm playing. Nine minutes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He was in his inventory. Someone snuck him. Ooh, he didn't die, though. Nice. Well, I nearly broke my neck. <laughs> so hard, I almost broke my neck right now. <laughs> it startled the shit out of him. That was good. Okay, somebody actually already killed them all. Okay, this is... What's his name? Is this the other one, or is this a PMC? That's a P... No. Okay, so we're missing one person. I try to catch other people's. Ooh. 
my media button is not working and it's really bothering me because oh my god i can't find it where's my mouse there we go the pop out is so small it's hard to hard to catch it where am i at oh storage units cool cool this is a good spawn I'll hit the car and the little building here real quick. It's uh actually pretty light out. I need to hurry the hell up. I was thinking this was going to be a lot darker. Ooh, I got an M2. Yeah, let's go. Um, I mean, those are okay. Ooh, comp twos. Oh my god, dude. Wow, this box is amazing right now. Holy shit. Dude. Um, oh wait, I don't want that. But I need to start remembering to grab everything so I get the looting uh, experience. And I always forget, man. I'm always just like, okay, that's good. That's bad. Don't pick that up. And look, I ain't got no meds. This is ridiculous. Dang, this is bad. All I got is a heavy bleed. That's it. Ooh, a G36. Let's go. Nice. All right. Woo! That was a good box and a good car. Let's go. Coffee on the ground. You see how fucking bright that coffee is? Look at that. Why? Why is it so damn bright? Ridiculous. You can see that thing from a mile away. All right. Oh, no uh, weapon or armor repair there. So on to Big Red. What was that? Oh, it was just a cup. All right, come on, armor repair kit. I need two million more. Come on, you can do it. Uh, man, I can carry two right now. I'll take two. I can do a double fucking like I got that er that raid earlier. I would be happy. Come on, game. Oh, not there. Okay, on to the sniper roadblock, and then I gotta go north all the way to RUAF checkpoint. So I can see if those ones are there, the four are all down that line that spawn. We will check that. But not bad though. Like I've already got, you know, a G36. I mean, that that right there alone, I should see how much ammo is in it. I probably want to use that before that fucking shotgun because that shotgun's a piece of poop. About half? Um, I mean, is probably better than that shotgun. I'll keep it for range for now, but if they're up close to me, I could definitely use the shotgun and put them down. It's a double barrel, so it should knock them down real quick. What backpack do I have? I could find that uh, MBSS in here maybe, if it ever spawns, and it never does. I'm waiting for it to spawn so I can see where it spawns in that container. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Dang it. I got caught in the bush because I didn't jump in time.
Oh, nothing there. All right, go down the sniper roadblock. We're going to just go on the other side of this building real quick. Collect some stand while we walk. Oh. I don't know. It seemed like construction. Oh, man. I oh. Nope, that's dorms. It's a scav near me. Yeah, that storms is popping off. Yep, I'm just a scav, buddy. Just a scav. No repair kit there. We want to get out of the sight of that scav. I don't know if he's going to take a shot at me or not. Don't want him to have the ability to shoot me. I don't want to get too close to dorms, but like I said, I wanted that container to cover me there from that guy run up into construction because I did hear them shots were at dorms. They are not at construction. I don't see anything up there. But I don't know. Would I be able to see that from the ground? I'm not entirely sure. I need to start looking before I go up there so I know before I even go up there if it's even there. You know what I mean? Yeah, see? It's not there. Alright. Are you AF? And there's too much action going on for a fucking night raid. I haven't touched my phone in a while. I was I was streaming. I'm just a scab, buddy. Just a scab, buddy. Don't play with me, please. Ooh. Uh that ain't really worth much i'm skipping on it oh no armor repair there all right we're gonna dip off the depot and then get the hell out of here check this bag real quick we'll check the uh the cash underneath the train since we don't really have a good run this is like Crappy crap crap. It was a scab. At first, I didn't know if it was a scab or not, but it was definitely a scab. Four hours? Yeah, I guess I did for four hours. Okay. I've only been streaming for fucking five, so what are you, what are you talking about? I started I started streaming right after I put that shit on the porch. Oh, dang it, I went the wrong way. Oh. What? I don't see the barrel. Where is it? Did I go too far down? Damn it. I did. Shit. It's 
right here. Dang it. Um, I don't think that's really worth it. I think that's actually kind of cheap. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see, though. If I, uh, if I don't find anything good, then it'll end up coming back to the hideout with me, but... Oh, oh. Shit. I don't exactly know where that was. I need to hear it again. Don't know where it was. fighting right there by old gas i'm out i'm out i don't want none of that i ain't got no night vision or anything fuck that shit i'm outie yeah 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 i'm scab i'm a scab bro just a scab bro Get off the rock! Oh my god! Just a scab, just a scab! I'm just trying to loot! Damn, no fucking repair kit. Son of a bitch! All right, let's get the fuck out of here, dude. What's my extraction? So it's supposed to be scab checkpoint? Sweet. And that old gas station, man. Fuck that, bro. I'm not going to that fucking extraction. Fuck that shit, dude. I'm out. Let's go. I don't want no part of that fucking fighting. I ain't got enough ammo. I ain't got a good gun. Uh -oh. Who killed you, buddy? They fucking took everything off of you. That's for sure. Not a bad run. Just not a good run, neither. Okay. I, I didn't fucking care about that at all. Okay. <sighs> All right. Dude, okay, jeez, why wouldn't it fucking put it to the inventory? Shit. All right.
That's what I need to do. <laughs> yeah, we can play fast later. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down for sure. I need to go do a kitchen cooking stream <laughs> while I rat in Tarkov <laughs> like fucking stank rat. That shit be funny as hell. He's like, this is how you make a grilled cheese and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh shit, oh shit. And he runs back to the keyboard and mouse and then he snipes somebody. <laughs> oh my God. That shit makes me laugh so bad. <laughs> Oh, no, I fucking didn't, gamers. I fucking didn't, dude. I'm sorry. I fucking... I hit my bed, dude, and fucking fell asleep, man. As soon as I hit my bed. I didn't even eat, bro. I fucking turned on fucking YouTube, and I fucking passed the fuck out. I didn't even charge my fucking phone. But thankfully, after it watched a, uh, a YouTube video, it's not set to autoplay um so it just stopped the video and because nothing was happening on my phone the screen went off so it wasn't dead when i woke up thankfully i, I don't know how long you want to play fast for i guess it depends on how long you want to play for And, and do you have demonologist? I'm not gonna buy it. I was just asking if you have it. Oh, what the what the AK was he using? Bro. Oh, you can't sell that face shield on the fucking market. Oh shit, that's an armor class six. Oh, whoa, what's up with that? I gotta check into that. Oh, you have it? Okay, I'm down to play all night. Okay, I mean, 
I could switch in 15 minutes. Let me go take a bathroom break, walk a little bit. My knees are starting to hurt. So walk a minute, go take a piss, grab my other drink. Um, what else could I do so that, I, so that I don't have to get up for a while? Get a snack, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I ate pizza. I could probably grab one of the pieces of pizza that we had earlier and just microwave. Oh, air fryer. Why would I microwave? I need to stop using the fucking microwave, dude. Fucking piece of shit thing. Fucking hate that thing. All it does is ruin the nutrition of food, anyways. Impact me, baby. Yeah, yeah. I could throw my fucking pizza in. Grab my drink, go take a piss, walk back and forth from the living room to the kitchen real quick a couple of times, get my, my knees working out because they're starting to hurt. And then, yeah, we could play for fucking the next four hours, dude. I'm down. Totally down for Faz, dude. I'm t I was totally fucking digging Faz yesterday, man. I can't believe I fucking stopped playing that damn game, dude. The game is fucking awesome. I do want to sell this stuff real quick, though. Why did I put that back up there again? Damn it. I don't know if you could buy the I think you could buy the cheese 36. My, my bad, dude. I like how he says to people like my bad and then he still kills them when they come out thinking he's safe and like he's friendly. I heard you open the safe. Is he on labs right now? Demonologist? Yeah, you did hear demonologist. You did. Uh, Gamers is trying to get me to play it, but I'm a cheap bastard and I haven't played or watched any videos on the game, so I won't pay for it. I, I, my my money is very, very, very tight and I, I can't spend money on stuff unless I know I'm going to get some enjoyment out of it because I, I have to get the value for my money because my money is very limited. Uh, $476 is what? $476. Oh, wait, what am, what am I doing? $476. $476 is about 70. Okay. Damn. Now, nah, hopefully, I make money off that. I don't, I'm not watching my market. I played it. I'd be down to play it if you end up getting it. It's so worth it to watch the stream vids and to look up YouTube vids for it. I mean, yeah, I can, I can, I can check it out. And what'd you say? How much did it cost? $10 or something like that? My next check should, should be very good. I have, plenty of overtime um i have overtime on this check but it wasn't as good um because i missed a day the week before um i had to address um a whole bunch of stuff um it's for sale now in in, in steam okay okay um well i got all this stuff this stuff on the market and sold so um I should be good now. Uh, I'm sitting very, very comfortable. Uh, very comfortable 23.7 million. So I'm happy with that. I could end the night on Tarkov for that.
all right here this is what i'm gonna do let me go to youtube and find another stank rat video because i can't watch landmark i or, or should I, I should say i can't watch landmark um like in in like pop out you know what i mean without like without like actually watching it i like to actually watch his gameplay i like watching stank rat like his gameplay or him just fucking talking because he's fucking funny as hell um let's see i need to find a, at least yeah 14 that yeah, fuck it 14 is good all right so let's pause that and what do i need to do uh all right i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab my drink put a piece of pizza in the air fryer take a piss and walk around for a second i'll be right back I'll be right back. Did that kill him? <laughs> Who knows? What? <laughs> yeah, now he's still alive. Oh, I'm insured. I'm, I'll wait here all right, baby. We are wrecked. Yo, you a stamp? Yo, yo, what's up, dude? Hey, there's a PMC stuck in the med container. Really? You're just gonna sit there and wait for me? the most <laughs> he's so unaware this guy is the most unaware person i've ever seen in tarkov can we make him aware yeah he's aware now <laughs> yeah you aware now Neighbor ratting right now. <laughs> We're neighbor ratting. Yeah, rest in Parmesan, baby. They got no idea I'm here. Well. Oh, it's a it's a it's a third party. Scav down. <laughs> Who is this? Who the hell is in the other room? I have no idea who it is. Okay. He's going to go under two. He's not. This one's a little smarter. This one's a little smarter. Oh, he's just gonna loot him. Shit. Got him. We got locals. Scab down. Bitch down. <laughs> he said bitch down. Uh, okay, what the f is happening in this raid? Now we're back to the little 1v1 rat off here, okay? We still in the same... Oh, yo, yeah. We still in the same spot. This guy's still in here. We've been killing scabs together. I feel like we've bonded. We did it! Fucking rat! Get him! Goddamn traitor! Cheese standoff right now. <laughs> oh, he's out of... <laughs> he needs food. Stop! We have 
four minutes left. Cease fire! Cease fire! Hold your fire! Hold <laughs> yeah. your fire! <laughs> he's out. He's exhausted. He can't do nothing. Time draws near. We can get to our extraction in a minute 30 or less. Keep up! He's so dead. You know what? Oh, he got me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ratting is, you know, I have to remind people. People always say, oh, why do you rat? Just play the game normally. Yeah, well, do you not like to fish? Do you not like to hunt? Because that's what we're doing out here. Patience is, ki patience is king in Escape from Tarkov. Patience is king. Yeah, don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> the only problem with this bot, though, is that you get stuck. The tree is next to you, the bush is big, you can't get out of this bush easily. So if there's a two stack, you almost have to kind of like play it slow or something, I don't know. And let one pass and then the other, you kill the second one that goes through. Yeah, Chaz are angry. Well, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> It's time we move on now. So this guy, I don't know what he was doing. I respect the gun though. Okay. Now I wanted to just come forward with my height also because, you know, it's such a, I don't know, weird thing that everybody likes to talk about. I'm six foot tall, nine, like six foot vertical, nine, yep. nine horizontal. What is that? What does that mean? Do you want to explain six, it? Six vertical, nine horizontal. This video will chronicle our adventure from levels 1 to 20 on a brand new account during the first week of wipe and will take us all throughout Tarkov's ups and downs, early quests, intense PvP, and everything in between. I'm actually leaving you guys in the very capable hands of a sarcastic Brit for this one who's done some amazing edits for Pestily and other great channels while I simultaneously work on several other videos coming soon as well. This should be a pretty long and intense journey as we traverse Tarkov entirely solo on the main PMC and also get a few fun scav raids in with my live audience on Twitch, which by the way, if you're not already following me there, there's a link down in the description. Come say hi, hang out, and maybe even join one of these scav raids with me. Anyway, let's get started on woods and try to find the Saluas needed for therapists first task. What extracts you guys have? I have old station, but I don't want to just dip on you. Not gonna lie, I'm thinking about it because I spawned with a latch key and I need this pause. <laughs> Sorry for the short raid. Uh, I think we should get out of that labs key and maybe just run some fucking labs, honestly. I also needed that pause for skier, so it's kind of, it's actually quite nice. Where am I? I actually don't know where I am. Where is this? Is this my old station? Oh, it is. Okay.
a surgery kit. These are much harder to get. Really. Golden Star is just better, right? Might as well just fucking go get the letter and leave. <laughs> Don't you think? Oh, 3M? Are you kidding me? What? There's two AI? What is he doing? He's sniffing his butt? Yeah. Where is it? Upstairs? Yeah, it's here. Alright, I'm back. That's uh... Swamp Fox. What's he working on? Oh, it was nine months ago anyways. There we go. Alright, let's uh let's check out uh Steam here. We will see what's going in. I checked out uh the bearded baron and he uh Apparently, he's an official content creator for Demonologist as well. So I watched a little bit of that. And if he's playing, then I could I could see buying it could be worth it. Because, like, there's obviously good content there if he's, you know, still getting viewers and everything on his stream. And he's an official content creator, so... I could I could see that it's you know good game. Um I don't I don't want the oh there we go add to cart. I was like I don't want the demo. Do I not have credit card information on this? Are you fucking kidding me? You could privately send me that. What? <laughs> I said you could privately send me that information. <laughs> yeah, you can suck a fat dick. <laughs> I gotta go get up and get my credit card. Fuck. Just sat down. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, Hashtag check out with PayPal. Uh, I don't have a fuck. I mean, I do have a PayPal, but I don't fucking know that shit anymore. The fuck? Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, huh?
Okay. Ugh. All right. I have to turn. I have to turn off my camera. And no, I don't. It doesn't show. Okay, that's that's fine. I guess it doesn't show anything. As long as I keep steam way over here on the right side when I put this information in, it should be fine. All right. Ten whole dollars, bro. You're gonna be broke. Like ten That's that's exactly what I get for not fucking saving my payment information, though. I don't like saving my payment information. You ready to be scared? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be very very scared. Oh, I have to put in my phone number too. Damn. Eight eight seven seven cash now. Yeah, yeah, they want my fucking right arm, my firstborn. The fuck. Um. Damn, dude, eleven twelve. They didn't tell me about the tax. It says it's in your library. What's your, what's your point? What? I'm just saying. That $11 didn't seem to matter. No. I'm fucking downloading it. Sure. All right, starting download. There may be tax because it's on sale. No, I don't. I didn't care about the tax. I was just only complaining so that gamer could hear me complain. <laughs> the only reason why I complain. <laughs> I think I I hear enough complaining. I got a woman in the house. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I do whatever the fuck I want now. You know, it shouldn't be like that. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't have to worry about making my fucking partner upset because I want to live my fucking life. I know, Pastel. I know. I know you don't. I know you don't. You seem like you're normal. I don't, I don't live with you, so I don't know for sure, but... You seem very normal. I need a I need a normal one, or at least one that's as fucked up as me that don't want to deal with the the drama anymore. Something I don't know, but it doesn't matter anyways because I'm not looking at all. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy being single for a while. I work my ass off, take care of my shit, get the hell out of this place so that I, my my property taxes are lower because I'm paying more than three times the amount I would pay in property tax, like in a neighborhood, you know, like a normal neighborhood and not like this fucking community that fucking robs me for lot rent. The normal girl shit? Well, you can't say the normal 
the normal girl shit because the normal girl shit is not normal anymore. They think it's normal, but it's fucking not. Ow, Steam, that hurt my head. Wait, are we playing Demonologist or Fast? Oh. I don't, you said you had Demonology. You want to play it? You want to play it Fast? Well, it doesn't matter. I just I didn't don't... know which one to launch. I just bought it, so let's fucking play Demonologist, I guess. Might as well play a new game, huh? Is it, like, playing or not playing? Where the fuck is it? Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck? You're fucking loud! Stop it! Jesus Christ, what the fuck, man? Alright, where's the fucking settings? Because that needs to fucking go the fuck down. What? Uh. Yeah, let's turn that way the fuck down. All right. Okay. Hide cockroach in EMF. What? <laughs> fucking cockroach in EMF? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, the EMF reader is a cockroach. Oh. Okay. Um. You'll see when you you'll see when you play. Um. Yeah. Of course you can join Pastel. Of course. Nope. Sorry. Private lobby only. Cool kids. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy the single life for sure. For sure. And what people can turn off the cockroach because they're like grossed out by a cockroach or something. That's retarded. Um, I don't want to use fucking fidelity. Uh, yeah, turn it off. Um, I want it off, but, damn it, I don't like motion blur, fuck that shit. Um, off. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, gamer's a troll. Don't mind him. The fuck? I'm a troll? You are. Okay. You are a troll. Okay. All right, listen here, buddy. I'm a jester. There's a big difference. Listen here. I'm just saying. I mean, you're not like, uh, look, you're not, you're not like the, like the actual kind of troll, you know, you're saying like, I would be, I would be like, okay, yeah, he's a friendly troll, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're playing. I don't fucking know what I'm playing and how I'm playing it. What are we doing? How do we get into a game? What, what do I click? With this screen right here? You left click on this, or you click E on the screen. Oh, okay. Now what? Multiplayer. Okay. I'm making bottom a room? Right, it's just, no, bottom right, it should say join private lobby. Okay. 
And then you'll have to paste the thing I just did you. Make it this fucking difficult? Are you serious? You want me to read it out? I mean... I'm going there to fucking grab it. Paste. Join. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, allow access. You gotta fucking be on the fucking window. What the fuck is wrong with your guy? Why is he fucking naked? What? Why is your guy naked? He's not naked. Is that, is that you? Yeah. He's fucking naked. He's not naked. I got boxers on. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's still fucking... <laughs> <laughs> That's against Twitch terms of service. You gotta put a shirt on there, buddy. <laughs> say this. Say this. There. Say that. Say that. Beer. Oh shit! That was that was kind of sick. <laughs> All right, now what? And grab it. Uh, no. What? Give me beer. 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 Ah, uh, but doesn't work again. I, you can do this one. Yeah, no. All right, I didn't like to start, but all right, now now we're getting somewhere. That's still really loud. If I didn't turn the volume down, this would be like really obnoxious. I gotta turn it down some more. Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I like classical not better, but okay. Ooh, can I kick the cat? Oh, I can grab it? Oh no, I can only pet it. I wasn't like really wanting to kick the cat, but like I didn't know if it was a vicious cat or something, but okay. I was figuring a demon a demon game it was gonna be a vicious cat and I was gonna go near it and it's gonna be like Aah! and try to attack me. Forgot how uh, broke I am in this game. Oh. So we're gonna be fucking like not having fun? We're gonna be not having a lot of sh use okay damn i thought you wasn't like a a boss like me and faz no i haven't played this i'm only level 14 you can get that after like 10 games wow there's a tub in the og lobby so what we're playing on like the new updated lobby uh, no, my safe house is fancier. This, then, this is just the bar or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. You ready? I, I guess so. Hey, you got a ready up on the screen. Oh. Oh, yeah. So don't have the game on your stream. Yeah, yeah. It will have to be adjusted. Um, Can you play this in ultra wide? I, I didn't ask. Yeah, it's in ultra wide. Yes. I'm definitely happy about that because I don't want to play anything unless it's in super ultra wide anymore. Here we go. All right, That's fixed. Okay, other OBS. Eating your rice crispies. I got that pizza, man. It was good. Yeah, I had two Jimmy Dean's breakfast sandwiches. Ooh, that sounds good too. Uh, 
All right, I gotta change my stream titles. Hold on. All right, I gotta change my stream titles. Oh my god, why? Stupid fucking kick. Oh my god, why? Stupid fucking kick. Doesn't save my fucking mute settings. Fucking go to my stream, like my dashboard. So fucking annoying. Demon knowledge list. Save. YouTube. Content creation. Okay. Obia? What? Is what? Is there not a category for this? Okay, apparently YouTube is staying on Tarkov. What? Oh fuck it, let's put on Phasmophobia, right? Just put on Phasmophobia. Very fucking alike. I just realized this is one fat ass cat. Jesus Christ. Did you see how fat this cat is? A fucking raccoon. The safe house lobby starts at the house, then you can buy the bar, lighthouse, and the new safe house. Ah, okay. Alright, now that I'm... Oh. Ready. Okay. I think this is the second map. I don't really know. I didn't know which one was the first oh, one, so whatever. This is the first one. What is it loading? Duke! Yo, what's up, what's up? Hoping to get past Ellen here soon. So she can uh, play some uh, demonologist. All right, so um, where's the canvas? Okay, I want the canvas because it's like the book. Where's the EMF? EMF, EMF, this? Yeah, that's the EMF. Uh, what the fuck is that? What? This brown thingy. Uh, that is like the, uh, well, what you call it? Fuck it. I didn't want a candy bar. The dots, like the dots projector. Okay, what's this little pocket watch looking thing? That's UV. UV, okay, okay. What's, what's this? Can we hold a light? Yeah, the flashlight's right there. And we can, like, this just automatic, or... Uh, no, not that. That's not a lamp. That's that's a UV lamp, I think. Oh. I don't know what all these tools do. Ninety percent. Oh, well, how do I? Okay. Okay. Right. This, this is the flash. Yeah, yeah, that's UV right there. Yeah, yeah. That's how do, plasm. How do I put it back? Uh, you just G to drop. Well, I know that. What's this? I don't, I don't think you can place. What's this? Ectoplasm. What's that do? Uh, it's like demon liquid on the wall. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, we need it. We need it for some of the objectives. Okay. 
So it's the same thing. If you click J, you pull up your like journal menu. Yep. Oh well, that's that's got to change then. Hold on. Settings, controls, J, tab. Okay. Here we go. That's that's good. Uh, escape works good. Okay. Uh, what what did what did you grab? I grabbed light. Uh, uh, what you call it? Spirit box, and then I'm gonna grab a uh, EMF. EMF. So I got an EMF, a plasma thingy, and a canvas. Now I'm gonna take a flashlight. Where's the flashlight? It's literally right there, right next to crucifix. Oh, it looks like a fucking pipe. Yeah. Can't. Why can't I? Get you it. Have three things? Oh, I got. What the fuck? Bullshit. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. Alright, sprint is run. Okay. Oh, that's sick. I like the graphics. What was that, bro? A flying piece of paper? Leaf? I don't look, know. Looked like it had some life to it. That was weird. Wait, I didn't check to see what the lady's name was. I don't know. Yeah, there's uh, apparently a lot more jump scares in this game, so that's pretty cool. Oh, fuck! Blinded me! Son of a bitch! Yeah. Ugh, I wasn't ready for the light in my face, thanks. You're welcome. Oh, hey, look, is that a real ghosty or just a prop? It looks like a prop. prop. Something sounds like it's upstairs. How do you open doors? E? Okay, okay. Do you use the... Does it just work? Wait, oh, I just closed the door. Oh, yeah, three. Oh, it's angry. Yeah, because it's going to try to kill me because I'm a fucking Phasmophobia pro and it Where wants to kill me. Where are you? Are you close? You can throw it at the door just like our other EMF, right? Where are you? Yeah, I have it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, we can prop it on the door, but like we do in Vaz. For the EMF? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Edgy just point it in a direction. Well, duh, that's what we do on Vaz. Yeah. Alright. Okay, read that, read that sign. Oh, what? Read that. Do you want to play a game with me? Ball, dummy. What? Ball. Ball? Yeah, the ball in the picture. Hey, fuck the ball. I wanted to play a game. Do you want to play ball with me? Okay, it's a kid. Okay. Whoa. Also, okay. for um. A four on the chair. Spirit box? I don't know. For spirit box, you don't have to turn off uh, lights. You motherfucking bitch! Okay, I got scared. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was awesome. She shot the fuck out of me. Are you here? Where are you? Are you close? I enjoyed that. Five. Five. Oh, nice. Five. All right. Yeah. So. Evidence. Evidence. Okay. Uh, where EMF? Okay. All right. So there's a lot of the ghosts that are the same. Okay. Okay. All right, well, all the the same. well, I don't need this fucking thing no more, right? So let's put it, let's put it on the door since you moved yours. So we know, maybe? Are you close? No, there's no, you? there's no crouching? Uh, yeah, control. Oh, control? What? Well, that's got to change too. 
Uh, controls. Nope, that's not where I want. Settings. Are you here? Left control. Where are you? C. Are you close? Back, back. How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? So how do I place this, right? Where are you? Are you close? How do I place this? Uh, at, try F. Try, this shuts off my flashlight. Okay, so I think it's spirit box because it pulled up the little ghosty symbol and kind of talked. Oh, it's G. Okay. Hey, where we go? Oh, there it is. Can you write on the canvas? I'm gonna go see, uh, grab some other stuff. Alright, I'll come with you and grab some stuff too. Oh, the running is funny. <laughs> got scared with the jump scare huh yeah yeah i did it startled me i mean i wasn't scared it just startled me i wasn't expecting it it was good i enjoyed it shit e crucifix i enjoyed it i thought it was hilarious Hallway ghost? Yeah, yeah, hallway ghost. So does the ghost hunt based off of the same way Faz does off the adjacent room or, or just in the room or what? I think it's just the room, but I don't know. I've not played enough to really get that in depth. Wait, they opened the upstairs to this house now? Oh, that's so fucked. Alright, I'll explore next time. They used to be blocked off. You used to not be able to go upstairs. Cool. Like that they're progressing. Yeah, they added a map. I haven't played either. Yeah, there's four. How do I do? I do I keep the crucifix on me? Or do I put it on the ground? Uh, you can hold the crucifix in this one. If you hold it, the ghost goes away, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, like if it's chasing you, it'll eat the crucifix. The ghost can haunt in the rooms in the hallway. So like the rooms connected to the hallway. Probably. Up or downstairs. Love the new map. Okay. Oh, hey, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't say to shut that door. So what is it just open mic to the to the ghost or do I have to push to push to talk? Uh no, I think the ghost in this can hear you at all times. Oh sick. Yeah. The ghost can I can't hear you, but the ghost can all the times. So. Yeah, yeah. I didn't push to talk to uh talk in the spirit box. Oh, the room's or in the hallway. Okay. like no idea what to do or how to do anything so i'm just like kind of like just obser observing for the most part i guess what is this little clocky thingy again it's like the dots projector oh okay gotcha i think i don't i don't know i've never actually seen it work all right well we're gonna have passed out here soon so she can explain all this shit to us and let us know what the fuck going on. hey what are you doing you in there Are you breathing at me right now? That's what the fuck, bro? What? What? Why are you in my ear? She's like, she's like ASMR fucking my ear right now. What the fuck? I can read. What? I can't read it. Victoria? Is that what it says? Oh, it's on the top. Oh, whoa. Okay. That's cool. Anger? Are you angry? You're ugly. Wow. At least that fucking skull. Okay. 
All right then. <laughs> okay. I guess this is where we're going. Uh, dream. Where's my crucifix? Okay. Stop messing with my crucifix. Why do I keep putting the crucifix down for? Why did that get all foggy and smoky over there? What the fuck? Alright, the music's alright. Okay, okay. The ghost can hear you all the time. There's active proximity, bleh, proximity chat in game, so you don't have to use Discord and can hear the ghost of killed players too. Oh, okay. So we don't need Discord, apparently. But there's also a push to talk. So push to talk is what? Like the radio? I think it's free. Hey, yeah, look, the Ouija board. Oh, it's a Ouija. It activates. I don't fucking like cursed items, so that's... Uh, Magna? Is that your man? You were fucking ugly. Ew. Okay. 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 Yes. Manifest. Can you write for us? Show yourself. Canvas? Can you write on the canvas? Paint me a picture. Can you draw? You can use push to talk in game, yes, but the ghost will hear everything you say even on push to talk. Yeah, okay, okay. You are walking into a room or near an object or wall, so the game will have your arm lower when walking through the doorway or near the wall. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it's automatically because I'm near. Oh, okay, so I can see. Oh, okay, so it's auto. Gotcha. <sighs> Hallway ghost and you're being shy. Why is it being shy? What kind of ghost do we have? Evidence. So let's see. There's shade, but it's they can't be a shade. Hey. Oh, we have EMF and spirit box. Oh, we have spirit box. I didn't even remember that. Okay, yokai. It should be hunt, should have hunted us by now, right? And I don't know what a a badan is or a boogie. Uh, bogey or the boogie and the yokai. They don't have any data on. Okay, so this it's not ectoplasma. It could be the ghost reaction. It could be freezing. It could be the easel. And no fingerprint. Okay, so this is useless. Okay. So, freezing. Don't know how to do that. We have a canvas and ghost reaction. I don't know what that means entirely. So you... DSG is this thing. Oh, the dots? Uh, yeah. I don't... I don't exactly know how it's used. Okay. Uh... Go Let's go grab the other canvas and the other... Okay. Uh... So... Your inventory items are still there when you get close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that already. Can't see... You're close to something. Okay. Um, the Abaddon is a type of demon, and Boogie is an entity that is neither human or demon, but has no info, and when it hunts... Oh, run. Okay, so... Get the fuck out of Dodge, Ghost. Okay. Gotcha. 
Damn, I should have left my crucifix at the fucking door. Damn it. Well, I'll grab the other crucifix. Yeah, what I is... Think only, I think it only works if you have it in your hand anyway. Okay, so we are we already... Alright, so we already have the... the anything. Oh, the dots? Yeah, I'm gonna put one towards the other end. Okay. I'm gonna stand the dots. Okay. I have that thing in the hallway, so... I don't know. I didn't know if you needed two or not, so I was just, yeah. The ESG is best used with a video camera so that you can watch for a ghost to appear near or above it. Ah. Uh, yeah, we don't have a video camera. He's a broke bastard, so we came in here to die, basically. Oh, shit. Oh wait, let me get the ghost hold. The what? The ghost name. It would probably help if we knew the ghost name to piss it off. You can't just look on the fucking uh What? Adnan Harvey. Even if someone's next to you it will respond. Admin Harvey? Adnan. A N or A D N A N. Weird name, but okay. Yeah, uh, we have 60, 66-ish percent health. Sanity, not health. Okay. It should be these. The game is really dark. Does it need my night setting for fucking the stream? <clears throat> is it too dark or? Well, I'm, I'm asking Pastel because she's watching it. Well, I'm watching it too. What do you mean? Looks fine. Oh, yeah, I'm not watching it. I only see it in a little screen on this down OBS. Well, I've got it on a second monitor. Okay. All right. Oh, chill. Is it fingerprints? No, it can't be fingerprints. Is that impossible? Yeah, and the ectoplasma is impossible too. Oh, okay. Add in. You in the fucking wall, bro? The fuck? Manifest. Show yourself. Paint a picture. Do you want to build a snowman? Okay. I don't know what the fuck he just said. I don't know. Do you want to build a snowman? Manifest. Show yourself. Where are you? Paint a picture. Draw on the easel. You're in manifest. <clears throat> Add in. <laughs> Look at my crucifix. It's all trippy. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was scratching with it. That's all. <laughs> Adnan, where are you? There's a light switch. Right in f behind this. Oh. I was looking for the. Yeah, I was looking. There is one. What do you throw? What? What do you throw? 
some over here. Now nah, you're fucking with me. Like, I'm going one way and then you're. Oh, hey, what's up, homie? Yo, paint us a picture. You don't want to throw a picture? You want to get drunk? Oh, hey, what's up, homie? You was a big ass, fat looking weird cow thing. Wait, wait, wait. Uh oh. Is that what the ESG does? Ah, ah, bro, why are you in my face like that? You was ugly. All right, so that's the manifest dots thingy, right? I think that that is right there. Where? What? You you didn't see it just pop up above? Yeah, I did. But that was yeah. before. I was in my journal. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so what's that? The ESG ghost reaction, right? Yeah, it's a boogie. Okay, or we should get the fuck out of here, I think. Because he's really fucking working on some shit now, bro. All right. I think that was a success, right? Uh, yeah. After you pick the ghost, though, you get, uh, like, any challenges. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. That is an ESG and a ghost even all in one. Yeah, I just got all of it. All of it. Yeah, that's a... So we got to select a boogie? Yeah, so we select the boogie and then additional objective show up. We collect the salt packs or perform the ritual. Okay. Put dead rats in a boiler. Or we can take the W and come back. I mean, I don't care. It's, it's whatever to me. I don't give a damn. I'm enjoying myself, I guess, so far. No real issues. The game ain't fucked up. It's working. Uh, streams running great. Uh, computers running great. Uh, yeah, we can do whatever, man. I don't care. No. Attack the type of ghost. Yeah. Okay. So how do I do that? How do I select it? You do it in your journal. Oh. Where your evidence is? Yeah. Confirm. There we go. Right. Cool. There we go. All right. Now we just got to go do this stuff. Yep. Do we get to see this on our fucking journal or do we have to fucking remember it? I th think we have to remember it. All right. That's a little annoying. Pentagram's simple. All we do is just stand in the circle. The circle? Well, in the, the pentagon. There'll be one, and it'll make, like, noise. Probably in ah. the kitchen. Ah, okay. Maybe it's... Oh, these are the salt banks. Oh, okay. Got You're that, taking, okay. Taking us is the pentagram, so we just stand in it. Oh, okay. And we wait until it ticks down. Okay. You got a, how do they got a camera in this house, dude? It's a TV with a camera somewhere, but this is like old as fuck. Oh, hey. Is there something in the room moving on the TV? Hunting. Yeah, it's right there. Huh? Burn my crucifix. All right, then. Now we need to find the rats and put them in the boiler. Um, where's the fucking boiler down in the basement? Well, we there's still salt bags. Well, we have the salt bags. What do we do with them? Again, I forgot. We, I think there's four or five of them. Oh, okay. We need to find rats. So if we find rats down here. Oh, yeah, there's a rat right. Yeah, there's a rat. There's rats. So maybe there's more than one. I think there's three.
three salt bags, three rats, and what's the other objective? Staying in the Pentagon thingy or whatever. Oh, the rat. Yeah, the ritual. Yeah, the ritual. Yeah. yeah two of them. So we got two salt bags and two rats. It's hunting. Oh, great. Yeah, you're crucif. Yeah, yeah. You got staying in the corner and I'll be defense. Yeah, you walk into them. All five fingers and take them into the basement? No, we, we don't have fingers. To the right. Okay, his hunts. Yeah, hunted. It ended before he hit me. Yeah, we have the uh, the pentagram ritual. We already did it, right? But that's still the fingers, or no? No, 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 no. There is no fingers. It's rats. Okay, rats. Okay, three rats, three salt bags, and fucking we already did the ritual. Okay. How the fuck do you know it's hunting? Um, you don't. Then how the fuck did you know? Front door closed right when I opened it. Oh, okay. The bad thing is, I don't know where the boiler is. The boilers in these older houses are usually in the basement. It's a furnace, you know that, right? No, 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 no. It's like a cauldron. Just sitting oh. in a room. Oh, okay. That's just not scary, okay? So calm it the fuck down. It's really fucking loud and annoying, ghosty. Now you know that for the next time you try to haunt someone, okay? Hey, it's right here. Yeah. There's two rat, a rat, and a salt bag. I got him. How do I do that? Pull the rat out, just like an item. Okay. E on it. Oop, I dropped it instead. Oh. Right behind you. Oh. I can only Six. pick... Yeah. I can only pick up one thing at a time or something? There is a finger on the ground here. Oh yeah, now there's fingers. The fingers are items you need to exercise the boogie. Okay. So, so I can only pick up one thing now? It's just like items. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, so she said take the fingers to the basement. Yeah. So, we need more of these things then. Yeah, we need more. There's another finger right here, I got it. Down in the basement. And they're and they're items. I got I got two. You got one, right? Yeah. Yeah. More? Yeah. Might as well take them to the basement while we got them, though. Yeah. I just was trying to get as many as we can before we got down there. Oh, you have another. That just scared the fucking shit out of me. There you go. There's another one. There. Drop my light. You have your huh? light still. Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Okay. Can't see sh Can't see shit. Where you going? I, 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 you, you, I, you can't see someone else's flashlight. What? Like I can see your light just a tad. Oh. Wow. It's not. It's not like. Okay, so one in each of the little pots. Is that what yeah. we're doing? Okay. Okay. We need one more. All right. Is did we? Did, I don't. I didn't think so. Uh, did we? Did we get uh, all the rats or no? Just two. Uh, I don't know. Can't see.
Okay, well, you definitely shouldn't be fucking dropping your fucking flashlight then. <laughs> I'm not going to anymore. Well, fucking, let's go back and get it. Can you see me shining it at you no, at least? I literally cannot see shit. That is fucking retarded. Okay, I see, like, your feet. When you're okay. aiming that way. Your flashlight, through, yeah, over here, right here. There, okay. Fuck, hey. That was ass. <laughs> Okay, that's good to know, though, that I can't utilize your fucking flashlight. I kind of, I kind of like that, though. That's kind of cool that you can't use someone else's flashlight. Um, I don't know. I'm looking everywhere, I guess. Oh, little girl, what's up? Hey, hey, where'd you going? Hey, come back. Come back. I don't know why the ghost doesn't make my hair stand up, but that little girl did. And something just really creepy about little kids. Oh, I found a finger? Yeah, I found a finger. I'm going to put it down there. Um, that's the wrong way. You were, just, you were just staring at me. I went downstairs. I don't fucking know this map yet. What do you fucking mean? Well, you, you were staring at me, so I was going to take you down here. Oh, I was fucking trying to figure it out, man. The only way you can see if you have no light and another player does would be to hold the UV lamp. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so now we need a rat and a salt bag, right? No, that's it. Oh, we're done? Yeah, the, the fingers are the last. Fingers. Oh, are gotcha. Finish the rest. Okay, gotcha. No. Not that way. All right, so that's a successful fucking mission? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Let's go. Take the, uh, what you call it, car. Huh? Oh, we get to jump in the car? The car from whatever the fuck TV show it is. It was indeed a boogie. Look at that. They're so good. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm a fucking pro at Faz. Like, come on. Are you serious here? Sounds ridiculous. Okay, back. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That TV show, Supernatural. Supernatural? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good show, man. Really good show. Oh, I'm sad. I'm going to be out of a vape. Oh, and I just spent $11 on this game, so I really can't fucking buy one now. Hey, man, I'll ship you one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks. It'll get here. It'll, it'll be dead. No battery. Fucking no liquid. <laughs> I have two batteries. <laughs> you you can send me one of your extra batteries? I don't ever use it. It just sits around. Uh, well, uh, I buy these $13 fucking Novo bars, and they're fucking seven days for me, dude. It's fucking cheap. I'm, actually, it's really cheap for me, but I just, I don't want to spend money. That's all. I'm trying to be as cheap as I possibly can so I can make sure bills are covered. I guess all my money goes to me and the children playing video games, so I have to pay for electric, and that's the important part, I guess, because that's my fluctuating uh, expense. And it's summertime, so I'm running the ACs a lot. Hey, man, my house is set to 62. My house is set to 70, because I don't have two incomes now, because before it was set to 60, but now it's set to 70. 
I can't take the chance. <clears throat> but everything's good, man. Like I said, I'm fucking getting overtime at work and hopefully my promotion is in two weeks and I'll be a full-fledged manager instead of manager in training. Because the only stuff I got to learn now is uh, the manager computer work because I learned every single thing else before I even became a manager in training because I wanted... Our difficulty. Care, dude, whatever. Um, but yeah, I learned, I learned everything. Cause that's just the way I am when I'm at work. I want to know everything. So I learned everything. And then I told my GM and she was like, what? And then they, uh, my current manager had to do, uh, training with the GM. So they were in the, uh, the stock room and doing stuff on the computer for like fucking two hours. And I managed the store and she was like, oh my God, I cannot fucking believe that. I was fucking sleeping on you and didn't know that you were fucking able to do all this stuff and you managed the store fucking great and it was fucking busy as fuck. I was jumping all over the place making sure shit was good and she was like, wow, I am so happy that I promoted you. I was like, fuck, me too. <laughs> I need that fucking extra money. All right, so you put it on medium. Oh, I got it ready now since you did that, huh? There we go. Wait, what? Oh, no, I was ready. What? Oh, sorry. I, I was trying. I was, I was past out coming. She playing later. Wait, what? You were passed out? I, I was asking if Pastel's playing. Oh. Or she coming later. Yeah, I don't know. Are you going to play past hour or are you still busy? On my way. Almost done fixing OBS. Nice. Are you going to stream or, or no? Uh, one more match. We can play another one if you want to just kind of like take it easy and not rush. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Whatever. You'll be streaming? Hell yeah. Yes. This is the first test, right? You haven't tested it or anything like that yet? All right, so we're doing, doing one and another? Yeah, we'll do another and then she should be ready. And I hope it fucking goes well for her. Oh my God. Oh, really do. Um, okay, so we always want to start with the book or the easel. The sub badges I made on Kavan are done downloading, so I have to upload them to kick. Okay, cool, cool, nice. What is what is this bottle thingy? Sanity pills. Oh, okay. I don't need it says on the label. Bro, I'm not reading, and where does it say sanity pills? Like, I can't see that shit. Right on the front. I can't read it. What do you mean you, you can't read where it says sanity pills next to the picture of the brain? No. I, I, dude, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, maybe it's my super ultra wide. I don't fucking know. The fuck? Anyways, we don't need EMF right away. So let's grab that. I got a flashlight. All right. Um, his name okay. is Everett, Everett Edwards, and he only answers if we're alone. Okay, so the loan and together thing. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Where's my fucking my flashlight? Flashlight, flashlight, okay. No, 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 he's just gonna play the game without, without sanity pills. Uh, nah, I'm not. Fuck the sanity pills. I might use them depending, but as of right now, I'm gonna act as if it's like fast. I don't use yeah, sanity on, pills. On hard, it's going to take you forever to get. I mean, I'm going to have to learn. So I'm going to learn. That's just what it is, you know? I'll learn. Uh, it's all good. I like it. I like learning. Uh, well, that's, I keep pressing fucking F, man. Fucking stupid Tarkov. Is 
this is also why I don't like learning multiple games at once because my fucking brain does buttons for other things and it's annoying. And opening doors on Faz is just left click and swinging them. So it's so much different. Everett? Everett? Everett, are you here? Why does a cockroach move? It moves when you move. Ah, okay. That's what I was wondering. Shit myself. <laughs> Did it jump you? Uh, the, uh, the, the demon engulfed itself where the dress was and started running after me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Everett? Are you here? Everett, are you here? I don't know the voice commands for this thing either, so I don't know what works. Like, are you friendly? <laughs> Everett, are you here? Where are you? Where? What'd you, what'd you throw? A three? Okay. Hallway ghost again? Yeah, I got a EMF down here too. Go. I didn't really want to call an EMF or call yeah. hallway ghost because. Yeah, I got I got canvas down. EMF five. EMF five, yep. All right, here, go into a bedroom for a second. Yeah, hey, I'm up. Oh. Are you here? Where are you? Are you close? Everett, are you here? Where are you? Close. Where are you? Are you here? Okay, that was a light. Are you? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Speak to me. All right, I'm gonna go grab some more stuff. Don't don't think it's spirit box. Dun, dun, I don't need, how do I use this thing? I uh, just right click it. Or left click it, not right click. And you like. Oh. What is that? Oh, hey, look, you got ectoplasm stains. Yeah. Nice. So oh, that's okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, 
possible fingerprints no no easel no freezing no spirit box so we got ghost reaction or fingerprint all right i'm gonna go grab a uv uh, i have one right here oh all right uh, i'm gonna go grab a crucifix Well, the evidence is easy, I guess. I don't, I don't know for sure, but I feel like it's pretty easy. So, so the difficulties are baby mode, just like Phasmophobia. I need to play on the most difficult, apparently, already. Don't feel like this is very difficult. We're still in the uh, 70s to 80, so we're good on sanity. What's the refill rate on the sanity pills? that i have no idea okay i'm sure that pastel will let us know so i need um the esg or fingerprints okay esg not bsg <laughs> battle state games it's stuck in my head that's hilarious Okay, UV. I bought this thing. That camera? Yeah. Okay, okay. UV. Alright, let's shut some doors. Oh, UV. I'm coming, shut I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, he opened it too. Fingers. Oh, hey. Hell yeah. Fingers. It's a wraith. Yep, confirm selection. Let's go. He's behind you. No, you gotta grab those. You gotta press E on them when they go by you. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, I missed it. I got it. I got one. Got it. Got it. Got it. I don't know. I should have looked at all of our objectives. Fuck. Nah, we're going back out now, so we're, we'll grab it. No biggie. I'm liking this, though. I'm liking the graphics, except for your fucking stupid ass head. Yo. You don't like my nose, man? Look at it. No, I don't like your hair that fucking is green and weird and glitchy for the graphics. I don't know why. I don't know why it looks weird, but it does. Have the ghost blow out a candle. All right. Well, we don't have a candle. Well, that fucking sucks. Oh, say so. We collected ghost orbs and we need the rats. Okay. Yeah, and then after that, we can just leave. Uh, sanity pills. Should we use them just because we have them, or? Uh, I'll use one. Okay, cool. Let's uh, use some sanity pills. It went up at least 25. We'll see if mine goes up 30. It does. All right. All right, let's go get these fucking rats and put them in the boiler. It can be at like zero through 25 and get back to 50, 75. So it's 25. But if I'm at like 50 through 80, I get full sanity back. Oh, so it's all fucking glitchy. Okay. Okay, that's weird. So the lower... Oh, you know what it is? It's on a variable rate that if you have lower sanity, it gives you less. But if you're at higher, it gives you more. Huh. Interesting. So I have a rat and a crucifix. So I need to go drop it in the boiler, which is where again? Where, where? In the kitchen. Uh, kitchen? Yep. Or the workshop. Workshop. The in the right before the main hallway. First door to the left. Main hallway. Ghost room right now. That hallway. The first door on the left. Gotcha. Oh, I don't. But I see it now. Okay. Not? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, we're good. There's one. Uh, I'm gonna check this room. It might have something. Uh, nope. The, the fucking light on fucking glass and mirrors is fucking absurd. Oh my god. It blinds the fuck out of me. If you're going upstairs, I'll go downstairs, I guess. 
got lost though, so that was great. Found another rat. Nice. On the TV in that living room going nuts. Yeah, I just came over here to check it out. Hey man, I get the voodoo doll. You wanna play with it? Mm, nah, I'm good. I'm not really a big fan of the cursed items. All right, there's another rat in there. Is that all of them? Should be. Did it disappear? I don't know. Did you throw one in there? Uh, I, I threw one. I, I couldn't find the other one. I threw two. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's three. Then. And we need fingers now, right? Oh, we can't do the other objective, so we have to leave. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's go. That sucks. All right, ghost event. Reverse that, but yes. The lower the sanity, the more you get back. The higher the sanity, the less amount of sanity you get back, unless it gets you back to full sanity. Yeah, it's weird. Huh? huh? See what the voodoo doll looks like. Oh, cool. We made it hunt when we left. Oh, that's cool. I like the voodoo doll. It was pretty cool. Sure I'm all. Completed before we go to the car. I'm gonna take it home with me. Yep. Have the ghost blow out the. Cool. All right. Well, we can't do that. So let's giddy up. Unless there's a candle that spawns on the map, but I think you have to buy the candle. I mean, does the candle auto light or do you need a lighter? Oh, I need a lighter. I don't know. If... I don't remember seeing a lighter or a candle on the thingy. Okay. Do we just stand here and wait? Ask Pastel if a uh, candle spawn on the map or you have to buy them. Uh, do you have to buy candles and lighters or just candles or can you find candles in the house pastel or what? Ooh, I turned the AC off. I got cold. Chillies. No lighters in this game, but you have to buy candles. Yes, in the item shop. Okay. Okay, can't do that. I can leave that. Cool. Cool, cool. So that, that's like uh, FAS, so where we still get objective money, right? Yep. Yeah, we still got money for it. It's on the screen. Yeah, yeah yep, I see it. Cool. Cool. Nice. Sick. Like it. The the UI and interfacing with stuff and everything is a little bit different, but not too bad. Not too bad. And I do like the the, the updated graphics though. Like you know, like phasmophobia to me seems like really uh, old and bland and cartoony. Where I mean, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this one, it doesn't. Like, I hate your character. Like, I think the characters look like poop, but I do like the rest of the game look. I mean, I can change. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just like the, the naked green hair masked all in one combination is fucking annoying. It makes the game look stupid. But other than that, I like I like the more realism in terms of graphics, so it looks really good. Give me beer. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> so now this is the shop right here. 
Is that what that says? Customize character? There. Now how do I look? Uh, I mean, better. I still don't like the fucking green hair, but okay. It definitely looks a lot fucking better. Um, how much money do I have? Okay, thirty nine hundred. Um. Oh whoa. Oh, I hear those are the houses. Okay. Customize safe house. Okay, so I can buy the cat. Or the chicken, or the doggy, or the turtle, or the flamingo? Really? A f fucking flamingo? Really? Okay. Elvis? Really? I can put a sports brawl on my dude? Really? <laughs> okay. Why don't I get like a preview on my dude? What's up with that? You do. You click customize character. That's just to buy the items. Right top, bottom right. Uh, okay. But I don't have anything. I don't have any items. Here. Do I look, do I look normal now? Black socks. I like these shoes. Buy buy different shoes then. Zoom out for my color. Fucking white. Fucking no sun having motherfucker anyways. What? Yeah. 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 Let's see. That's a lot better. A lot better. But where? Uh -uh. <laughs> Go boot. Me the boots, okay. Or body, jogging pants, suit pants, leggings, jeans, baggy, cargo pants, jeans. Um, let's have a button up shirt, crop top, a sweater, hoodie. Here, um, are you in male items or female? Fucking no. Off to the left, top left. Apparently, I was fucking in the female. Bought some female boots. <laughs> Hilarious. Shoes, dress shoes, boots. Shorts, cargo pants, suit pants. I understand. With the jeans baggy, that's fine. Yeah. Shirt. What was a hood? Lower hood. Thank you, jeans at all. The monk character is a dude. What if I want to wear female jeans?
There we go. Put that. All right, you ready, Pasto? And I want to make sure her stream is running good as well. Kick. In Uasha? <laughs> nice. For some reason, there is a rabbit hole of you when actually on kick. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta do your phone number. Fucking, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not too bad. I was having issues with adding my phone number for a minute, but I figured it out. It was kind of irritating to figure out how to get the phone number added. You gotta add your bank information and whatnot. My second day as affiliate, I fucking made money already. I was like, man, what the fuck, man? I got affiliate on Twitch and I didn't get fucking no money on Twitch for a long time. I mean, I had donations and stuff on Twitch, but not, you know, subs. Yeah, Stripe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, and you get on? Is that Eastern Standard? Oh, it's Central Time. Central is one hour before, right? So that means that you'd be on before I get on, and then be on the whole time I'm on. Nice. Cool. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, oh shit, 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. You do longer streams too? Nice! Cool. Oh yeah, I'm down to play with you on the days that you're you're playing, for sure. I mean, I can't guarantee I'll always pay, play Demonologist, but if you get into Tarkov, well, remember, I told you that if you're going to write down a schedule, you need to try to be consistent with it. I understand the PC crash thing. But hopefully we sorted that out and then you can play stream. I hope hopefully it all works out. But for for that matter, I would I guess that I would try to not have a schedule, which really sucks because as soon as people that want to like fall into a stream and be a part of it they like seeing a schedule so the moment they don't they don't see a schedule they kind of just don't even care you know what i mean like they won't stick around for long they probably won't even follow they'll probably just check you out at, at that moment and then move on <clears throat>
Um, we'll give her an, another match. Let's play another one and we'll see where she's at at that point. These matches don't seem like they take too long. We uh, got Candle on there now. Okay, cool. No, man, no candle. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, you're good, Pastel. Don't worry about it. Like I said, we'll play another one. No biggie. All right, we're doing hard. Okay. Oh, I got to fucking ready up again. There we go. I'm gonna grab a Dr. Pepper while it starts. Alrighty. Vote for a map before starting. Well, that was stupid. What? I had started it. I had to vote for the map first. Oh. Ugh. All right. Easel. Um. That. MF. Oh, I didn't bring a fucking light. So, bitch. I like the little cockroach. Why would someone turn that off? He's my he's like my little buddy. You in the house already? No, I was reading the sign. Sandra Brooks. Sandra Brooks. Sandra, Sandra. Brooks. Brooks. Whatever. Sandra. Where are you? Sandra. She also responds to everybody near. Okay. Sandra. Oh, hello. You in here? You're laughing at me. But are you in here? Okay, the laughing gave me the fucking creepies. Okay. Where'd you go? I'm in the dress room. Sandra. Sandra Brooks, where are you? Sandra. You don't like the light, huh? Sandra. Sandra. Sandra Brooks, where are you? Look, I got nowhere to run, Sandra. Come on. Where are you? Ouija board in the kitchen. Sandra. Sandra, are you here? Sandra, are you here? A lot out of the bed. EMF three. In that bedroom? Yeah. She was she was I was about to leave and she fucking did an event. Sandra, you here? in this room? Yeah. 
down. So, Sandra, are you here? Where are you? Are you close? Show yourself. And you're ugly. How old are you? Close. Where are you? I'll just crack the... Alright, go get some more stuff. Okay. Cool. Fucking creepy little girl, dude. Uh, you have five? Is that where you got? On the door, EMF5. Sandra, are you here? Sandra, are you here? Sandra, where are you? Oh, it's freezing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you really failed to scare me considering the fact that I was in my journal. Oh shit, what's happening? Why am I in a cutscene? Oh, you died. I died? Yep. Oh, bro. Trevor, yo, what's up, what's up? Do I fucking died? What the fuck? That bitch killed me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> fucking bitch. She's a fucking bitch. Damn, I'm a dead man. That sucks. Not cool. Not cool, Sandra. We lost sanity fast as shit. Oh? So... Oh, has been observed less active than other ghosts. Hmm. Mayor? Oh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, uh, be aggressive, put out the fire before hunting, once and see where its prey is, even distance, you're close enough to hear it, use words. Oh, quickly reduce sanity, yeah. EMF 5 and freezing. 
freezing Oni mare. Yeah. What's... Likes to talk, though it's been observed to be less active than other ghosts. All right. And what was the last one? An Abad Abaddon? Yeah. Um. So, uh, spirit box, um, or fingerprint. It wasn't or... spirit box. It wouldn't talk to me. Okay, so then, yeah, it sounds like Oni then, right? Mare, um, doesn't like the fire, right? Um, there's someone nearby, it will not want to hunt. Oh, it hunted it right on us, so it's not a mare. Seems like an Oni. Yeah, that would be my guess. I can't select shit. Okay, gotcha. Um, so Oni is um fingerprint. <sighs> what you been up to, Trevor? I was playing Tarkov. I I pushed myself past twenty one mil. Sold three armor repair kits. Sold a whole bunch of other stuff in my inventory. Inventory's looking pretty good. Definitely happy happy with the 21 mil that I got. That's fucking epic. Got got that uh I got that uh big boy SAG AK four five four five back too. That was pretty cool. Got that redut back too that I swapped out for that uh more right? that class five more or something whatever that you dropped for me to pick up. So that was pretty cool. And then I play I started playing demonologist. I've been playing it for Oh, about an hour and 40 minutes. Pretty decent, like Phasmophobia, you know, just a ghost hunting game. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's been entertaining for the last hour and 45 minutes, so I can't complain there. Boiler in that room? Uh, no. I heard that you found it. did it is in the room next door you just were or where you are nice what'd you get for objectives rats and what else rat lost no and i didn't read the last gotcha yeah i like the graphics on this one man it's pretty pretty decent i'd have to say And uh, Demonologist also supports Super Ultra Wide, so I'm happy about that. Are you playing Tarkov in Ultra Wide? Yes. Super Ultra Wide? Yes. Not that. Why? What? Why not? Why would I not play it in Super Ultra Wide? Play, I played Ultra Wide. And it wasn't that great. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it. I played in super ultra wide and it's amazing to me.
right, where? Where is the last fucking rat? I like the uh the house sounds as well. They're better than fast for sure. Apparently I'm fucking blind. Find it? No, I can't find this last rat. Alright. Uh can I help? Would I be able to oh. see it? I don't know if I can help you look or anything. I don't know what I can do as a ghost. Uh, you can should be able to look around and talk to. I need the note. Did you find the note? Yep, I got the note. You need to go find out what the last objective is now. Sweet, sweet. I think it was candle, but I don't remember. Yeah, have the blow ghost blow out the candle. <laughs> nice. Sandra, can you blow out the candle? Sandra, blow me. <laughs> How did I know that was coming? <laughs> the candle you stupid cunt blow out the candle give me a blowy right here just go <laughs> right on his asshole. <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> she was like, nope. Not blowing your asshole. <laughs> that was good. Man, I'm so close to being in such a good spot for death, man. Too bad I didn't end up underneath the dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need, man. Some 
dress addicted wearing female ah oh, that'd be that'd be the life for me all, all tatted up yeah that's that's good too yeah tatted up yeah i like tats man sure we oh, we heard yesterday <laughs> simping and drooling yeah 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 it was a little bit yeah i fucking made 40 dollars damn upsetting that i died all right pass out how's it coming along Already 3k and level 2. Nice. Hey. Oh, I hurt my back. I got like, like, you know, like a, like a cramp-ish. Eyes. earlier picking up them groceries should have not have grabbed so many at once all set getting started nice nice cool oh shit space bar Um, I, I don't, I don't know. You said that we can talk in game. Um, I don't think we need discord then. I mean, I just, we were on it. So I guess we were using it. I didn't hear him echo in game. So I don't know if I heard him in game or not. I, I have no idea. We can talk over the radio and then use the proximity. I'm fine with that. It'd be less, it, yeah, it'd be less, one less thing for you to run. This uh disconnect from uh Discord gamers. Oh, th I asked because my PNG only reacts to Discord. <laughs> my PNG model. Oh yeah, it, it, whatever. We can use whichever one. It don't matter to me. Okay. All right, then I will get set up. I'll be back. Alrighty. What I miss, Trevor? What I miss? I mean, I killed all the goons on factory and almost got all the bosses on foot. Nice. Oh yeah. Like yesterday, like yesterday, like a couple of hours ago yesterday, because I still feel like it's today until I go to sleep. When I go to sleep, then it's tomorrow. running streets right now yesterday the actual day before today okay okay cool nice man that's fucking awesome yeah i decided i'd check this new game out you know you know so i was taking taking a little break from tarkov i was playing for like uh what six hours earlier Seven mil, damn! I made fucking uh, uh, nine mil, nine mil today, selling some stuff in the junk boxes and uh, three 
armor repair kits I sold today. I had a run today that I had two armor repairs at the same damn time, dude. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. I was moving so slow, fat motherfucker, trying to get out, dude, like losing my mind, dude. I was tripping. I had four million on me, four million in two items, bro. It was insane. I was, I, my mind was tripping. I couldn't believe I fucking found two armor repair kits in the same fucking raid. It was insane. Fucking sold them bitches right away for fucking 2.1 a piece. I was happy as hell. It was awesome. I'm sitting at like 21 mil now. It's great. Like I like I said, I got that uh that big boy fucking uh SAG AK back. So that was an expensive gun. I got that back. I got the redut back that I dropped for that armor you gave me. So that was fucking straight as hell too. All in insurance. Fucking love insurance fraud. Shit's great. I wouldn't say that I'm super rich or anything, but I'm definitely sitting pretty nice for end of white, man. I can't wait for the next white. It's just going to be fucking epic. But yeah, yeah, like I said, I figured I'd, you know, come over here and play some demonologists, you know, with, with gamers and... We'll get some of this some of this game down and learn it and we'll have this one added to the to the uh the stream you know we'll do this occasionally i prefer i prefer to like make a schedule so hopefully fucking gamers can make a decision on when the fuck he wants to play for sure and i'll just add it to the schedule instead of like not having it on the schedule i like having a routine type of deal just so I know what's going on. Uh, I don't I don't like jumping on and not knowing what the hell is going on. Unless I'm playing Tarkov. Then I just jump on there and I'm like, all right, what the fuck am I going to do? I usually jump on, fuck with the hideout for a second, look at my stash and wonder what the fuck I'm going to do with it. And then I fucking do a scav for them armor repair kits, man. Them things have definitely paid off. For sure have paid off like so much i've sold what six of them in the last week oh, i don't know well of course you don't fucking know you act like you watched my stream or something i'm getting sleepy yeah i yawned a couple of times but i've been i've been up all fucking day you know hanging out with the kids we went grocery shopping fucking made them happy with some simple stuff you know for for bedtime snack so that was cool man hell yeah i went and looked at like nine houses today i got all emotional and shit you know when i'm hanging out with the kids fucking love my gremlins Fucking ex came and picked up the rest of her fucking clothes and her little jewelry box. I was like, okay, I guess it's done then. You wanted to come grab your shit? You want to keep fucking fighting with me and fucking making it difficult to talk to you? I guess it's fucking finally over, I guess. I don't know. If he wants to say some shit like you just going to ignore me. I thought we were done. What the fuck? Am I supposed to still talk to someone? Oh, yeah. I don't know what she wants from me, man. I feel I feel like she's like, I, I want you, but then she don't. I don't know. I was fucking confusing. Like, I don't want to play them games, dude. I want to fucking have peace in my life. I don't want that craziness. So what are we doing? 
we're waiting for her. She's got the stream up now. She just started. We're just giving her some time here. We had to redo everything on OBS basically today because she was uh, running on the wrong settings. Um, she was, uh, her base canvas was at 1080p and she was downscaling. So it adds an additional uh, stuff to the encoder. So I wanted to get it to a canvas of 720p with no downscaling. We turned up her audio quality because that's more important than video because I remember when I started on 480p, but my audio was good. And that's how I got all my viewers on Battlefield 4. And then when I upgraded the stream to 720, uh, 30 frames, um, and then I upgraded the computer and then went to 60 frames. And then I started gaining more viewers. And then I started playing Clash of Clans with a capture card um, on mobile. And that's, man, I, I, man, my fucking Twitch was fucking booming, man. And then I quit for fucking my ex-wife. Should have never fucking quit. Don't know why I fucking did that. All right, now I need to tweak settings in Demonologist. All right. Uh, the stream is up and see it's looking good so far. Uh, when did full screen? Okay. Uh, FPS is max at 60. I'm dropping that to 30. Yep, this is not uh high uh, uh like high action, so you definitely don't need that. No. Uh, audio uh push to talk. Did you get your alert? I did not. Thank you so much. The one who talks I subscribe. Thank you so much. Uh, wait for the subscription. I'm muted, yes. <laughs> One second, I'm trying to fix that as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing with Pastel, Nuke, yeah, yeah. And the one who talks you, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. How are you doing today? Uh, You're muted. Is that better? Can you hear me now, Wave? <laughs> hey, Dega. <laughs> Yeah, we got we got past all set up. I'm so happy for her, man. She thought she needed a new computer and stuff, so I'm hoping this goes very well for her. That is amazing. I'm so happy. So glad it's it's working. I'm I mean, we got to keep keep running it and testing and everything, but I I'm, I'm hoping that everything goes smooth for her. It's working so much better. Right about now is when the game would start, uh, the game would crash, or the entire computer would crash. This is right about the moment that it would. So, I'm so happy. Job well done for me. She got it going. She's happy. I'm loving it. Oh, yes. That's, that makes me so happy. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I do think I need to hop into the lobby first to double check. And and anyone that's watching me, uh, hold on. Let me grab this this uh, this uh, link here for Pastel. So all of you, if you want to go support her, she is on Kick. I would appreciate it. Send it all over on all the different uh, streams I'm on. So go check her out and give her a follow. Thank you so much for the shout out. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, so you guys must be in a private lobby. Um, yes, we are. Um, let me grab that for you. I will just send it to you on Discord privately. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, this is like uh, Phasmophobia that I was playing last night. So it's like pretty much the same thing. There's some some differences um, for the UI. There's some differences for the controls and stuff like that. But other than that, it's pretty much Phasmophobia. 
a newer one that's still being worked on by the developers since it's new. I don't know how new. I know it's like three months or more. Do you need wait? Do you need the code? Uh, um, I sent it to her. Sent it to me. Uh, so wait, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure why my alerts are not working. You know how Butrix is. Hey, Wave, how you doing? Uh, did it not work? Multiplayer. Join lobby. Haze. Okay. There we go. Sweet. In here now. Let's go. Now we gotta get into game and make sure it's still running good. Oh, man. Awesome. Uh, flashlight. Sanity pills, candle, tripod. Let's see here. What else are we missing? Awesome. Oh, we're missing quite a few things. Hold on. Um, da, 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 da. We have no crucifixes. And knowing the type of ghosts we're going to get, we're going to need crucifixes because they're going to try to come after me. Oh, I hadn't put any items in it. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Okay. Just gonna be the fucking moment of truth. Yeah, it took us like what? Probably 15 minutes to get your settings all dialed in. And then you a couple of hours <laughs> to get the, the canvas set up in OBS and then a, an hour to get kick all affiliation done and confirmed. Yeah, so, that is correct. So not too bad, you know, to get everything back going. And you, you thought you were going to have to spend a whole bunch of money on a new computer. I thought so. I thought I had to. Yeah. Oh, my God, you got a chunker, too. I got three or four computers I could have just sold you for cheap. <laughs> Chunkers! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bought... Uh, Alright, Dega, you bought tarot. Alright, so... Do you want one card, do you want three cards, and which deck? This cat near me? Oh. He was close. He's loud. Oh, wow, that cat is loud. The cat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. You're all waiting on me. I apologize. Oh, you're good. You're good. What well, are we still doing the basic map or you want to go to the second map? Uh, it don't matter. Completely up to general. Me, I'm, I'm learning a new game, so it don't matter to me. Whatever is whatever i just feel like we shouldn't do baby mode that's my only thing is i don't want to do baby mode i'm sorry i just yeah i'll get bored we're on hard yeah no that's we're what i'm saying hard? oh shit <laughs> i normally got medium thank you so much for the follow psycho reaper thank you so much three card okay all right you, there's a whole list of uh decks there so go uh, Hi, how are you doing? Uh, so, Dega, go ahead and take your time to look over the list of tarot decks that I have, or the oracle deck I have, and then after this match, I'll go ahead and get your reading done and send you the pictures, okay? Cool, man. I get to check out a new map. Yay! A supernatural. Everyone wants my supernatural tarot deck. <laughs> Yeah, Supernatural is a bomb show. I watched so much. I watched that. I probably watched that whole show probably at least three times. I'm not going to say how many times I've watched the show. Watched I've, it like one time. I watched Friends like seven times. <laughs> yeah. Bro. I'm on my eighth run of Supernatural because uh, I'm rewatching it again. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'm rewatching Inuyasha. Uh, I'm watching favorite. My Hero Academia as well. I never really got 
deep into Inuasha, but like the big O in Dragon Ball Z, that was my anime. I didn't mean to cut you off, gamers. What was your anime that you're watching? I don't. I don't watch an anime. The only TV show that I've ever like sat down and truly watched the whole season of is like the OC, and I've seen it like six different times. Okay. And this is normal. Um, I am not loaded in, so. I have not loaded in either. I'm already in, and I had to get confused on that. We're not in a little tent. Hi, Noob. How you doing? Give me the flashlight. Give it. I have to wait for you guys to load in? Yep. Uh, okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes you're able to pick up items, because I'm the last one to load in anyway. And I got kicked. Oh, no. Did you turn your game settings down? I did. Probably okay. I'm frozen. Uh, let's see here. Nope, that's team settings. Yep, my maximum FPS is at 30. Well, also you have graphic settings as well. All my graphic settings. So my mode is disabled, so I don't have a mode on uh, technology. My resolution scaling for the technology is off. I got basic field of view. Everything else is low, and I have zero motion blur. I had to turn that off. Okay, yeah, you should be fine then on that. What is a hub crosshair? Maybe, maybe I should have, or it's just your little dot in the center of the screen. Maybe I should have been host gamer. Maybe. Uh, that's fine. We just won't be able to play any other map. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. I can try to host. I mean, I haven't really I think really my game just froze. It's the reason why. My, your favorite anime is One Piece, Dega? Thank you, Nuke. Thank you so much. I got sh I was, I fell asleep today. Um, after my boyfriend came home at 4 a.m., we spent time together, and then I went to bed because I crashed out watching a movie with him. He, he took me to bed while I passed after I passed out. And then I woke up, and I got a message from Webb saying, by the way, you're, <laughs> congratulations, you're affiliated. And I'm like, what? And I look, and I have 70, had 76 followers, and I was like, okay. Wow, I need to go to bed more often. <laughs> <laughs> One Piece? Yeah, yeah, I remember One Piece, yeah. I didn't get real deep into that, but still seen a little bit of it. Keep that at Worldwide, because I tend... I, left, I leave my lobbies at Worldwide because I play with Waif, who's down in Australia. <laughs> So if you crashed and I got in the game, how am I still in the game? Oh, it'll kick you out back to your safe house. Oh, so I'm at my safe house then? Yes. Oh, I'm like, I thought I was in the new map. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's test this out. Danny, hey, how are you? Tired? Oh, okay. Uh, did you just wake up or you been up all day? Oh, fixing the porch today? Okay, okay. Did you want to play some games or what? Or are you just tired and you're kind of just chilling? Yeah, it works always tiring. And kids, yeah, yeah. I spent a whole bunch of time with the kids today. I was, I was having a good time. You ready for the next episode of One Piece? Um, what season are you on exactly? Because I have no idea how long One Piece has been running. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're just chilling here playing some Demonologists. I got it, and I'm checking it out. We've played uh, a handful of matches. I'm enjoying it. Thank you so much for the subscri uh, subscription, Nuke. You are now an acolyte. <laughs> Thank you so much.
just waiting for them to get back into game. They uh, they uh, froze or crashed or something, and it just kind of messed the whole lobby up. So, thank you I'm so in. much. I for just the are you want me to remake a lobby? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Go ahead and send you both lobby codes. Oh. oh, okay. But thank you so much for the follow, Virgil. How are you doing tonight? You will watch two thousand or more episodes of One Piece. Oh my god. That's a lot of episodes. All right. You found your piece? Yes. Great. Awesome. That is great. Well, anytime that you need a a friend to talk to, I'm totally down to to be a listening ear. And, and like I said, I found my piece, my piece is my kids. I always try to, to, you know, balance myself out and hang out with them. They, they constantly talk about their, their video games. So I get to hear about video games that I don't play. Uh, I've learned how to play Minecraft and I've played very little of it. <laughs> um, but I can jump on Minecraft and have a good time with them. has 1067 oh. episodes as of right now oh my goodness oh that music or that Woo. the radio the radio oh all right all right that's some good music <laughs> you rock at minecraft nice <laughs> I'm not the best at Minecraft, but I can I can definitely get down on it. That's for sure. Come in the bathroom real quick. Banshee. Thank you so much for the follow. Nice. Cyber. How are you doing tonight? That's cool. This morning or this day that you are located. I like the graphics in this game so much. And I like the stereo, like the audio is actually good. Like, look, I can hear it on my right and then I can hear it on my left. It's so awesome. Accurate audio. I love it. All right. So are we gonna try to get into this match again or? Yeah, we're gonna to go ahead and try. All right. uh, we're gonna change the difficulty. We get items added. Yes. We're on hard, right? Um, yeah, at least medium or, you know, hard. I prefer as hard as we can make it. Um, hard is the highest level. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. I mean, it's still pretty new as a game. Yeah, that's true. I'll, I'll give the developers some time to get it rocking. I, I know they'll they'll do it because the game looks good already. Do you got a uh, demonologist, Danny? I forgot if I asked you that or not. I don't know if we talked about it too much. I think that someone was suggesting it to me yesterday, but I don't remember exactly what we were talking about. I just know that I was going to watch some YouTube videos on it and I didn't last very long. I fell asleep in my bed pretty, pretty soon after I hit it. I didn't even eat. I turned on YouTube and sent a couple of messages and I fell asleep. I'm doing really well, Cyber. I know we didn't talk long on Discord, and then I, I crashed. But definitely enjoyed my day off, though. That was for sure. Oh, it was a great day, and I'm still still awake. Still happy to 
be enjoying myself. Are y'all loading in okay? Because I'm still loading in the game. I'm still loading. I just got into the to the match. I see both of you. Hey. Yeah, I can't grab anything, so gamer's still not loaded. There he goes. Alright. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't want that one. It's gonna be the oh. longest anime? Anime? Really? Yo. It's okay. There is a slight lag, but that is okay. It's just on the game. Here. All, all of Lindsay, and it only answers for the logs. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lindsay. Oh. You, you gonna say the whole name? No. Okay. Okay. Pick up. Thank you. All right. Guess I'll go this way. We're dividing and conquering. Cheese. Olive. Terry. Olive. Did you guys hit a light switch? Nope. I did. Olive, are you here? You didn't grab a flashlight? Lust. I got one. I got Olive. A Does a candle work the same way in Faz to where you don't lose sanity? I do not know. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. I'm, st I'm still working on looking into that. I have an EMF downstairs in the kitchen. Smile. Okay. I'll go back upstairs, I think. I... Yeah, you went under the house. Yeah. In the kitchen? Hey. Yeah, I got it right here. I heard a door. Where was it? Uh, oh. Upstairs. EMF 2? Uh, it's, yeah, it's upstairs. So it's I don't office or back bedroom I don't know why they have haven't fixed it yet oh, three only got it for a moment though anime of the year oh wow Yes, we are. What's up, Brackety? How you doing? Doing what? Fighting streamers. Ah. Gotcha. So wait, is it in the baby room or is it back here in the bedroom? I don't, I don't know. I just opened. I, I don't know. It keeps opening a bunch of different doors. The traveling ghost, that's for sure. We just, with the tarot cards, we can't really figure out if it's. Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? How old are you? Are you Man, what's it? Wait, this is a nice deck. Let's go. This is what I need in my life. Man. It's back here in the bedroom. Two out here. In the hallway. It's traveling. Are you here? Where are you? Are you close? How old are you? Where are you? Show yourself. I don't know. I think it's in here in the bedroom. 
put this one right here. That one's by that door. I'm going to go grab some more stuff. Uh, the candle does not help your sanity of less than us. There's All a right. flashlight on the wall for you. I'll grab it. I'm just setting up here in the bedroom, then I'll set up in the hallway just in case. So we have two separate cameras to look at. We only have one video. We have two. Uh, did you already take one up there? Yeah. So we'll just set up in the bedroom and the hallway to, to double check. Okay. Sounds and then good. I'll grab the um. Um. Oh, yes. That. Try this in the hall. Are you here? That was the TV downstairs, wasn't it? I think so. What the hell? This ghost is all over the place. This... Yeah, and now it's in the kitchen. Yeah. Now it's on the wall. What the heck, man? Okay have an idea yeah what ghost moves like this now it's upstairs okay so we'll set up here in the bedroom are you here and then we'll set up downstairs Where are you? show yourself manifest are you close okay where are you how old are you where are you are you here? Are uh, you close? Where are you? How old are you? Okay, so we're gonna... It's down here. It's down here. You sure? Here. It, was, it was upstairs, it was downstairs said I'm here while we were here uh, I'm just gonna set up just down up and down just in case so I want shit all over the place in the living room this ghost is really active oh my god sounds like a pulty I'm not getting any uh, plasma. You have, you have 28 sanity, by the way. Who? You. Ah, okay. I have 59%. Well, it's been talking to me. And Horse has 50. I have no plasma anywhere. I've been looking for a while now. Oh, it'll show up at any time during the uh, match. Oh no, I'm just saying, like, I've been constantly looking. It's up here again. I just took a sanity pill. Um, oh, the mirror, you activated the mirror. Okay. I was like, what? Wait a second, wait a second. What? With the whole sanity, with the whole sanity thing, um, it sounds like a pony. Yeah, we, yeah, I just had an Oni. It was insane. It was wrecking our, uh, sanity. Either, either, either sanity or an Onryo. Because if it's an Onryo, gamers, it's, it fell in love with you. But if it's an Oni, it's attacking all of her sanity. It's just it's not attacking you because you're not directly talking to the ghost. Well, I took a pill too. Yeah, well, yeah, but me and Horse were like six percent away, and then you were way lower. But I think that's because you weren't holding the candle. You were holding the candle for the first bit of it, right? Mm -hmm. I was. 
Wait, why are the cams not working? Uh, it's... Oh, I... now it is. Alright, go use some UV. Like growled on my ear. Oh, it'll growl. Olive, are you here? Olive, are you here? Olive. Downstairs. What's that? Is it this door? Is that what it just touched? I got no fingies. No, it was shelves downstairs. Oh. Shelves downstairs? It was like the kitchen. Kitchen doors. But I don't think it actually fingers and stuff on the doors. I'm down. I'm dead. Okay, he manifested in the kitchen. So it's a kitchen ghost? Yeah, he started hunting in the kitchen. I walked right into it thinking it was an event. Dang it. Well, I can say that I'm not uh, an expert like at Faz in this. So it's in I the don't... actual kitchen, it's not in the living room area? I don't know. It manifested over by the knife block. No, uh, it, manif it manifested twice by the micro. So I just used my crucifix. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think it's I think it's an Oni. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the same thing. Um, where are you at? Came back. Coming out. I'm outside. I'm at the. You have the other crucifix. I do not. Okay, so um, what exactly? I, I had the crucifix, so it's where I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, five freezing temps and fingerprints. So... Huh. This has been, uh, ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm right behind you. Well, mine fucking got clapped, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
issue is I can't see crucifix anywhere. I grabbed it. It's in my hand. Okay. Are you here? Are you close? What else do we have down here? Freezing temps, fingerprints, and um. See that plate jiggling, right? No. See, that's upstairs. I see. I don't understand this. Yeah. What the fuck? It's like a whole house fucking ghost. Doesn't make sense. Oh, it doesn't make sense at all. Hmm. Doesn't this show what the ghost room was once it's over? Not that I know of. Oh, uh, it's hunting. Came from downstairs. Again. It just ate my crucifix. Yeah. Uh, is there hiding spots in this game? No. Oh. oh. Yes and no. It just depends. Yeah. So manipulation of line of sight. Practically. Gotcha. I don't think it's an oni. Why? Uh, we haven't had any freezing temps, and EMF has not reached level 5. Have you guys found any thingies? Nope. Or, no? I couldn't find any, and I don't think he found any either. Nope. No ecto stains. Uh, I don't think there were any when he was looking. Spirit box. I didn't get anything. Um, oh. Geez. Shit, bro, you're running with a whole bunch of high levels. Fucking rackety, holy fuck. Damn, there is a lot of TTV going on. Holy fuck. Crazy man. I can't wait to be high level fucking next wipe. That's just gonna be awesome. This really doesn't make any sense. I would just need to get Danny back into streaming. Now that we got you all set up now too today. Oh, yeah. I really think we need to move. Um, the setup that's here in the living room area, we need to move it into the kitchen. Crucifixes. They all eat the crucifix. Not all of them. What some do you mean? will just hunt. This, uh, I've encountered some of uh, some of these ghosts, and they will not eat the crucifix. They'll just kill you, and it drops. Kind of like what happened it, with uh, General. Isn't there? I didn't have it out. Well, he didn't um, have it out. Isn't there one that strays away from it? Uh, Let's see. Abaddon. Oh, uh, yeah, yep. Strong chance to ignore you during a hunt when holding a crucifix. Yeah, yep. Uh, Ecto stains, freezing, and easel canvas. As long as you don't make him angry, the demon usually won't hunt you. I was looking for the, the plasma. I didn't see any of it. Like I said, I was looking for it for a while. 
And y'all couldn't find any fingerprints. I couldn't find. We couldn't find shit. I, I feel. I feel like this ghost is trolling us. It, it is. It's moving shit around again. Uh huh. Exactly, Dega. Hmm. All right, well. I'm pretty sure I lost sanity standing here out here. We did. It's just eating our sanity. You can you can lose sanity outside the house? Yes. What? Hantu, talking to you makes you easier prey for it. If it curses you by talking to you, you can remove the curse of sanity pills. That's a Hantu. For... That's also freezing. Yeah. So we didn't get freezing. We didn't technically get EMF level 5 either. Uh, did we use spirit box at all? Tried to, it never worked. Less aggressive if it's prey is not nearby, but that's ecto sense. Rio, other telescopes take person love with them in house. With the chosen one. Hmm. Huh. And it hunted me as soon as I got, uh, got tried to get close to games. I think it's an, either an Onryo or a uh, Oni. I don't think it's an Onryo because it hunted me. It hunted you? Okay. Unless I was just happened to be standing in the in the wet path of where you it needed to go get you. Yeah, because it came up to me up into the closet, and that's when um, my, it ate the crucifix. Yeah, I wasn't in the house. Hmm. Oreo, let's see, and interact with this eyes and your type. I we're either gonna have to guess a ghost or die one of the two oh, people are... immediately I'm uh... You're right. You are more likely to get hunted when traveling in groups. Um, going here to the uh, TV, it only answers when you are alone. So, I think it's a Yuri. A Yuri. Yes, that would mean ecto stains or ESG reaction or level 5. Yes. 
but the way you're describing how it was hunting... You are most likely to be hunted when traveling in groups. It seemed a lot more aggressive when we were clumped together, for sure. And it was draining our sanity to get stronger. Ray, add on. Okay. Fingerprints and plasma. Yuri is what? What are we, what? we guessing? Yeah, we're guessing Yuri. Reaction. Do plasma stain. Do we want to try this or do we want to GTFO? Might as well GTFO. We're not going to get. Yeah, shit. All right. What we get. Ah, well, no, it was a it was a geepo. Geepo. <laughs> the geepo. We do not have any data for strengths or weaknesses, or in general. Ecto stain, spirit box, and ESG. Wow, okay. I can't wait till I learn this game. Oh, it's gonna be great. All right, I'm changing it to uh, e uh, not easy, but medium. I'm going back down. One okay, level. okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. I need to learn the game anyway, so that's cool. Okay, so on easy, increase sanity pill restoration, rare light break chance, and fifty percent insurance payback. For medium, moderate sanity pill res restoration. Moderate light chance, uh, light break chance. So maximum five lights and then the light breaks. There's a moderate okay. chance of that. 25% insurance payback, moderate reward multipliers, and difficult game experience against, you know, the ghost. Okay. For hard, low sanity pill restoration, high light break chance, no insurance payback, high reward multipliers very difficult game experience against a ghost and the ghost will ra rarely change its rooms which is bs because it was on hard and the ghost couldn't decide what room it wanted <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> okay okay that's interesting <laughs> and why if you put it on hard that the ghost doesn't change its room you would think that it would exactly oh okay um, because that drops the multiplier on Faz if you make it to where it doesn't change its room. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm I'm honestly in, impressed with the graphics over Faz. It's still like impressing me. <laughs> the graphics are kick ass, that's for sure. All right, Dega, I'm going to go ahead and send you over Discord. Your three cards. I am pagan, sorry, but uh, and I also do tarot cards as a redeemer. I do apologize if that offends anybody. Because I think this is the second time you've been on. Yeah, the second time you've been on a voice call with me, General. <laughs> yeah. Nothing offends me. I ain't got time to be offended, honestly. 
it, 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 the thing is this, this is how I feel about it. You can do and be whatever you want. As long as you don't project it on me, I could care less. Well, at least being in, you know, in your streams the last few times and hanging out with you and getting to know you, you're already a chaos gremlin, so we're already going to get along. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking totally all chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it, play, it plays into my, my childlike jester mentality. Um, so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of the Joker, so, so yeah is my favorite as well and i do not see him as a villain he is a misunderstood uh, misunderstood vigilante that takes things to extremes that not no one understands yeah i can agree with that he's been my favorite villain and i don't even like batman like i like uh the dark knight that that movie was great and everything but like i've never been a batman fan i again i've never been an iron man fan because they use gadgets and money to do what they do now i'm not saying that batman is you know not good because he knows martial arts he's been training that forever and everything iron man's less on that because he just used a metal suit but those are not my my typical heroes that I like. My favorite is still the the biggest underdog, which is Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man's great. If I could just count, that'd be amazing. I think my kids really enjoy the fact that I try to be a kid with them. You know, I te teach them the value of being responsible and, you know, things like that. But when you get the opportunity to have fun and be a kid, because you don't get many opportunities once you're an adult. So I let them be kids as much as they can before they have to be an adult. Like, I don't even want my son to have a job, a summer job, none of that. You know, I'd rather have, have him do, like, stuff around the house, yard work, chores, you know. And then, you know, when he has to go work, that he can, you know, focus on that and not have to be like, oh, well, I didn't have a childhood because I lived that life not having a childhood, and it sucked. Right. card was that'd be amazing third card popped up and it won't even tell me what it is yeah my middle son's playing this game right now where he's like playing in the market so he's like buying businesses on his game and investing in stuff and all that and i was like man that's good that you're you're caring about you know learning about money and you can make bad investments and watch the stock market and all of that stuff being good with money is really important. I mean, you can like make more money. That's not an issue, but like being good with money, being efficient with money. I, my, my motto is the more money I save, the more money I can spend. Can't take it with you when you die. That's for sure.
with all your uh PCs you got laying around. Why don't you stream on on more of a, a regular gamers? Still awake, gamers? All right, Dega. I went ahead and sent you your three tarot cards. Oh, he's deafened for some reason. Oh, he probably went AFK because that took so long. Because... My my reminder will go off here shortly. Hurry up, Pastel. You're holding up the lobby again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, I, I will get sidetracked or I will take so long when it comes to these tarot readings. Trying to find out exactly what card it is and read it out of the book and everything. But I've come to realize that, you know, you guys are on a schedule just like I'm on a schedule. We can't be sitting here doing tarot readings where, there, you know, people are here to come play games and... Yes, this is a redeem, but I still need to be fair to you guys because you guys are in my party. Just so I have to find the card, send the picture on Discord, and move along. <laughs> so I don't take up, you know, forever take taking up time and whatnot. Because you guys probably have other things to do and would like to play the game and hang out and enjoy yourselves. Alrighty, there we go. Yeah, I think he's back. Not undeafened, but he's moving. been here. I've just been muted. I didn't think to get his attention with game chat. <laughs> it's good music though. I like the music. <laughs> I wish I could play music and they wouldn't get mad at me on streaming. Lo-fi? I mean, lo-fi is non-copyrighted, so lo-fi is okay to use. Oh, no, I, I use lo-fi all the time, but I'd rather listen to, like, real music. That's all. <laughs> I like the early days on Twitch were fucking beautiful. Where you weren't copyright stricken for yep. music? For everything. Anyway, and just don't say broadcast. Well, yeah, but I, I'm also on YouTube. And YouTube is a stickler for that. YouTube will hit you for it. I'm getting mm -mm, hit no. I'm uploading my pods. No, so I could. YouTube. Yeah, I could. Um, I guess. Um. Eliminate it from YouTube OBS. I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. Maybe, maybe I will do that. Um, I'm running three different OBSs. No, no, no. I'm I'm running two on the gaming computer, and the one on the gaming computer, the main one, is streaming to YouTube independently, and then my other one on the gaming computer is sending it to the streaming computer over my network, and then it's capturing it on that computer, and sending it to Twitch and Kick Multi Stream. So you're paying. Labs Pro. Uh huh? Are you are you paying for OBS Pro? Stream, stream lab stream stream labs? No. No no no. I use OBS again because of the technology that I use to send everything over my network. Um in OBS uh version twenty eight has multi streaming already um in it now it, as default. It's a plugin. Noyan 
Icky, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I, I probably butchered your name so bad. Uh, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Oh, shit. What's the ghost name? Crap. Something. <laughs> that one ghost. That one name. <laughs> I'm going to look. Uh, we got Tyler Robertson. Hey. Lust. Tyler Gang. Tyler Gang. <laughs> Lust. Come, come look at this one. Where'd you go? In the bathroom. Oh. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. <laughs> that's cool. I seen the result of it last time, but I didn't get to see it happen. So that's pretty cool. And this one you missed. I'll do it uh, next ma match, but you stand really close to it. You read you know, lust off the purse. Yeah. And pieces of a mannequin the will appear. Man. There's a hand, then a head, and then the torso next to it. Nice. Oh? Limbo. It's, uh, it's Limbo smile. Book Kid. You missed it. You say smile, and it takes a picture with you. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to definitely... I'm definitely yeah, gonna have to... Was... Go ahead. By the limbo bookcase. Oh, okay, it's way back here. I'm gonna have to definitely keep a lookout for the words to read and and definitely start doing that to check it out because that stuff's pretty cool, man. Well, uh, do this one. Mirror room. Uh, oh, Maria. Uh, Maria, Maria room. room? Never... Maria's yeah, no, room. Nobody's figuring out how to get in that stupid ass. Aw, not bad. Lurking around and came across your stream, and maybe I can help you out with your Twitch custom graphics even more. What's your dish so I can send? I'm I'm good. I'm I'm a graphic designer. Thank you for that. I I appreciate it, but I I don't pay. I don't pay for graphics. I appreciate it though. Come here. It's it's definitely in here. It's locked with the fireplace. Read this word. I like my graphics. Limbo. Oh, cool. I like those ones that disappeared, like the wall and stuff. That's awesome. We will come for you. Are you here? Come here. Where All are right. you? Are Go you ahead of me. Go ahead. We got a spirit box. <laughs> oh, cool. Sick. Spirit box? Yes, ma'am. Sweet. That narrows it down. I oh, am not oh. getting any ecto, by the way. Uh, just a two on EMF. Alrighty, and it loves to play with the fireplace, so... Yay, it loves my... Oh, whoa, behind us. Yep, it just spawned for a moment. Um, I put the easel down right there. We're pretty close. Uh, should we move one farther somewhere? Maybe gap them out oh, more? No. no, you're good. You're good. I'm just gonna... It, uh... It, it spawned four. right on top of the... It spawned right here then, right? On top of it? Then it's the easel. Um, nah, I mean, maybe. Maybe it's... No, that is an ESG reaction. Okay, okay. Because if because this is that's that is how you look at it. And yeah, it was the dots. Go. Yeah, it was the dots. But yeah, like it's like was like right here. So it was a little bit behind it. But maybe it was just I don't know. I don't know it yet. So but okay. So BSG reaction or ESG reaction. Oh man, BSG reaction. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm playing Tarkov. I know, right? I'm stuck on Tarkov. It's retarded. <laughs> oh, it's not a ghoul. A gull. Okay, because if it's a gull, then it does not like it when you cuss. 
it will hunt you down like it makes you your number one target oh well fucking a i'm a dead man in this game <laughs> well that's, i almost just said fuck again <laughs> oh my god oh i will be a dead man okay let me drop this there we go i'm gonna go grab some more stuff Well, I know what ghost is going to kill me all the time. The gull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> We're doing okay on sanity at the moment. I'm grabbing this and I'm grabbing one of these. All right, um... That works. UV and a candle. Yep. Oh, wait, UV's already been grabbed. Here, why don't we go ahead and hand off the camera here so you can take that in? Yeah. We're gonna get a second angle. All right. All right, candle by this. So, yeah, there we go. Camera and then it. How do you spin it? Oh, well. Oh. Where is it? Oh, okay, fireplace. Four, but not a five. Yeah, I was getting a four as well. Um, and I put the camera backwards. Oh no, that's right. Okay. Ooh. I like the song you play. Whoa, where'd the piano go? What the fuck? Okay, so it's not five. It's just four. Mark out EMF five because it's never going to be an EMF five. So no freezing as well. Correct. Okay, so you have the ectoplasm. So yeah, um, I can go get it. I got it. I got it. Okay, it's up on the uh, porch. Yep. Yep. Pause for a moment. Okay. Good. All right. Oh, you motherfucker. I think I'm dead. No. Nope. It just event scared me. Yep. Fucking was crawling over the fucking couch for me. I was like, oh, fuck. I used my sprint already. I'm fucking dead. I'm running to get my flashlight real quick. I thought for sure I was dead. I was like, why me? Why? Why always me? All right, plasma. Start looking. Oh, plasma. Ectos. Yep. We yep. We got ghost juice. Okay. Yep. It's a gupoil. Gupoi. Gupo. Gupo. Oh man, I suck at fucking reading these weird ass names. What? I'm not dead yet? Oh, well, kill gamer. Kill kill gamer. Not me. Kill him. I've died twice already. Kill him. Him. Right there. Okay, let's go get <laughs> next objectives. Wait, do we get all of them? Is that ectoplasm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's goat's jizz, yeah. It's a goopo? Yep. Gipo, Gupo, Guapo. Oh. Got one! Got him. Sweet. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, got it. It's 
Uh, it's always it's always a random one. So it's orbs, the clock, and then find the lady probably. Mm -hmm. Or get to blow out the candle. Candle, yeah. orbs, and find the time of the ghost death. All right. So I have. Candles down there. I got another ectoplasma reader. You already have a candle down there? Yeah, I yep. put one down there. There's two can there's two candles down there and I got one in my hand. Oh! It blew out a candle. Nice. Great. Alright, we just need Time of Death, right? Yep. Yeah, the time and then we gotta set all the What time. is uh sanity? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna take, take sanity. sanity yeah, 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 I'm taking one. Grab one too. <laughs> it's sitting at forty. Yes, 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 yes. I got another candle as well. Grabbed it from the porch. You don't need candles. Yep, I already took care of it. Yeah, it already blew it out. We just need a uh, time of death. Yeah, which is the ectoplasm compass thing. Okay. You, you pretty much search every wall if you have one. Yeah, I got one. I, dr I dropped another one down here too. I just gotta find it. Um, it's hiding. Is that it? No, this is a spirit box. Um, where is it? Hey, right here. Right here. Yep. Okay. Uh, got it. All right. Now, how do you determine time of death? The, oh. the time will be on the wall somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Kind of like the ectoplasm stains, but it'll be a time. And then gotcha. clocks will spawn once you find it. Gotcha. And we'll have to enter the time, and then the, and it's pretty much over. All right. Or can it be anywhere, or just in the ghost room? Anywhere. Oh, I found it. It Ooh. is. 3.50 A.M. P.M. Doesn't matter. It, it, once the clock spawns, it just means the time put in. It doesn't say A.M. or P.M. Uh, time didn't spawn, so you might have to get closer to it again, look at it again. Okay, are you sure? I, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't hear it. I heard it. Oh. Uh, I, didn't, also... I didn't see any clocks downstairs or upstairs. They have to be all downstairs then. Yeah. Yep. Three fifty. So they're all downstairs. Here's a clock. What? Right here. Nope. It spawns on a wall. Ah. Oh, you got one. I got one. Oh, here is another one. Okay, Just... so. Alright, and then. What's there? Oh, gotcha. That was... Ghost event. It's hunting. Right. That's on 350. Or sewing things. I can't find a clock. I hit the one. Who is it, three? Yep, there's three. Yeah. I didn't see one upstairs. Maybe I'm blind. Is there one in the entryway right here? Mm. Maybe I am blind. Is it back here in the closet? I just looked. So it's not here. It's not on the porch. Yeah, I don't see it. It's not in the kids' room either. It's not in the bathroom. Where is this last clock? It has to be downstairs. Hmm. Is it in this room right here? We just missed it. Room. Uh, oh, one? here? Hmm. 
No. No. By Maria's door. Yep, it's by Maria's door. Okay. Just all pass it because no one looks in that space. It normally doesn't spawn by Maria's door, and the ghost is exercised. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Sweet. Good mission. Let's go. That was awesome. Well, I have been live from uh, for almost an hour and seventeen minutes, and uh, I am amazed at how long I've been live without crashing. Thank you so much for helping me with that, by the way. Oh yeah, you are most welcome. I'm I'm just happy to see that you can stream now with no issues, and that's all that matters. Okay, now we're doing the hospital. Level three, let's go. Aha. Oh, the penthouse. Okay, so the real estate section and on the TV where the item shop is. Yeah. The third arrow over is uh, all the safe houses they have. Old house, the pub, the lighthouse, and now the penthouse. Yeah. I'm going to have to get that most expensive one for sure. Lighthouse is so laggy for me because it's so big and it's in the middle of a thunderstorm. You actually go up the spire in the up the silo of the of the um, lighthouse besides the actual house that's attached to it, and you can go outside to the cemetery. Ooh, so that's that's the that's the lighthouse, the last one. Uh, no, the penthouse is the last one. The one next to it to the left of the penthouse uh, is the lighthouse okay gotcha and i don't know like what the penthouse how big is that one like hmm i have Cause, not seen it yet because it sounds really cool the lighthouse sounds really cool i'd ra i'd rather care about what's actually cool than the most expensive i guess but I, I was just thinking the most expensive would be way cooler or something i don't know i mean the penthouse looks nice but like sticking to the vibe of ghost hunting and whatnot the old house the pub and the lighthouse literally when i think of ghost hunting that's what i see that's what i think about i don't think of a penthouse right because when I think penthouse and people ghost hunting and shit like that, I'm thinking they're only in it for the money. They really don't care if it's going to help somebody with the extermination or not. Yeah, but I'm rich as fuck on Faz, so I kind of got to follow that trend, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right. Are we all ready? I am. Okay. We're going to the new... Uh newer map which is the hospital the newest one is my favorite map this one you get to use a shotgun to exterminate the ghost oh yep with rock shot uh rock shot rock salt bullets nice i get to play some tarkov <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can, but you gotta piece the gun together Oh, yeah, that's okay. Do that in Tarkov. Let's go. <laughs> All right. 
life, and then EMF. Dulcie's name is Anisha Bolton. If someone is next to you, it will respond. All right, so together. All right. I'm going to take a thermometer. Wee. Man, look at the beautiful scenery that we get. It is so detailed and pretty. Oh, look at this. It's so nice and spooky. Yeah. Stand out here long enough, you get to hear wolves howling. So we're playing a hospital? Mm hmm. Yeah. I like this. You're about to fuck it. Die. Uh, it's on medium. It's not that bad. Yeah, you still about to die. Nah. <laughs> no, no. The, the hospital ghosts on medium are pretty damn sassy with me. So, um, trust me, we're, we're not gonna die. They're just the, the, the ghosts and I are gonna have a really nice petty conversation here in a little bit. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's over here. There's like, some Easter eggs this way. Read that word. Oh, crazy. Oh, sick. <laughs> and the little, the little fucking kid little laugh. That was good. I like it. He loves it. He wants a more of it. Here's another Easter egg. I don't know how to activate it right here on the floor. Bro. Bro? I don't know. It's just there. R O. Okay. All right. Come in the bathroom. Get as close to that as possible and read what's back there. Read what's back where? Oh. You probably can't see because he's got vision of a fucking old man and he's on a double ultra wide fucking monitor. He couldn't even read the sanity pills. I don't see I anything. Don't have it. The eyes I have, have it? Older. Oh, I, eye of the beholder. Oh, the Easter egg is broken. Dang it. Uh, it's upstairs in the medical All right. room. All right, let's I, go upstairs. Eye of the beholder. The ghost is uh, supposed to crawl out of that are you hole. Here? I'm so sad. Aw. All right, here we come. How old oh, are you? Oh, it's Where not a hallway you? ghost this time? Are you here? Are you close? Are you old? Are you broke? Are you broke? <laughs> ah, so it's upstairs. It's upstairs. Do, do, do. Oh, it's only yeah. down here. Yeah. Huh? Let's head upstairs. It was throwing things upstairs. Straight upstairs. Straight upstairs in the surgery room. Oh, okay. The so it's to the room's... right. No, the room's straight ahead. Oh, it's in here. You should see my stuff in there. Oh! It moved is, that, uh, paper crate. Is it crate. Bolton? EMS 3. Oh, hold on. Drop this. Oh, we didn't bring all the extra items, huh? Uh, I got a camera down. Anisha Bolton. What'd you say, Anisha? Say it again. 
Hey, Anisha bestie. I hear you talking to me. Are you gonna talk in the spirit box? I couldn't get her to talk to me. You have to have someone next to you? You don't have to. Hey, Anisha. Can't. Are you oh. gonna talk in the spirit box to me, bestie? Oh, come on, you were singing me a song. You gonna talk? Say something. Oh. Okay. Wow, that was pretty. Can you say something on the box? Can you say something? Draw me a pretty picture. Hmm. Anisha. Temperature will not drop. It's dropping below 10, but it won't go any lower. Ectoplasm on the wall. Ooh, ecto jizz. Yes. Yeah, okay. I mean, you would think it's pretty sweet. <laughs> of course I would. <laughs> oh, all right. Are you guys, are you guys seeing this too, right? What? Uh, weird ass fucking vision for me. Whoa. No, that's 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 just for you. That's just for you. It's just messing with your sanity. Oh. Uh -huh. Anisha, bestie, can you say something, please? Yo, can you open the door for us? What the fuck is Anisha messing with me? What the fuck? I didn't do anything. Anisha, my arms picture. don't work. Can you open this door? Draw me a pretty picture. Your butt hurts. Know. Your butt hurts? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Um, I don't think... I don't think... I don't see why not. We can't destroy you. Four. How did you die? Oh, you, thank you for turning the light out. Turn, it, it touches the light switch. Fuck even is the light switch? Up here. Oh, I for, forgot where it is. Two. Fingies? Is fingies, I mean, fingies are guaranteed in this game, aren't they? Uh, in this game? Yeah, I think they're guaranteed. Um, if, if, it, if the ghost calls for fingerprints, then yes. Okay, so it's no fingerprint then. Anisha, bestie, draw me a picture. Paint me a pretty picture. Come on, I know you can do it. Nothing. No ma or Yori? It's down here? Um, more likely to hunt in a group? EMF 5. Right now. So it's a Yuri. Oh, wait, E5. What is it? Like, wait, what was the other piece of evidence? Uh, I had fingerprints crossed off because it touched the light switch, but it didn't leave a finger. Okay, it's not. It's not. It, it, it's it's gonna be uh, hunting in a, in a group if it's Yuri. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's right after us, right now. Mm -hmm. Shit, right behind us. Oh shit, oh you can run backwards, it's right behind us, oh my god. <laughs> you are ugly, Anisha, you're ugly. Can I loop you? Probably can. Yeah, probably can. It's on your ass! Oops. It's on you now, run! Run this way. You got it. Oh shit, I'm exhausted. I think it's You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> that was awesome! Okay, we need to rethink because we need to rethink our evidence real quick. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, why? What? I don't know. 
So it was either a race or it's a Yuri. It's a Yuri. There's no doubt about it. It didn't leave a fingerprint on the light switch. Okay, so it so it so it, it was, has to be um, a Yuri. It... Yeah, we had the reaction, right? Uh, wait, did... I don't. Th I didn't see the. Yuri. Oh no, that's right. No, no, no. I didn't. Why did I think that we did? But either way, it didn't leave fingerprints that left uh, the Noma and the Yuri. And the Yuri hunts in a group. We have no information on Noma, the, no, the Nama. Um, so I don't, I don't know about that one. But we got the stains in EMF five, and the uh, the the Noma doesn't uh, do uh, the EMF. Yeah, Nama doesn't do, do EMF, so it's got to be Yuri. So it's oh wait, I say we 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 wait. Check for fingerprints again because they can show up at any time during the match. It it doesn't show up like at the very beginning. They can show up at any time. How you guys found the ectoplasm stains? That also shows up at any time during the match before you uh uh excuse me. Like ectoplasm stains can show up any time during the match before you start um doing objectives. Like as soon as you choose what ghost it is, it does not choose um it it does not show up any ecto stains at all. Uh we all have really low sanity. Yeah. Um I have not I don't have any uh sanity pills. I just took some for the first time. I need to start buying uh some of the equipment now. That I know what the hell's going on. I think I only brought two bottles of sanity pills. Okay, so whoever takes the sanity, all right. So you took sanity pills, so yeah, I was the lowest sanity. Yep. Yeah. Gamers and I need to take uh, the crucifixes then. Okay. Since we don't have a candle upstairs. I got a candle, I'm bringing one. It's not sitting in front of the e the easel or the um, ESG. So if it if it was to be a, um the ESG thing, a black figure would show up above it since there's no light except for the uh UV. Since there's no candle, we can't tell if it's actually gonna be a ghost or not. Except for a, a silhouette. I can bring two candles and we can put them up there. Okay. I can carry one. Uh, I got a free space. I only got a flashlight, so. Okay. Yeah, all we gotta do is we gotta be behind you. If we, if we get chased again, just let one of us be behind you just in case they catch it. Yeah. Because it'll still eat our crucifix. Yeah. I need to move the ESG more towards the center of the room also. Maybe it's towards too much towards the edge. True. Good thing I have the extra space to do so. Yeah, I have oh, it, extra... it just kicked the ball. Well, I can put one of the candles down and I'll still have one and I got, uh, you know, I can move it. Keep that crucifix out. Uh, too. Okay, bring it, Anisha. I don't like the counting, though. I don't like the counting. Oh, 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 wrong. Oh, shit. I went to crucifix. Mm -hmm. It's still hunting, I think. 
Oh, it's not. Uh, I think it is because it, uh, I hear it. My heartbeat's still going. Yeah, mine did too. The last game, whenever we it burnt the crucifix. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it either. And the front door's unlocked. It's hunting again. Stand here. Albert, hello. Sorry, we got an intense ghost hunt going here, and I missed your comment. How you doing? Is the door unlocked yet? No. Oh, here it comes. Yep. Horse, are you gonna wrap, yeah. or are we just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can loop it. Oh, I'm now. gonna say I'll loop. I'll loop it. I was ready to loop. <laughs> I'm gonna treat the all these ghosts like a do. <laughs> oh, nice whoop! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sick. Fucking loving this game. Blood bags. Okay, we got candles up there for that. Ooh, our sanity is so dead. Woof. I think it's a Yuri. I think I'm. I think I agree with you guys. We're just gonna take forever to get the ESG reaction at this point. I already locked my name when I discovered it was a Yuri a long time ago. Find the parts of the gun. Collect blood bags. Have the ghost blow out the candle. Alrighty. So um. Well, part of the gun is in the ghost room. Yep, glowing. it's glowing. <laughs> or it's a so, actually, it's probably a blood bag. Yeah. I... Uh, excuse me. Loving the, the fog and the lighting and the textures. Oh. It's got a Silent Hill vibe. Yes, right? I love it. This is, I mean, don't get me wrong. Phasmophobia played its part and was like a great, a great game. And I'm still going to play it, obviously. But, but the visuals in this game are, are way better than Phas. I think it blew out the candle already. Oh, oh it's hunting. Hunting, shit. All right, getting in the loop position. I mean, Anisha wouldn't even let us get into the freaking hospital, really. What's wrong with her? Oh, she knows what's coming. She knows she's going, you know, get her ass Here. blown back to hell. Oh, shit, motherfucker almost got me. Oh, boy. Right on your ass, gamer. Stopped. Yep, hunting over. All right, let's fucking find this shit real quick. I f I searched the first room on the right. I didn't see a part. Okay. Not wasting my time then.
I'm on the second room. Found a piece, uh, blood bag. Nice. Somebody Can by I the found... front door. No. Okay. Hold on. Well, just be on the lookout because the ghost might just randomly pop, pop up. I'm going to the door. I got another blood bag. Nothing in the second room. Uh, door one open. Hunting? Yeah, it's, it's literally on top of me. It might burn my cruise. Okay, um, someone has to go upstairs to go find the last part then. Hold on, hold on. It's still on my ass. You just oh. have to do it with me. Me. Don, you are. Burn it. Nope. Punch is over. Yep. Okay, the rest of it's upstairs or further down the hallway. Did, did you already check the, the room right before the stairs? Oh, no. Nope. Uh, so it's not those there. Tar tarot cards. all the gun parts the last blood bags in the ghost room all right i'm going back to the door you got the crew you got the crucy so go grab it i'm gonna burn burn a hunt is he hunting yet or no uh doors doors open doors open yes coffee bot no Crash Let me know it. as soon as it does, because I'm going to turn back the other way. Yep, yep. You burp on command. Uh, no. No, That's... Yoshi, I cannot. Uh, can I get a mod to deal with the Yoshi first uh, for See me, it please? it's shut. It's open. I can burp on command. That's a weird request. Alrighty. Is that all of them? Yeah, looks like. Because I can pick up the gun now. Okay, cool. So now we just have to shoot the ghost, right? Mm -hmm. So we just need it to hunt. Unless you want to shoot. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you about to get it, boy. Don't miss, because you only have a certain amount of ammo. Oh, this thing's about to get knocked the fuck out. Go. Anisha Bolton, you little bitch. Come get us. Hey, it just closed. Yep, he's, about, he's about to get tar <laughs> Let's go! You're about to get 360 no scope. Ladder stall double YY 360. Dega, someone asked if I can burp on command. Uh. Okay, can, can you at least time them out? I cannot. Here we go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, you about to get it. Shoot him. Tarkov, bitch! <laughs> Get it. Are we done? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, got Tarkov. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hey. It's hunting. What? What? <laughs> He's fucking with me. <laughs> I was like, this bitch about to get a double shot. Let's go. <laughs> That was great. I love it. Oh, I'm so happy they gave me a gun. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was sick. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. That was great. Oh, I like that, man. It was indeed a Yure. Hell yeah. Yeah, I locked that, that bitch in. Money. I locked that bitch in right away. Oh, yeah, let's go. Man.
I'm feeling this game. This game is nice. Get it. Alright, so now I need to start purchasing some of this stuff. I'm gonna probably go play some Diablo, to be honest. Well, I got one more in me, and then I gotta get off of here and go get in my bed. Probably eat another piece of pizza and chill for a minute before I pass out. I'm probably gonna play some DVD later if it doesn't decide to have any more bug issues. Ooh, man, this, ooh, this gear is expensive. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. Ooh, man, boy. Uh, have we figured out what, what the hell is the sledgehammer for? Um... You can smack the ghost's head, apparently. That's what my friend, uh, Vana said. Welcome back, Waif. Um, we had someone in chat who decided to ask, can you burp on command? My party members can. I cannot. Like, no hi, how you doing? None of that. No introducing themselves. Just, can you burp on command? Okay, so now how do I add? Well, you go over here to your tools that you bought. There should be arrows to move them over to the left. Ah, uh, gotcha. Load out is full. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well, we don't try to take it back. Well, if you cannot move it to the left. Oh, it's on the right. It's on the left side. Now, got it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's a, it's a quest on Cyclone Street that you use Sledgehammer. We're pretty much good on everything, but I bought stuff, so I'll be able to contribute whenever we don't have enough. Okay, cool. Man, I, I'm, 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 I'm digging this game. I'm liking it. And look at, look at this though. Like, see, we got a graphics update. Like, look at, look at some of it, some of it. Look, look at that fucking nice fit abs going on. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Definitely some better characters uh, modeling there. That's that's nice. The pink hair does not look as bad as the green. I guess it's a little purple, huh? It's a little pur. Yeah, it's purple. It's purplish. Purplish. But the green. Oh my god, the green is like like really highlighted so when like you'll see like it's speckly and it just looks really weird Ooh, you know what that's what i should do i should put on my cyan right uh custom here yes, wait a little bit No, excuse me. Huh? All these hiccups. Go. Yeah. That looks good. Crazy. See, no, fuck all that shit. Ugh. Hey. Yeah. Not too crazy, but a little color. Already level four. I, I don't see myself being a level six thousand something like on Faz, but I'll get there pretty quick. I wonder what's the max level. Uh, 
I have seen people as high as a couple hundred higher. People, a lot of people play this game. It's really cool. Hi, Drisnik. How you doing? Welcome in. Now y'all waiting on me. I just got the notification. <laughs> Hurry up, Pastel. You're holding up the lobby. Could someone please give Drisnik a shout out for me? Okay. Hold the phone. Where the hell you think you're going? Okay. And we're in. Dun. Alright. Alright, and this is the other one that I haven't been to yet? Correct. Sweet. Alright, let's go check it out. The little frog. Armand Ruiz. It only responds, it only answers to you when you are alone. Armand? Of course, because I have no idea what this fucking map is. Armand Ruiz. Light the candle. Oh, listen, you're doing shit that I've not seen either. Oh, I didn't. On, that's yeah. right. That's right. I forgot. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just lit the candles. Nothing serious. Alright, and this room is one of the main halls. Oh, wow, okay. That's trippy when they mess with my sanity. Holy shit. This is the looping ring. You literally run around this courtyard. <laughs> Some ghosts are touchy about the courtyard. Don't run through it. They do. Oh. Here is the bathroom. There's a uh, uh, shower area and a toilet area. All right, no words, no words. All right. We're going to save this for last. Here's the study. I will tell you. This is broken. 666. It's broken. They're still working on it. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Devil. Oh. What? It worked. Yep. Oh shit! That was cool. Oh, yeah. There you go. Up here. Okay, General. Follow instructions. Ready, gamer? Ask. The instructions. Mm -mm. Oh. What time is it? Where'd it go? It crawled between your feet. <laughs> that was cool. I'm doing good, Driz. I am showing these two great, awesome gamers, Gamer and General. Uh, Hosh, is it? Horsh. General Horsh. General Horsh. Don't go too far, gamers. Not yet. All right, right here. All right. We got a word. Yo, voodoo it all. Hungry. Enjoy your meal. Okay. Time is it? And back 
back here, there's really no Easter egg, but this is the room where we put the katanas at the end. Because uh, part of the three objectives is to collect the um, collect the um, katanas. Another one would be to discover the mysteries of the paintings, which is what will be back here once we're ready for that, after we put all four katanas in place. And then the other random thing we would have to do. Why does it keep tripping on my sanity? Wow. Because it chose, I don't know why it chose you, but it chose you. I think, I think this game realizes that I fucking play fast and it's really fucking with me. That's great though. I'm not mad. Now we just need to find the ghost room. And I get no activity anywhere. I didn't need it that whole time. That happens. Here at least. Um Yeah, you EMF normally doesn't show up sometimes. It's not up here. I don't see any ecto stains yet. You can always hit the voodoo. We'll we'll wait on that. <laughs> it's spooky enough. <laughs> Um, we need to at least find the room first, then we can mess the hoops. It's off. it the the oh, uh. Oh, it's in here in the bathroom. We got we got ghost jizz. Cool. Uh, that would that would explain why it turned the light off. Cause I don't remember turning the light off. Oh. Two. Oh. Three. So the uh, I'm already starting to become desensitized. I don't have much time left. Okay. Oh, messing with me again. Shit. It's counting. All right, I'm gonna stick this in here because we got two, so we're gonna set up here in the toilet, well, in the bathtub area, and right outside here, the toilet area. Oh, sick. Okay. Okay. That was sick. Okay. Are you here? Where are you? I'm running out to the tent. Okay. Are you here? You, you'll come with Where me you? and stay up here. Uh, I'm going to grab some more stuff real quick. How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Here. Where are you? Here. Close. I'm already, I'm already getting desensitized by the game already. Okay. Camera. Easel. If you want to grab ESG and the other yep. camera real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that's not what I wanted. Fingerprints. We can drop fingerprint at uh, the door. Or we'll come back for it. We're just going to run in. What do you want me to grab? Uh, other camera. Okay, gotcha. I I think that I like the ambient sound that it does more than anything. That's the one that gives me the creepies. Um, but definitely becoming desensitized from the jumps already. Okay. So we're gonna place a camera right here. Where do you want this one? All right. So we're gonna set a can uh, canvas here. We're gonna set ES. Where's my ESG? Did I not? Oh. I see. Okay. Okay, that's not where I wanted it. I wanted it right here. And then this EMF reader is gonna sit here. Oh. Gonna have to learn all the positioning like we do on FAS. I'm gonna have to learn it all. Mm -hmm. Okay, EMF. 
that's at 10 degrees of here. Seems like the positioning is just like Faz, that it has to be uh, set up in a certain way to proc the best, uh, the way to get it to proc the best. Oh my god, come on. Why me? Shit. Fuck, the ghost is in love with me or something. That's me. You open that? Yep. Just t uh, testing for thingies. Okay. Now we need some candles. Alright. Uh, come grab a candle. Oh, grab another. Are you here? Two. Are you mm -hmm. close? Uh, Where are you? How old are you? It wrote in the canvas. Nice. I want to see that. I haven't seen that evidence yet. I want to see that real bad. Okay, come over here. Ta da! Turn around to the. Oh, cool. That's sick. I like it. It's awesome. Alrighty. I will be right back. Um, crucifix, UV, here I come. I didn't grab a candle, but I'll come back up for it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, oh my god. Uh, I think you didn't, you, you didn't go around. And... Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. Oh. Damn it. I forgot already. Oh. Damn it. All right. Oh, that was a fuck up on my part. Damn, he had a crucifix too. Why didn't you just pull it out? I don't fucking know, dude. I was fucking. It, it caught me off guard because if you would have said it was hunting, I would have, like, I don't know, my brain would have been there instead of getting. You know, right away, it, it like, I don't know, fucked my brain, I guess. <laughs> Dude, this fucking ghost is ugly. Looks like a Resident Evil, uh, zombie or some shit. Oh, he's got like that fucking stray jacket on. Also, this motherfucker is fast. Yeah, he is on your ass, dude. Here's to be done. Yeah. Over. Yeah. It's in the room right now. Oh, I burned my crucifix. Oh, it hunted right away as soon as you walk by the room. Okay, well, I think it's faster than a normal ghost. That's a cool. It's fast. Whoa. There's a picture? F I think she said she'd be right back. There's a picture what? I was wondering if it follows you with the eyes slightly. Even though they're not like eyes there, it's just sockets. Seems like it's following me. That's sick. Maybe, maybe just the way that the artwork is made. It looks like that. Okay, I'm back. What's up? <laughs> uh, he died. And I think, is there a fast ghost? Because he seemed like he caught up to me. Um, I burnt my crucifix. Also, is this, is this cobweb in the corner is an entity or is that just... What cobweb in the corner? On the right side above the ESG thing. Oh, that's a plant. It doesn't even look like a plant. It's a plant. Okay, what evidence do we have so far besides ecto stains and canvas? Oh, we have stains? Mm-hmm. Oh. I didn't know that. So it's a demon, the maw, or shade. And if it was a shade, that light would be already out. 
wasn't freezing and I mm. couldn't get a spirit box on. I tried multiple well, times. Why is there a person in the camera? In what? what camera? In the camera looking at the easel, there is a person. There's two of us staring at the computer screen. There is a person in the camera that I'm looking at here in the room facing the easel. There is a person standing over top the EMF. ESG wheel? No, EMF. Huh. So that is... Oh, there that he is. is. It just popped up. Hmm. Which canvas? Oh, the right side canvas? The left camera ain't even on. Yes, it is. I see it. Okay, so I see the I see the painting, and then I see the ESG wheel, and then I also see the EMF. It looks like the person is standing directly on top of the EMF reading. Um, I saw I saw the the body above the EM, or the ESG just a second ago. Okay, so that's ESG. Um, reactions. No. Uh, no. Uh. Katanas, history of the paintings, and then before the ritual on the pentagram. I don't have a, um, I don't have a, uh, what's it called? I do not have a, Oh, I need flashlight? sanity. Yeah. My flashlight, I dropped it. We need sanity real quick. There's uh, one by the front door because horse done right there. Okay. I didn't do the loop. I forgot about it. As soon as I came in, it started hunting. Fucking loop. <laughs> I was like, you're not going to loop it? Noise. It was in the bathtub? Yeah, it was the bathtub moving. Huh. Definitely, definitely have a lot to learn, but I'm digging it. Okay, so did you take two sanity pills then, or just I one? I took both, yeah. Okay. Um, behind the easel, uh, over the BSG. For what? Uh, entity. Oh, we, it doesn't matter. We got the ghost or any. Mm -hmm. Shut the doors to the room. Flashlight's right at this. Oh, I see it. You have the other crucifix? I only got one. Uh, it burnt my other one already. Okay. Not the lights in the room? Lovely. There's two katanas up here. I can't get the other one. Okay, follow me.
nope, not, not that. Oh, it's cool. Okay, it's not back here, so it's... A... Sword in the middle. Got it. Okay, now. What all do we have to do? We need one more katana. There's only three, right? Four. Four katanas to do the mystery of the paintings. Where's the last one? Sure, I only seen one statue up in there, right? Uh, I only saw three statues. Let me see. Yeah, there's only one statue left. Okay, so I guess there's only three. All right, so the mystery of the paintings. Stay here. I'm gonna tell you which ones to rotate, okay? Okay. I know which one to rotate. This guy needs rotated. Okay. Because he's sitting. Okay. Um. The girl there, with blue eyes. There's a mask in that pit there. Girl with blue eyes, what? Hold on. So the black and white one, mm -hmm. the top part where the forehead of that is to the right. So like the crisscross at the bottom is to the right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now what? Hold on. Okay, this one I need to look at, and the dude in the painting. Mando, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? Of course, you could probably look, see the. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, I could. I can't. I've... Oh, it's hunting. Oh, she's a little shit. The tiny little thing. Get you? No. But I am exhausted. Oh yeah, it's on you. Oh. I don't know where to look for these paintings, though, to know which way you got to put them. Okay, I already know which one one uh which one has to go. Little shit. Stop punting. Uh 
And I can't see the pictures because I have no flashlight. It's hunting still. Yeah, it's going through the middle. Watch out. Keep going, keep going, run. On your ass. <sighs> You're good. You got some good distance. Catches up so quick when you're not running, though. Um, I think it's, oh. I think it's dead. Uh, oh, it's still running, still running after you. Yep, yep. Is it done? Nope. Still running after you. Exhausted. Um, you look good. You're clear. Okay. Okay. Can you go find the old man in the painting? I ca I can't see the paintings because I don't have a flashlight. Okay. Good. All right. Then I know which one needs moved. Yeah, yeah, I... Okay. I just got the game, too. Um, I'm was... I'm being shown around uh, right now um, by Pastel, so she's giving us the rundown right, of the game. I need to collect. But oh, I no. play... I usually play Phasmophobia. I'm, hey, like, level 6,000 plus, so... Drop. Um, she's just showing us this game so I know where to go and what to do with all the tools and everything like that. It's hunting. It's hunting. It's hunting. Alright, shit. I just grabbed two of the three items. It is still in the courtyard. It is in its room. Nope, it's in the room with- it's in the room with the stairs. In the courtyard. See the crucifix real quick. Stay back here. Wait here. Um. You're, you're safe back there. It's by the. It was. It's by the front door. It disappeared. I don't think it's hunting. I saw. It is. Shit. I lost it then. There's the egg is um. If you come from the front door, hit the courtyard, bust a right, it's in that very corner. It's still on my ass. Hold on. Where is it? Um. You do not see it. Uh, A is to you up straight ahead. Okay, go to the uh, thingy. It is fucking screaming. Ta da! We exercised the ghost. I'm sorry that you had to die. Oh, all good. I'm learning. I am all good. That was that was good. I was really sad I didn't loop it, but hey, it happens. I mean, I even had a crucifix and fucked it up. Yeah, I'm I'm liking the graphic, like the graphics update from Phasmophobia. Um, there's a couple of different things you have to I interact with differently, and then, um, like, the buttons are different a little bit, but other than that, like, it's, it's super straight. Like, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. The character models look better. I think the clothes look better. The tools are, are, are different, and they look, uh, more interesting. I like that you can have like a different hideout. So that's pretty cool. 
I mean, I don't really like the prices of some things, but like that'll be easier once I play more because I'll have a whole bunch of money, so that's not a big issue. But yeah, I like it. It's fun. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, gamer. Good night, gamer. See ya. Later. All right, what are you off to? You gonna go play your other game? Uh, I'm gonna try Paladins next to see how well it holds up, and uh, play Paladins for a little bit to see how well that goes, um, and then switch over to Minecraft later in the morning. Okay, cool. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna go get my ass in my bed and watch some YouTube, so I'm probably gonna crash here in it very shortly um but definitely let me know how everything goes tomorrow uh like let me know how the rest of the stream went i will thank you so much for helping me with everything oh yeah no problem i i'd, I'd rather see you stream than not stream if that's something that you enjoy and you you do seem like you enjoy it so i'm glad i could help definitely thank you so much all have a wonderful night you too see you later Alrighty, bye bye. Bye. All right. Awesome. That's cool. I'm so glad that I got to help her with that and everything worked out for her. streams running great for her. So that's that's great. I'm so glad I could help her. That's so awesome. She thought she was going to have to buy a brand new computer or severely upgrade the one she has. And it, it turned out amazing. So that, I call that a, that a win. Like, and we had a great stream today. Everything ran good today. We had a 10 hour. I just literally looked at the time, how long I've been streaming for. It's been a 10 hour stream for me. Um, so I'm super 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 happy with today played a new game um it is super fun um i played uh phasmophobia it's been a long time since i've actually played we played phasmophobia last night had a amazing time um met some new people um yeah, it's been a good day. We, we, we I streamed this for four hours on Demonologist. Um, I uh, was playing Tarkov for uh, six six hours earlier after the update, and I I made quite a bit of money on that. So I did 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 really good on on Tarkov. So it's been all in all. You know, it's been a very great day. I got to spend time with the kids. Um, had the day off of work. So, man, it's been one hell of a day. And, and I'm, I'm just, just loving it. Like, for real. Like, it's just, everything is, you know, going back to my, my peaceful lifestyle. And I, I couldn't be more blessed. Like, it's just so amazing like my my uh my friends from streaming before playing phasmophobia um and playing uh diablo and other games i've been streaming for so long that you know i'm starting to get back into everything and you know people are 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 showing back up and given great support and i'm meeting new people from starting to stream again on tarkov um so i'm meeting all these new people again from like you know like streaming before like i this is this is why i do this you know like the connection with the people that i i get to make you know is just amazing it's it's unbelievable like every single time that i i stream and i put you know time into this and, and you know it's not even it's not even that i'm sitting here streaming to me you know it's like i'm just playing my game and then connecting with people and having a great time 
and I, I'm this is this is my piece the way that I I have my life right now you know the the kids and working hard at work and having fun playing my games and streaming it, it's just it's just always been so great when I do this and I just you know keep myself really really busy and I'm so happy to be doing all of this again you know and, and really getting to enjoy it I've been streaming for you know a while now again recently it's just I didn't really necessarily have peace in my life um and I'm just not dealing with any of the bullshit anymore you know the drama keeping you know the games away from me the people that like to play games I can't I can't do it you know and and now I'm sitting here you know playing games the way you should like video games not like playing with someone and messing with them and and hurting them and things like that like I, I just don't I don't get how people can do that like if you if you say something you should mean it you know like why do you have to mess with someone why do you gotta hurt them why do you gotta you know make them miserable what, what is the point in that what do you get out of that it, it's draining to people you know messing with their mental health when like all you have to do is be like yeah you know I want to be in a committed relationship bam there you go like what's so difficult about that like put in effort do your part and that's what i needed and i and i just wasn't getting it and now back to being single is probably the best solution for me and you know focusing on work focusing on the kids and enjoying playing the video games that i that i've always loved you know playing video games since i was a little kid and streaming connecting with people and you know supporting everyone around me because that's what you're supposed to do with your your friends and family and loved ones is you're supposed to give support and i i've just always been that way you know just love supporting people connecting with people and having a good time you know we don't have much time here you know we're we're all here on this planet for a moment we're supposed to be making the best of it and i've had an amazing week this week has been amazing the support that i that i've been getting this last week and two weeks and three weeks from streaming again um and the people that i'm meeting are amazing and the, the games i'm having a blast playing my games and just being at peace so I just, just really happy, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna go get my ass in bed. I'm gonna go relax for a little bit. You know, I was thinking about eating again. You know, I've been eating, you know, small portions all day. Um, maybe I should eat. I should, I should really, you know, I'm hungry. I'm not like super hungry or anything. And, you know, it's like, you know, you know, I just want like a, a, a bit of chips or something and then you'll be fine. Um, but I'm trying to like eat more nutritious, I guess. It's really hard, you know, when you just focus on getting food for the kids and they like, you know, their, their easy food and their pizza and their, you know, their finger foods and all of that, you know, so it's kind of hard for me to eat, you know, very well. And as you get older in age, it's really important to eat really well, you know, nutritious stuff and take care of yourself, cut out a lot of the sugars and the, and the, 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 the snack cakes are the death of me. So I, I've been trying to really stay away from snack cakes. So I'm doing pretty good with that. Um, I'm going to be done with vaping here. This is about to die and I'm done after that. Um, I haven't really drank in a while, so that's good for me. Keeping the toxic toxicity levels low. Um, uh, drinking a lot more water again. 
I'm not drinking, you know, a lot of dairy in my coffee. I'm not really even drinking coffee, really, unless it's, you know, at work, you know. Um, so I'm just, like, really focusing on taking care of myself again and, you know, spending more time with the kids. Um, yeah, just getting my life back together and not letting it be changed by a single person when there's more important things than you know one person changing my life um based on what they want to do it should be a, a collective thing you know a, a, as they are supposed to be part of the family it was supposed to be you know making the family better and it seemed like i was only focusing on that one person and it it shouldn't have been like that. It should have been that person trying to fit in to this family here in this house and trying to make it better here. And it just didn't seem like that was happening. It didn't seem like that was important. It seemed like it was a, uh, a selfish, a selfishness that, that was more important than anything else around. And I should have never, should have never dealt with that. Should have never let it happen. Should have been focused on the things that I was focused on after my divorce. And I should have stayed with that same routine and mentality and structure for the children. So um, I'm not, I'm not ever going to let that happen again. So I, I guess it might just be good for me to either be single. Um, or someone that wants to be an addition, you know, I even explained that, you know, in the, in the last relationship was it was supposed to be an addition to my family, not saying that they're an outsider or anything, but it should have been an addition to the family. Um, did my headset just really die? It did, because there's nothing going on. I have the, the mic here for the stream, so it just turned off because it was inactive, but... But yeah, it should be an addition to the family. You know, they should be trying to make the family stronger and, you know, progress, you know, for the future. And it just wasn't happening. It's just, it wasn't working. It was a constant struggle. And I felt like I was putting in the most effort when they put in very little or none. And I just can't, can't do that anymore. I was miserable all over again. Just like I was in my marriage. I was miserable. And I don't think that you should be miserable for any reason or any person. Like, you should be wanting to do what makes you happy. I'm not saying that you should only focus on you and only you should be happy. That's not what I'm saying. But everyone needs to think of everyone and worry about everyone's happiness and try to make that happen. You know, put an effort there, you know. But anyways, I don't want to get too much more into that. I want to go get in my bed. So I I'm this is the end of every single stream. I have a hard time ending the stream because I just love doing this so much. But I have to make sure that I that I take care of myself. So I'm just going to keep talking and talking and talking unless I get myself up out of this chair. <laughs> so, uh, again, had an amazing day. I've been having an amazing week. And I am going to keep on doing the same thing and having an amazing day, an amazing week, which will turn into an amazing month and hopefully the best year. And we just... Keep on doing that. And again, every all of the support from everyone has been amazing. And I will see you guys next time. It will be um, tomorrow or tonight, however you want to look at it. Technically, I should be streaming at, at midnight Eastern Standard Time, which would make it the next day. So tomorrow, I will be streaming again. And I will see you guys then. And we will have a great time.
you know what we'll be playing it depends on who's online and what what, what shit we can get into to have a good time <laughs> so uh everyone have a good one see you next stream and peace out